rumors of the losing first. So I, I almost wasn't here, so I'm not quite sure what. How about happened. Janina in a room by herself, just her and me? <laughs> so I got, I got attacked by a stray dog today to the point where what? I called I called the police, and I could have been in the hospital. It was really bad. How many legs did it have? How many legs? I'm sorry. <laughs> quite frightening 150 pound maybe 200 pound dog growling not barking growling, legs, not not legs. Legs. Uh, i came home and ordered pepper spray i'm never going to go for a walk again without it what Please. kind of do, do you okay you know how big it was but do i don't know, know breeds. Kind of it was a white fluffy dog it looked like if it wasn't growling it would have been fine to pet but it had the demeanor of a wolf and there was no one around at all I was like a hair's breadth from picking up a big stick on the ground, and I didn't know if that was going to make it make the last decision to attack me or not. So luckily, I didn't do that. And I backed up very slowly, but it was like five minutes. I couldn't move. Where was the yeah. owner? I, I don't Good know. question. <laughs> you should give the dog command, stay. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Rob, There's a lot Rob, of dogs and if know that, that doesn't work. Just keep it in your part of New Jersey, please, Rob. Say sit. You're supposed to take your shoe off. What kind of snout? What kind of snout did it have? Was it pointy or was it relatively it was pretty pointy? Mm. Rob, there's this alley. I, there's a tally I walk down fairly frequently, oh. and <laughs> and you hear too many people talking. What? Oh. I was saying dog attacks are my wheelhouse. So if you have any questions, just contact me outside of the zoo. How do you mean you were at wheelhouse? She's into them. Yeah. <laughs> she films them and you know, I, course, I follow course. their statistics, the uh the yeah. science behind yeah, it. I, yeah, I came home and I go, wow, there's a quite an amazing number of people and quite many have been drastically injured. Uh yeah. So it's like, yeah, yeah literally I went home to Amazon and I ordered pepper spray. Yeah. Oh. Huge fear of mine. It's and I also was gonna order a taser, by the way, but they will not ship it to New Jersey. Uh -uh. Unless you go to Washington, D.C. and pick it up there. Well, me. yeah, but then if I'm arrested, it's illegal and it's a firearm. So therefore that, you know, probably not. This one. Oh, hello, Faith. Hello, Romero. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. It looks yeah. like you've got a hump. Those are great Pyrenees. I have a friend that has two. Yeah. Oh, I love great Pyrenees. Look could at have that been. photo. It could have been. So pretty. It could have been. No it, was, it was never sitting on, on its rear. It was on four legs with its head forward growling the entire time, <gasps> like a wolf. Having been a breeder and shower and judge of Great Pyrenees for more than 25 years, yeah. I can tell you that it was not a Great Pyrenees. It's, it's not a Great Pyrenees. It will not, will not hurt people. They, no. they are guard dogs, but they fight off Unless wolves. it has rabies. <laughs> yeah. Was it drooling? It was about 12 feet away. I don't know if I would have been able to tell that. <laughs> wow. So well, if you didn't but, take a but, photo, I don't really believe that story. Were you in a, were you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I had my phone on me, but it's like would I didn't even want to reach for my curly? pocket to take a picture. Did it have a curly I never tail? saw its rear end because its face was towards me. <laughs> I didn't want to okay. smell his butt. Did, did, um... No, because um, chows have curly tails and they can tend to be aggressive. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but it was a really, really weird, in white. weird day because I was also almost poisoned. I was at a new doctor's <laughs> office sitting in there and like, what is that smell? And the people start coughing and they go, oh, they're just working on the roof. It's no problem. And then it was getting worse and worse. And we all evacuated the building. Oh, <laughs> like, oh boy. Well, and then the nurse and doctor come out and, and yell at the people on the roof and go, is that poisonous? And they go, no, no. It's like well, everything is poisonous at a certain dose. And I, you don't know what the dose is in there. And I'm not going back in that building. So I, I, oh, I don't know. And that's which god back. did you offend rob yeah yeah that's <laughs> what i was wondering you. i'm not hanging out with him that's for sure <laughs> that, that's scary. luckily there were no thunderstorms around today is that it I, that was my that's a great pyrenees that was a dog i had yeah that's did a it look like that I, I don't know i never saw another angle of it okay. only the face pointing at me did it have you said it had a long snout it wasn't short and stubby i think so the great pyrenees looks exactly like it was a, a golden retriever on steroids in white. Yeah. No, it didn't look like that. My, and my, can't be my white, nieces yeah. have a, a golden retriever. It was much heavier than a golden hey, retriever. Everybody. At least the ones Hi, I Kevin. know. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Vincent. Who else is here? Could have been a wolf. Hi, Karen. Hi, Ben. I don't think so. Uh, 
I, I need to assign up <laughs> people. Hold on. So what room are you in, uh, Susan? I'm going to three, I think. And then I think, wait, who's missing? Four. Yeah, so I shouldn't be assigned to any room. Don't it's count coming me. up as psychics explained instead don't, of Susan Gerbic. Yeah, don't, I've don't, been using don't, that Susan, don't count me as a player. You, I know, I know, I know, okay. I know, I know. You are. You're a player with an A at the end instead of an ER. I'm a player. You so you, a, you, currently a player. Have, you currently have me in room four, which doesn't yes, have I that many know, people. But I can't okay. not not assign you. Okay. So you've got okay. your co-host permissions. Go play around. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go to my room, but I gotta finish putting these people in the rooms. Okay. That's not true. I have once in a while known the answer to a question. Hey, <laughs> hey team. I'm here all day. And as Janine said, who's gonna get Susan? Who's gonna be the one's who's gonna get Susan what? Because I'm on a team all the same team the whole time, and Janine goes, "Oh, great! Somebody's gonna get Susan, and she's, they're gonna lose." Yeah, we get you the whole day. Yeah. No, no. The categories are Luann. Yes, yes. Um, photographing children. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> herding cats. Oh, oh, herding cats. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, putting a stake through the heart of grief vampires. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, and our bonus category, Karen, is. Tomatoes. <laughs> Only tomatoes grown in Susan Gerbic's backyard. <laughs> I can suggest it. a name. Oh, yeah. good. You know what the name is? Cas what? Caspian. There's a Caspian pink tomato. It's amazing. Yes. Uh, my suggestion is, and God said, gather two of every pie. Okay, I like Just that. Like that. Oh, okay. That's what he's saying is a team name. Yes, I'm into it, and and I'm still grieving that I did not, in fact, eat any pie two days ago. Oh, you know what? None. None. I, I went and got some crappy old pie and some whipped cream, and it wasn't the same. But we did it anyway. And then the next day, Casper brings me pie. Now that's pie. But Fresh you, homemade pie that he made for pie day. Yeah, but you oh, had crappy peach pie. You had crappy peach pie on pie day. Yes, I have to eat something on pie day. But Caspian made pie. Can you believe it? And Mark comes in here all the time. Are, are we going to hit pie now? I'm yeah. like, well, I just kind of ate. He's, okay. You know, back. Now that you can buy the pie, pie, you can buy the pie crust in the, in the, in the store that is I used to love to make pie crust because I made a really good one and I can't make one better than they can. So I buy Pillsbury's. And once you can do that, you can make pie very easily now because you just mm -hmm. roll out the crust and put in a filling. And it's still flaky? Because I, I will really tell you, I had a reputation crust. for my pie crust and yeah. I gave up making it because it's better than mine. <laughs> well, Caspian does an incredible pie. Him and um, Deborah. So what's you, what's Caspian's top pie filling? Pumpkin. What? Zeke said, okay. "What is your top pie filling?" Oh, uh, apricot. That's your favorite. But we think I love your uh, your apricot's great, but your pumpkin pie is just like damn. Pumpkin pie is nice and easy. Well, yeah, it comes true. out good. He puts pepper in it. Wait, now who is going to say our name? We, it needs to be said as, as Caspian said it in order for it to work. Who would like to take a try at that? So Why that, doesn't Caspian do it? Yeah, what, I can do it. Team? Can we vote Caspian? I mean, he came yeah. up with it. Caspian, <laughs> can you turn on your screen so we can see you? I'm cooking at the moment in the kitchen and I'm going to be wandering around for a bit. So, No. In other words, no. <laughs> but it's Correct. more like the voice of God if we don't see him. We usually don't see him. What what is what is the name of the team? I'm gonna write it down. And God said, gather two of every pie. Give it um, that makes sense now. Dot dot dot. Yeah. So how's it going for everybody over there? Zeke's all back from her trip. 
How's it feel to be home? How come you have no art it's, on your wall? I'm relegated to the corner. We're having problems with different circuits in my house and the outlets are out in my office and Sagan's room today. And right before our vacation, they were off in the living room and our classroom. <laughs> and I thought we fixed the problem, but obviously not. So the electricians will be back out. Something's mm -hmm. going on. Something screwy. Poltergeist? I don't know what it is. So <laughs> it's really, explain. really bizarre because the, like, the circuit no art on your walls. Oh, because like this is a weird corner of the bedroom that like just has my little chair in it. You would love this blanket, though, because you're you love crafty blankets. Ooh. Oh, yeah. But you're I not love... you're you're in a you're in a. Um... I don't know. We have no we have no art in the bedroom. Well, there's one photograph and two California maps. You should put something behind <laughs> because this is your Zoom corner. It's true. There's nothing. Well, actually, here. it's not always your Zoom corner. Oh, yeah. Okay. Where am I going to put? Brandy's I love zooming from the classroom, but that's next to the living room, and they're watching Star Trek tonight. So da, da, Thursday's da, Star Trek. Da, 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 da. And Carolyn, is there a, a conscious thought behind your background, or is it a secret, or is no comment? <laughs> um. So well, it was daylight the whole daylight. Uh, oh. And then yes, I wasn't sure if I was doing a category, and if I was, it would kind of be related. Mm. got it Ooh, she says i hope i'm not doing a category tonight and i'm like no you're not it's all rob do we have you down for next week no we talked about a couple weeks ago and you said i would be in the future and so i said okay okay so let's put you on next week but um susan is opposed to time travel she said she something about the future what yeah i'm not into time travel and and yours is your real uh background gail correct Yes, that's my actual office. Look, I found a butterfly that makes has LED stuff on it. Isn't that the cutest thing in the world? <laughs> I have not figured out where I'm going to put it, though. And I I want to leave it on, but then if I do, my battery will go bad. I wanna and I will have to be there. early, as you know. Yeah, okay. I can manage that. Given, given the conversation we were just having, let me share the screen. Gail, do you want a category next week, too? <laughs> <laughs> that is great Gail, i'm putting you on for next week oh sure yeah. i always i'm always ready to do you're that. still screen sharing oops oh she can see her secret cabal <laughs> oh no ignore yeah. facebook uh youtube oh, wait, world is it? ignore what is it? which You've what's just the, seen what's the thing that they use in harry potter the memory um i've forgotten the memory charm <laughs> well it works then obviously <laughs> right. Right. The, um i don't i guess in the small group it won't matter that much now that you mentioned it but my link susan uh -huh. was was taken off my backward link. I didn't know. Aww. There's apparently a rule that I don't didn't know about, and maybe should be included someplace in the training. You can't do the backward link without a reference there. I just link back to the other page. Oh, of course Instead, not. Yeah, you have to have a citation. Well, the citation was on the other page, so I didn't realize. Well, you I have to copy to that citation and move it over there. Yeah, that's what. And he was very nice about it, whoever he was, because he said that it it will create an infinite loop, which makes sense. You can get garbage on there. So I'm going to have to put it back. Yeah. Okay. So now that you. But it might be worth putting some comments in that section where you teach about, because I did not know that. I thought as long as I linked to something with a reference, it was enough. Oh, I thought you, when you said you were doing, I said. Oh, right. putting Are the... you GSOW, Carolyn and Zeke? Yes. No. Right. I'm, I'm going to go get some tea. I'll be back. Yeah. Uh, uh, Carolyn and Gail, not Zeke. Zeke's supposed to be uploading more photos for me of, of bugs. I ever I look up the most obscure insects that I have, and they're all they all have pictures. There's only been one that I found so far, and because I have some really unusual insects, because I take pictures of ones no one cares about, like not the pretty popular bugs. 
and I'll get down like with um I'll put a microscope uh, not a microscope although I have I have done microscope but I'll put a magnifier on my phone and photograph like nearly microscopic bugs. Are you working on a, a page with bugs? No, she's no so I just do this for a different project, but I figured if I had bugs that were not, didn't have photos, I could throw them onto Wikipedia. She did you, Wikipedia. You, you, a you, fly, right? I don't remember what I did. You gave me something and I was able to put it on a page. I think it was a common housefly. I know, when I Google my own name, one of the things that comes up is a photograph of um, a grasshopper that I took because it was like such a good picture that this one database uses it as its main picture for that. But I don't even, I just use my phone. It's just, I happen to take yeah. a, you know what a good doing. picture. Yeah. Well, when you're identifying insects, you like, we're trained to know what um, angles that people would look for to help identify the exact species. Oh. So like, if you're taking a picture of a slug, you need to make sure that you have like the, um, these holes on the sides that they breathe through because that will help them identify if it's two very close looking slugs. So like little things like that. I hope we have a category on um, uh, <laughs> photographing bugs tonight. Yeah, this is, this is my now joy. We'll just be able to <laughs> yeah. If you like bugs, do you ever listen to the YouTube videos on from It's Okay to Be Smart? Oh, I have heard them, but I don't regularly. I don't regularly. They have one recently about colors and it was about particularly the shimmering colors that you get. And apparently Ooh. bugs, beetles especially, do it better than anybody else. And he did a whole episode about that and how how we see those kinds of colors. Oh, that interesting. It has nothing to do with the colors themselves. It's all I, I bet. Yeah, I bet it's very similar with bird coloration. The There's a woman I'm friends with here in Los Angeles. She's one of the curators of birds at the Natural History Museum and her specialty is in bird coloration. And yeah, most of it's not pigment. It's just like the physics of reflection and, and how we see it. He has a series with several and one of them was strictly about the bird thing that was first. And ah. he's just done the one about the bugs. And what part of what he does is talks about how it's similar and how it's different from the way. Oh, birds cool. Then I'll definitely check it out. It's really good. Yeah. Is there such a thing, Susan, as a uh, putting something as, as a page for a, a series or on YouTube that's all science-based from PBS? Because that would be a great thing for the the audience we're looking at. Is there a YouTube channel? Is that what you said? Oh, like making a Wikipedia is, entry for a series? For a channel. Oh, uh, well, the, done by the, PBS. It, it would be difficult because uh, we even have a hard time getting uh, like a podcaster. They could be a very popular podcaster it's really hard to get them a Wikipedia page because they're not famous for, they don't have the newsworthy. They're, famous, they're popular, but, but they don't is, have secondary sources to prove their notability. But so, this one is PBS and it's done by scientists. If if it's written, if there's secondary sources for it. Right, if it's mentioned, if it's mentioned in other publications. Yeah, basically. and it has to be talked about, like not just a mention, but like this series, and then all of a sudden, because we everybody disappeared. That was funny. <laughs> okay, so this yes. is interesting. My psychic abilities are telling me something. Really? Could it? Yes. My psychic abilities are telling me you're going to say we're being recorded. That that's it. You got it. Wow, How that's too on the nose to be psychic. Wow, double psychic. That's amazing. It. Hot reading, hot reading. <laughs> yeah. They've watched the other videos and they know. Somebody <laughs> contact the JRF. Oh, they're not doing it anymore. We'll you got to work on the act, Vincent. It should be something like you're seeing the letter R. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> there is there is that. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a fun. I've got a uh, several things for you tonight. Um, we've got two people already for next week. And I want to make sure I give you guys this interesting little thing. I'm going to put it in the chat right now so that you guys can start looking at it when you get a chance. And then we can talk about it during the break. But this is Science Save, which is a CFI thing that is doing. And this is a Next. Science Clash 2023. Wow, I sound great. Um, I think that was Bob. <laughs> so they're on round two. And so we can vote 
what we think are the best. It'll force you. Okay, round one's already done. Round two, you'll hit the button down at the bottom, and you just, two, it'll make you button. choose. Round two. Round two. It'll make you choose between the greatest scientific achievements. And I think this is mm. really fun. So maybe you guys want to do this, and maybe we could talk about it afterwards. But I just want to give you this, give you the link right now, so you can look at it later. But tonight it's Rob. It's all Rob. Rob live. And Karen's already decided because I'm on the team this time that we're going to do Lou Anne. They don't have to be in this order, Rob, but the categories are Lou Ann, Tomatoes I Grow. Tomatoes I Grow. Oh, who's echoing? That's weird. Um, herding Cats, Greek Vampires. And Karen, what was the fifth one? Children Photography. Wow, you you are psychic. Because because that way we would win. Just like all the rest of the psychics, you got and nothing we'd right. We kick everybody else's ass. Yeah, round two will begin. Now you can do round two now because I've just I've done round two. <laughs> but can we do round one for here? No. Well, we could talk about it. I mean, talk about it. It looks well, cross. Possibly, but if you go to round two, it'll tell you what's already been, what are, what lost. So we could talk about what's lost. <coughs> Interesting. But anyway, so Robert, you have the uh, command, uh, but let's do our categories. I mean, our categories, our name. team names. And I uh, guess Cass has been spending all day thinking about, about what ours is going to be. So we got ours already. So round, okay. So team one is... Bob, James, Kyle, Paula Serrano, and Troy. What is your team name tonight? Is it a beep? It's the sounds of silence. SVB closed an hour earlier. Sure. Something like that. I thought Kyle had it. Yeah, uh, Kyle's <laughs> muted. There he is. Sorry. What yeah, is that? I I don't remember telling us all said. this time, but we weren't listening. <laughs> uh, SVB the bank. I like that name. I don't remember that. There we go. shut cool. down an hour earlier. Yeah. That when what is that? that? There it is. Hour, failed an hour earlier. Okay, that's good. Failed. What SVB is that? Failed. The bank, Silicon SVB. Valley Bank. Failed an hour earlier. Oh, because of the time change. Yes. yes. Okay. Jane, Janine. Carl, Mike, and Vincent, what's your losing team's name? <laughs> it is forbidden to dump bodies into the river. It oh. is forbidden. <laughs> Jim, you have your new sign. <laughs> <laughs> Just have to change it to lake, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. You gotta you gotta make it accurate. Yeah. Okay. There it's it's right there. I got it. Okay. And <laughs> Carolyn, Caspian, Zeke, Gerbic, and Gail. And God said, gather two of every pie. <laughs> Caspian brought me two pieces, two pies on, well, parts of pie on Wednesday because we didn't get to do pie day because we had rain, we had road closures, trees falling down, it was flooding, it was awful. Faith and Romero, Jim, Kevin, Ron, and Brandy. What is your losing team's name? In honor of the new chat GPT, my robo-dog ate my AI written essay. <laughs> All right. And then, Bill, know. Jamie, Christy, and Terry, what is your last place team name? For St. Patrick's Day. Today, green beer counts as a vegetable. There you go. Oh, is today St. Patrick's Day? Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It is there. Oh, yeah. for you. Jamie, it is. It's today. Yes, it's for today. Me, it's today. Two hours. Oh Close. my gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I appreciate I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Don't go too far. Okay, so I have I've got to sign out for a minute. Oh yeah, you gotta come back in. And, and All right, do I have anybody computer. who's not on a team? I think I've got to can't miss it if you don't leave. If you yeah, listen to the latest skeptoid, you will understand that neither oh, yeah, green, green skeptoid. nor beer have anything to do with uh, St. Yeah, yeah. Patrick's. So, <laughs> here, we are, here we are tonight, the day before Thanksgiving, uh, St. Patrick's Day. Thanksgiving. 
Uh, Susan, I don't, I don't think we, I don't think we sprung that far forward. <laughs> the day Maybe before uh, St. Patrick's Day, and the day, uh, the days after, sadly, Pi Day. The Ides of March. The Ides of March. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. lots of things happening this week, and we have uh, game number one hundred and fifty-two, season three, episode forty-three. We are getting really close to being on season four, you guys. This is going to be like, oh my gosh. Ah, so March 16th, 2023, we have five teams, five, five teams, count them, five teams that are trying to, to win the prize for March 16th, 2023. And Rob will be leading all the categories. So we know that he is uh, come up with some really diverse categories that have nothing to do with time travel or, and absolutely nothing to do with time travel well ironically i'm wearing a shirt which has uh coexist oh, made out of sci-fi symbols and, and nothing at all in the categories of sci-fi so i see conspiracy theories top board games oh i like board games some mystery some question marks we have to talk about question marks there's geography and there's like, like a crowd of people out there that are going to be doing the wave or something like that i'm not quite sure but I'm on a team tonight. I am going to stay on the team. I'm never moving. So this should be very interesting because I miss seeing you guys in the different rooms. So it bothers me not to be able to do it, but it's kind of cool to be on a team by myself. But Janine has already cursed me and said that I will, that I'm going to implode the team. <laughs> we love you. I just heard rumors that that happens. I wasn't well, it's a conspiracy saying theory, that you girl. would. We'll see. And if Rob chooses the wrong categories, yes, that will happen. But if yeah. he chooses the yeah. right categories, it won't happen. So it <laughs> so would be Rob's fault. Yes, I it is all Rob's fault. I understand. So, SCB so built at, an hour earlier versus. At, at least one of these categories, Susan, you should know. And oh. you're going to kick yourself oh, you if you don't. You just cursed this. You just cursed this. <laughs> Every time you've done that, it's been like, I don't know. You give us like obscure Wikipedia. So you you actually mentioned this on Kyle's podcast. So just telling you. Well, the other day somebody had a cat had a question that said, "Well, Susan's already said this word today," and I'm like, yeah, "Somebody did," and Susan didn't know it. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I say lots of words. Well, this one I can almost guarantee both you and Kyle will remember when I announced the category for the bonus round. Well. Lottie dies on a different team, so that's going to give a point to that team. Whatever. No, no, no. I think you're the one who'll know. I don't know that Kyle will know these. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. Let's get there. So SVB failed an hour earlier versus it is forbidden to dump bodies into the river. Versus and God said, gather two of every pie. Versus my robo dog ate my AI written essay. Versus today, green beer counts as a vegetable. So who will win? I have nobody in here to ask who was going to win. I have three cats that look like they're all just dead on their own little area. It's no eyes open. Oh, Hamilton put up his head and looked at me when I said that and then put his head right back down. God well, said we'll gather 6.28. <laughs> I just want you guys to know I'm competitive. Just a bit. Okay, we ready? Or did you? Yeah, you're all done. You ready? Yeah, I think I'm done. Back. Uh, okay, here we go. First round. First round is all about Tay Tay. And if you don't know what that means, you might be in trouble this round. Simply answer these questions about Taylor Swift. Oh. Oh no. Mute. Oh. Who's who's got the muting muting powers today? Who, who's going to get the muting powers? Jim, you want them? So, uh, Jim can so do it. Immutable? I don't think I've ever had Jim do it. Jim, you're in charge. I am. Yep, uh, mute him. Oh, uh, so okay, so I can say. So wait a minute. I, say hey, I'm muting everybody. Okay, uh, but 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 where do I click to Our mute participants? People? Other oh, under participants. Oh, okay. Uh, invite, copy, invite link. I don't see something for in mute for mute. Under the participants, there's a little carrot. Yeah, and I get invite and copy invite link. That doesn't get it. Oh no, no. Click, click, click the participants button so it pops open Ignore a window. Ignore the. 
Here it. Did that? And you should pop up participant list. And then it oh. says it all at the bottom. Oh, okay. Every one of you guys is going to be amazing at Zoom. So oh, oh, okay. Mute all. But tell us hey. that you're. And then you're supposed to say, hey, Rob, don't forget to unmute yourself. Yeah, I know that. So, and, and it doesn't mute. It doesn't mute. mute yes, correct. It doesn't mute the person who did it. So, okay. Um, and uh, because Janine likes it, I'm going to do her the honors of putting the text in as I read it. Okay. Here we go. Reputation now. Having sold over 200 million records globally, Taylor Swift is one of the best selling musicians in history, which is why I'm doing her. Among her accolades are 12 Grammy Awards and Emmy, 40 American Music Awards, 29 Billboard Music Awards, and three IFPI Global Recording Artists of the Year Awards. She's been featured in rankings such as Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Songwriters of All Time, Billboard's Greatest of All Time Artists, 100, and Forbes Celebrity 100. She's been honored with titles such as Artist of the Decade, Woman of the Decade, and her music is credited with influencing a generation of singer-songwriters. But how many Guinness World Records does Taylor Swift hold? Plus or minus 10. Peggy just joined us. Hello, Peggy. Peggy, the category is just been announced. It's hey, Tay. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. And I'm going to give you the first one because it probably didn't show up in your. Peggy. There she is. OK. All right. Okay, right. number two. Number two is what is the nickname for fans of Tay Tay? Number three. Taylor is named after this American singer songwriter and guitarist, a six time Grammy Award winner. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2000 and is one of the best selling music artists of all time, having sold more than 100 million records worldwide. Uh, notably half of what she has at this point. Uh, he had his first number one hit in 1971 with the recording of You've Got a Friend, written by Carol King that same year. And I seem to be alternating long and short. Number four is, in what year was Taylor Swift born? Plus or minus one. Number five. Taylor, known for her love of animals, owns one which is valued at $97 million. As reported, An animal? animal. Is it a human? Owns one, love of animals. She owns one which is valued at $97 million, as reported on January of this year. What type of animal is this? This one. Number six. Has little holes in the back of it. <laughs> Taylor considers the day of the month, let's call it X. She was born on to be a lucky number. Her fan page includes a listing of all of her beliefs and activities related to X, including her debut album was platinum in X weeks. She says uh, that when she's seated in the X row at an award show, she always wins. The X track on her album, Red the Lucky One, has an intro of X seconds and the word lucky is sung X times. Also, her Twitter handle happens to be at Taylor Swift X. What is Taylor Swift's lucky number? Number seven, the 2009 VMA Awards for Best Female Music Video was for this song, which was ranked among the greatest songs of the 2000 decade by CMT and VH1. In the video, Taylor portrays both the nerdy, lovelorn singer of the song and the hot girlfriend of her secret romantic interest, her platonic friend. I'm actually going to play a clip from it for you, so I would say uh, pause the that was a little bonus. You're not going to get a copy of that anywhere. So number eight, who interrupted Taylor's acceptance speech for the best female music video uh, at the 2009 VMAs for that song, by the way, by jumping on stage, grabbing her microphone and making a speech in praise of another singer. Somebody is not muted. I hear something coming through. I don't know who that is. You. It's not me. 
Number nine, another long one. This Taylor Swift song was Song of the Year in 2015, American Music Awards. Rolling Stone ranked it sixth on the list of the best songs of 2014, 73rd on the list of the best songs of the 2010 decade, and 357th on the list of the greatest songs of all time. It's a satirical, self-referential nod to Taylor's re reputation as a flirtatious woman with a series of romantic attachments which went horribly bad and blemished her once wholesome girl next to her image. The lyrics include such gems as, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream. Boys only want love if it's torture. Don't say I didn't warn you. You look like my next mistake. It's going to be forever or it's going to go down in flames. And I got a long list of ex-lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. And I have a warning on this one. Uh, as is evidenced by the song lyrics, sometimes taking a chance can have negative consequences. As if that wasn't obvious. And finally, number 10. This is a personal one. How many Taylor Swift songs do I have in my Apple Music library on my iPhone? Zero, one, seven, 14, 32, or 56. How big of a Taylor Swift fan am I? Please tell me it's 56. <laughs> what well, what have I it? got in my pockets? <laughs> any, any questions? <laughs> if you're psychic, you can get that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, only if I can remote view. Which Taylor okay. Swift? You know what? I would know, but your phone is password protected. Mm. Well, right now it's open. It's sitting on my desk. How many, how many of her concerts have you been to? That might give away the answer, so I'm not going to say. <laughs> All right, go to your rooms. Send us. There we go. Okay, let me put everybody back in the rooms and I'll be in room three in a second. Kevin, you are in four, right? Yes. Gus, you are going to go to five. <clears throat> Today, green beer counts as a vegetable. I know two. I know two. And I just gave you Peggy, so. We yeah. Got yeah, and I'm such a big fan. <laughs> I just called my husband in because he's a bigger fan than I. <laughs> oh, yay. But there, he didn't know many. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, I know one for sure. Okay. Everybody's Number gonna one, know that one. Nope, no, I'm not gonna know any of them. I, I, I know she's a singer or something. You know three. Does anyone know? know? When you said, Tay, Tay, you're in trouble. I said, okay, I'm in trouble. Does Come anyone on. have a very good <laughs> guess or know Share the screen, answer to Share. question number one? Okay, share screen. Let's uh, get that done. Uh, um, okay. How many Guinness records? Probably zero. I don't know. I don't even know what Guinness gives out as record oh, award things, things, if they're awards. Um, she's probably sold. Well, it's a plus or minus 10. So it's either zero or some number over 100. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said zero. I don't think it's zero, though. I mean... I think she's a really best selling, like really best selling. Excuse me. I think she could easily have a Guinness. A Guinness. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we go through and fill in the ones we know we know and then we know how many to ponder and think about? Okay. Two. Does it mean no two? Swifty. Swifties, isn't it? Is it Swifty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It depends how many there are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Does anybody know the who she's named after? James, James Taylor. 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 Oh. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know it before this question, but that's James Taylor. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. And what year was she born? Taylor Swift. She's 33 now. Ah, good to know. It's not, but that, that doesn't, you know. Oh, it's so my husband won. So yeah, my husband said to her, she has an album called 1989. Her oh yeah. I had the album cover category, and that was one of them. Yeah, because I, I, I was guessing like 84, and he's like, oh, no, 89 is her album. So, oh, that's okay. good. Yeah. What there kind of go. animal does she have? I swear it's an, it must be human. Who, who, he, what could be I think it be a kitty horse. Cat. It kitty has cat. to be a racehorse, doesn't it? Kitty cat. What? She loves cats, but how can a cat be worth that much money? 
Only a racehorse is worth $97 million. All right. It's a racehorse. But it could be. Maybe she owns an elephant. Who knows? Well, I mean, my God. What could be wait? That's just her lucky number is 13. It's a Yeti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah she sense. has a Yeti. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Her lucky number is 13. I know that from. Ah. Uh, from. Um, Tricks to Dectophobia Day. Uh no 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 uh what's his face he does he does he does superstitions uh he does a talk on superstitions and he always brings up Taylor oh Swift. yeah Stevie oh. Wonder no what's his face uh, <laughs> very Vice. superstitious very it's a, superstitious. no it's a friend of mine Stuart Vice he does a talk on he's an expert on superstitions and he always when he does his talks he, he mentions Taylor Swift. Swift's love of thirteen all right mm. hopefully you get that I know that. Okay, we're going to go to the Unless second page. Another number. We're going to go uh, to the second page, and I, I can't, I can't not say something about the fact that Rob always gives me a hard time about how long my questions are. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I was going to say something, Gail, but you know, These are nuts. the first time we had to go to a second page. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me go to the second page. If you made the font a two. <laughs> yeah, that would help. On here, question seven. You guys. I don't know the song. I've heard it, but I have no idea. I'm not a Swifty. I wish she he I could hear it again because I'm stuck between two I things. Live hot shorts, da, 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 yeah. Da. Is it it's the is it baby just say yes? That one? I don't know if that's the name of the song. Well, is let's she, put in baby just say yes as a placeholder. Say yes. Is yeah, it I have no idea? Is it also this is it the same song where she says Marry me, Julie? Like Juliet? that one um Same romeo one. if it is that song is romeo and juliet is it is it that song i don't I know if it's it. that song so many of them sound the same i this yeah, one i've heard do. in the mall playing all the time it plays in the mall i have no idea so. no i wish no, he would come play the audio clue for that again i think <laughs> that romeo and juliet it, i don't know i it they all sound the same but i think the story is different no idea. No idea. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so moving I on. I don't know. Nerdy, uh, lovelorn singer. Who jumped up on stage? I heard it was somebody. Kanye West. Kanye. Kanye? Yeah. Even I knew that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. He was upset because Beyonce didn't win. Yeah. Was? Hmm. Yeah. No, he just oh, that's, wanted. He that's just for wanted nine, not. Yeah, that's for nine, be... not eight. Nine. Gail, it's on nine. Kanye's nine. nine. Oh, oh Kanye's Kanye's we, haven't, eight. we haven't done eight. Eight's another, we figure out another song. Oh, I'm sorry. So what were you saying, Karen? No, Kanye doesn't care about Beyonce. It's just any excuse to get up and try and have the limelight. I think we need to show compassion for his mental illness. Bullshit. Oh, what a jackass. <laughs> okay, um, Kanye West is actually the answer for number nine, Gail. Thank you for... Keep yeah, I put it on nine. Answer. No, you put on eight. I well, no, it. it's actually on a, a numberless ten. Or is it? Yeah, it needs to go to nine, which is above where you put it. Okay, I I got it in the middle of nine. Yeah, something's going on. But but the lyrics include was for this was part of eight, right? I got nine in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I don't know. Uh, number ten. Is he a fan? I don't remember him talking about it too much, but it wouldn't. Be oh, I think he must be. This is like the second or third category he's done about it or talked and about her. I put 56 because I figured if you're going to do a category all on her, it must Not be. him. <laughs> I don't think that applies to him. He would do it. He would do a zero. Just no, because... I, he always does stuff he, he enjoys. Oh, yeah, okay. for music, he always he does. does. It's always something he knows about and he enjoys. He he he's not the type that will do something. I like to do something about something I have no clue on. I think Rob would not do the make the answer one extreme or the other. I think it's either seven or thirty-two. So, okay. how many songs are usually on an album? About twelve. Ten to twelve, yeah, right. Oh. Okay, yeah. so there's how many albums do you think she has out? Ooh. A, a buzz a bagazillion yeah well i was thinking well, isn't, that in the first, isn't that in the first question 
Didn't you talk about how many? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are? Well, so this isn't like I was thinking, okay, if there's this is how many songs does he have? So if you download an album, then you usually come with a bunch of songs. So if there's 10 on an album, you would think they'd be in increments of 10. But you don't have to buy whole albums anymore. Right. So he yeah. must be picking and choosing his favorite songs. I vote for 32. All right. Okay. I'm just and that's a stab. That's a stab in dark. Susan, how am I am I the one who's deciding to close the rooms? Well, yeah, of course. You're the only okay. one. Okay. Would Check Rob, out. would you be able to play the audio clue for us again? No, nah, then I'd have to do it for everybody. That wouldn't be fair. Damn it. I was would be fair if you played it for everybody. Can't you broadcast it? I love short shorts. See something. Na, 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 na. Oh, you can't I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the bleachers. Uh, See, Karen does it better than I do. I don't know the song. Oh. Okay, so seven and eight we don't have, and one. Was the, the audio clue for seven or eight? It was earlier on. It was uh, seven. Yeah, it was seven. It was seven. Yeah, seven was the audio one. Yeah, it doesn't, one it doesn't really. Plays, it doesn't. It doesn't really have two characters. It, it doesn't have anything that's not in the words, really. So there's no really point in. She plays two characters. In the one, okay. she um, wears a dot. I'm a da, da, da. Was it? Didn't she have a my next next mistake song? Yeah. Oh yeah, favorite mistake is what my husband said on that. Oh okay, oh, that favorite mistake. No, but not for seven. For the oh, other not. one. The Ooh, sexy one. song? For seven, I thought it was like that one, uh, Just Say Yes, but I'm not sure that's, if that's the name. That's the answer we have down now is Baby Just yeah. Say Yes. Yeah, the other one was Favorite Mistake. So eight that's is Favorite eight. Mistake? No, yeah. eight is Kanye West. Right. No, nine Why is Kanye, Kanye West. messed up. Yeah, know. the numbers are messed up because the chat has um The chat, seven. yeah, this isn't right. Yes, yeah, eight is who interrupted Taylor Swift. Oh. Nine is the Taylor Swift song of the year, 2015. Is that the... Uh, That's yeah, one? they did get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so nine is favorite so mistake. Nine, yeah, that makes sense. That so jives with my notes. Is what? That's the, I think, the just say yes, unless it's something else. Okay. So this one is, this. that one is eight and this one is nine. So we need one, correct? We need we need one and we need nine. Nine is uh, favorite, favorite mistake. mistake. Nine is favorite mistakes. Okay. Thank you. And so yeah, we need one. Um, I don't know, forty plus or minus ten, right? Yeah. yeah. 13. Yes. <laughs> that would be ironic. Why not? She says it's her lucky number. I don't know. I like Peggy's idea. What did she say? 40. I I go 40. What? I wonder what they would be though. It's a love it's a love story. Love story. Lo it's a love story. It's a love story. Love story. What? Is it a love one? story? Maybe one. one is a number. So I'm sorry. It's a, a, never mind. I'm sorry. Well, I'll wait. You're confusing me now. Sorry. Tell me what, what question are you talking about, Karen? I'll no, it. no, we're on number one. I'm sorry. Number one. Well, it's yeah, it's, it could be. It's Seven. a guess. It's just a guess. It's 40 seems like a lot, but plus or minus 10 is really mind boggling. I vote, I vote 40. 40. 30? Okay. Is she, is she like have children and married? I don't know. Anything no, about no. no children. Um, she's famously single and uh, an yeah. uh, active dater. She's a serial monogamist. Very serial. All right. How shall we decide on number one, folks? You want to vote? 40. Yeah. Cool. Is anyone against 40? No one's opposed to 40. 40. Okay, 40 it is. 40 okay, and then 30 to 50. So we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six, and seven. You wanted to revise, Karen. I you said you think it's it? love story. It's a love story. 
is I don't know the title, but yeah, I, it is that song. I don't know the title. Then if you think that if you think she has a song called Love Story, put it down. Okay. Revise yeah. seven to Love Story. All right. Maybe <laughs> just has she has she dated Pete Davidson yet? Because like he's supposed to be everybody's supposed to date Pete Davidson, right? I don't think she has yet. So he's on his li her list. Yeah. Who is, is she, that? Pete Davidson's a tattoo. He was guy. on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, he's a guy's got a lot of problems, tattoos all over, and he's just icky. I don't know why women date him; they feel sorry for him or something. I don't. It's get it supposedly either. for a very uh, base reason. What? <laughs> I miss that. What He's got say? a big schlong. Oh no, yes. that man does not. No, I. Oh think yes. I'm sorry oh yes, him. he does. There are many women that have attested to that, but you know, it needs more. You need more than that to keep someone happy. That's why he can't. Yeah. He hasn't been no, able to. Stay. He's one of those stay lovers. Around. You know that they fall in love with him really quickly, and he falls in love with you really quickly, and he's like, "Oh, we're getting married. I love her so much," and then the next thing you know, they're broken up. Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with with uh, dating if you're not engaged. I mean, date away. He's, yep. he's just messed up. He's the one that had the father. It was a firefighter. Died in 9-11. World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. So I think women feel sorry for him. He also has Crohn's disease. Oh, I didn't know that. That's yeah, it's like why he looks so sickly. Yeah, yeah, he does. He looks like he's on death's door all the time. Yeah. Well, just, is that and why it's funny so though? A sense of humor is very, very sexy. Well, yeah, but not on I, I just don't, I find him looking like he reminds me of like a, a drowned rat or something that you're always yeah. getting the bell out because he's just emotionally I'm having an emotional breakdown today. You know, it just feels like that type is always if, got if, we, if we are going to give Kanye West empathy uh, for his date, <laughs> we I certainly not... have to give it to Pete, especially because he is getting less brain uh, blood flow to his brain, apparently. <laughs> no, I am not giving anything to Kanye. No, that dude is just no. Do we have all the answers? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think we're good. Answered everyone. Well, we have, we have an answer to answers. Everyone. Whether they're the answers will be determined <laughs> yeah, shortly. Caspian hasn't said too much. He's using the excuse he was cooking, but I, I have a feeling that he's a huge uh, Taylor Swift fan. It's a secret, secret. Yeah. Big Peggy, secret. Do you, Peggy, do you know our name? I don't. Caspian, can you tell her, her our name? Proclaim. And God said, gather two of every pie. <laughs> I like it. That's clever. Oh, I need to give you this link to poem. I'll have two pies, please. Yeah. How long were you uh, powerless? Well, it was a couple of times. So it was like Thursday to Sunday morning. And then again, mm -hmm. it went. On, then it was on for a day and a half and it went off Tuesday and it was off until Wednesday. How miserable wow. were you and George? We were, you know, we're fine. It's first world bitching problems, you know, but my internet was out the entire time. So I think internet, done, huh? yeah, five it, seconds, five seconds. Anyway, enough about me. We're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. How can you tell? Because we're still. I, well, uh, I, you know, you just our saying? intellect was just overtaxed, I think. Yeah. All right. Come on, Robert. Okay. I take, it, right. I take it. I take it the recording doesn't occur in the breakout rooms. It, it occurs my... wherever Susan is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's only going to record my room. Right. So we can yeah. talk about Susan now. Okay. Keep in mind, you guys, that I can see all chat. Wow. Just I, I just like to go on record saying Rob stole a future question of mine. Ah, oh, Rob. How dare you, Rob? Category or just one question? One question. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Question. It, was, it, was it was number ten. 10. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. <laughs> number, number nine. Well, well, Rob didn't see your name on it, Carl. So, yeah, finders keepers. You know? Yeah. Well, we did sufficiently so, talk about it the other week. Yes, we did, and I thought you might remember that, but yeah. <laughs>
And, and I'm actually wondering if anybody got the hint and who didn't know it. But anyway, all right, let's start at the beginning. So question number one, uh, all these amazing uh, awards. Uh, but the really weird one I never heard of was that she had Guinness World Records. And, That's for uh, drinking beer. I, yeah, I doubt that. And I <laughs> gave hot dogs. It was I gave, hot dogs. <laughs> I gave you a plus or minus 10, which should indicate it was fairly a large number. And it's freaking 92. Oh, my Whoa! God. Oh. Anybody get that? She had to add another wing of her two. house just to have the awards on it. So I gave you a plus or minus. So it's 82 to 102. Um, I think most people know that her fans are called Swifties. All right. Uh, I wondering if people knew that she was named after uh, singer songwriter James Taylor. My team knew that. I knew that. Yes. Number four, uh, she was born uh, at the very end of 1989. So we'll take 88 to 90 there. Big's husband got that one. All right. It's also the name of one of her albums. That's that, why you got it. <laughs> that's correct. And um, amazingly, this will make Susan jealous. The the animal that she owns, which is worth almost a uh, hundred million dollars, is a cat. Yes, a <laughs> Scottish <laughs> fold. Christy. Scottish fold. Yeah, the cat's name is third. Olivia Benson. Yes, why it no ranks, so much? ranks third on the list of the richest pets in the world. But why? Yes. How can a cat be worth that much? <laughs> because the cat's cat. name is Olivia Benson. <laughs> well, she likes why. cats. It's, Susan, it's a diamond encrusted okay. cat, okay? <laughs> she likes cats, but who knew a cat wait. could even be worth that? Wait, wait. Is it real? It's, yes, a real, it is, it's, real it's been in her videos, too. So yeah. Google, it's Google why. Taylor Swift cat it's, Olivia Benson. It's a stuffed cat. It's stuffed no, with platinum. But does, does that mean she paid that much for the cat or it's resale? No, values? she has invested that money in the cat's name. That's probably the insurance value. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. How can a cat be worth 90 million or whatever? Because it's a cat small, have its own TikTok. That's it's my much question. better than your cats about getting raccoons out of the house when they're invaded. That's what <laughs> the cat swallowed a huge diamond. Yeah. Uh, all right. You guys and, still are um, making no sense. We thought it was a racehorse because that's the only thing that would. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But so, but but Aaron said it's a cat. But no, said, I said she cat likes cats. The, yeah. The cat, no, she the likes cat has cats. Won several races. So is this okay? <laughs> Racing cat. It's a jockey. It's but a jockey. It cheated. It's a cat that it lives. cheated. It's a all right. race cat. This the is next... a living cat. Oh. I, I looked it up. It's because Taylor Swift has a cat food line called Nala Cat. Uh, oh. worth and and one of uh, one of her Guinness World Records is for her cat's Instagram following. So the cat is valued. Okay, I get it. It's not she paid only the cat knows the recipe for the cat food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Coca Cola. Mice. Maybe. Finally, a cat food for food. Actually, that cats want. All right. <laughs> they just uh, want to play with it. They don't eat them. All right. <laughs> guess I'll turn off my moving video. on. I'll turn off my video. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, her lucky number was actually written about in Skeptical Inquirer, and there is the link by Leonard Vi, which is 13. Yes, good job, Is that the question you thought I might know? Yes. No, but I, I, no, I said there's a whole round you will know. That's the bonus round. Me? Yeah. Okay. And but Susan uh, did get that. She saved the day. Very good. I knew 13, but I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. <laughs> All right, and so the song that was ranked oh, among the greatest songs of 2000 decade, what is the name? I'll play it again, turn the recording off for a moment, which this is, this has the. So what answers did you give that need to be repeated? So just the, just the number eight, which was uh, Kanye West, who was the total asshole. Yeah, what a, wow. She has a mental illness and he's not medicated, be nice. Yeah, sure. I'm sorry, I'm done with that excuse. Number nine, no. number nine. <laughs> Did anybody not know it and leave it blank? Because you get the point. No, you cannot give them that for blank space. I will. Because that's round what his I rule. Said. No, they have to write the word blank As space. They can't leave a blank chance, space. Gonna, they can. If you left the blank Yay. space, you get a point. Why? So if we have blank space, then we get two space. points, right? <laughs> is the song called Blank Space? Yes. 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 Out of blank space. space, and she'll write your name. 
That's correct. And and I'm the, protesting. Too bad. I'm protesting. I'm protesting. <laughs> no, I think we should get two points, Christy. No, we actually had the words blank points. space. Z yeah, if somebody actually has fired. the word blank space, then the blank Z space actually should have count. actually has the word blank space because this is one of my favorite tales. Rob, thank you very much. It's a, it sounds and it's a, like all it's the other ones. Brilliant video. We now put a new line. Does that work? It's a brilliant. Nope, that's incorrect. Sorry. Number ten. Number ten. All right. What what were the guesses? What do you people think I have on thirty two? Zero. Zero. We have fourteen. Five hundred and ninety two. One album. Nobody got it right. Oh my God. Seven. Is it really fifty six? Seven. That was uh, my dang it. We discussed oh, I was that. Gonna guess oh. that. We did well, discuss we, it. We, what we seven songs do you have? I have a love story, our song, Picture to Burn. Should have said no. <laughs> Teardrops of my guitar. Tim McGraw. I love that song because it's about another country artist. And you belong with me. So there we go. Mm. And I'll post paste the answers into the chat. For wow. But that was a lot of overthinking for not even Nobody having the right options. That, right? Yeah. <laughs> we we've learned a lot about you today, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not all good. I, I actually I actually like her because of her brilliance. I watched a, a documentary yeah. where they talked about her making her concert and basically she does everything she does the design she does the best she hires people it's like she's just not a pretty face who sings it's, it's quite amazing she's like Do good dolly parton, parton. Mm -hmm. she's like dolly parton you yeah. don't yeah. necessarily like her music necessarily but as a human <laughs> she seems like she's amazing Except that we do like Dolly Parton's music. Oh, I love Dolly Parton, but I don't really sing Dolly Parton music except that Jolene song. That kicks ass. Uh, the big classic, <laughs> I Will Always Love You. Nine to five. Mm, with, with Nine to five. Okay, yeah. Words, but... <laughs> but I would okay. like I have no Dolly Parton on my phone. Scores. That way. Scores. I thought, is Rob going to trick us and say that he listens Rocky on Top? Spotify and not Apple? Oh, <laughs> Chrissy, that'd be mean. Oh, hi, Brandy. By the way, I didn't say hi to you. I you joined after I didn't get to see you there. Good to see you. Okay. Hello. Scores. Hello. The SVB failed an hour earlier. Seven. Ooh. It is forbidden to dump bodies into the river. Eight. And God said, gather two of every pie. Five. Oh, man. Come Ooh. on, man. What the, what the blinkity blink, blink, blink? You were there. <laughs> I know. Yes, oh. I'm she gave us 20% of the answers. So wait, did the team that uh, Susan was on has got the lowest score so far? Oh, that yeah. happens. My robo dog ate my AI written essay has four. <laughs> right? I like that name. I count seven. Seven. Okay. Today, green beer counts as a vegetable has four, right? Eight. Oh, brother. Oh, so we're tied for first place. Cool. Good job, team. All right, Rob, you better have a better category now. Not too bad. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I'm done with this. Taylor you Swift, know, part you, two. You know, <laughs> Susan, uh, Dolly Parton wrote the song, I Will Always Love You, that I Whitney Houston that sang. Song. Yeah. Yeah. I will always love you. Now, now it's going to be demonetized. That's my dog sing. <laughs> I'm gonna that came out better now. than Happy Birthday. This is why, this is <laughs> yeah. why yeah, our... Our trivia goes viral. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second category. Nothing to second. do with yeah. second yeah. verse. Same as the first. Same as first. Hi, Deborah. Who's in the kitchen? Who's in the kitchen with Deborah? Deborah's in the kitchen with Deborah. Deborah just turned it Deborah. Oh, I wonder yes. who's going to get Deborah now. I'm already on the team. Oh, you're that not means. new? Hey, that <laughs> means we get the next one. <laughs> We get the next one. We're just we're just playing with you guys. Okay. I hope, hope the next one's next my brother. Category. <laughs> um, oh, to now that's now it's time for something totally different. We love you, Alex. So. Oh, Monty Python. North, Meet South, us. or Equatorial. Ooh, oh, Lord. interesting. So what what that means is. Tell me if each nation or region is fully north of the equator, fully oh. south of the equator, or it touches the equator. What do we say by uh, Have we done this? Have we done this? Uh, uh, variations well, on it. Yeah. Are you including disparate island possessions? 
No, not, I don't have not it. that I don't have it. we'll remember any of the old answers. Hey, I'm right. telling you, you're remembering I'm everything here. Yeah, you, you have the memory of a, of a, I don't know what. Somebody <laughs> remembers a lot of things. You can't remember what? Yeah, a slug. That's it. I'm, I'm ordering my map right of the there. world to hang on the wall and above my computer. <laughs> yeah, Zeke's got. Everybody's muted. There you're you gonna go. you're gonna you're gonna put slugs on the wall. Okay, here we go. First one. <laughs> Ecuador. Galapagos yeah. Islands. Turtles all the way down. Number two. Bolivia. Number three, the Central African Republic. Central. Mm. Number four, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah, I was going to put Ecuador, but I thought that might have been. You know, That's not Ecuador. the name of the country. I thought Colum how you spell that. Co Colombia. Did I spell it? Oh, Colombia. I think an O instead of a U. You know which country I mean. Democratic Republic of the Congo. Mm -hmm. Of the Congo, they do the Congo there. And and this is oh, the English oh, version oh, of however you say this: French Guyana. Guyana. Which I almost went there for a launch, and I had all the shots and everything to go <laughs> into the jungle, and then it got canceled. Uh, number seven. I'm going to hang up a map. I swear Kenya. to God. Yeah. I know. I swear. I've got one in or the kitchen. Why am I not in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> number eight is Peru. I'm going to get a coffee cup that has it, just like Janine with her. With Paula her at least should know that one. Uh, number nine are the Hawaiian Islands. And last but not leastest is Tanzania. Tanzania. All right. Quick. This assumes we know where these nations Easy. are. Hey, we get Caspian on our place. team. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Oh, Caspian. Yeah. Uh, we could just go take a break. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got to move? No, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to wander off while you guys figure these out. Zeke probably knows them because she does geography. But I know Cass has them. So Cass, which I go. only know one. Which one do you know? Col Colombia touches the equator. Does it? It does on the south. So north, south, or so the answer would be equatorial. E Q U A T O R I A L. Okay. Yes. So anybody I believe know Bolivia one? is south. That makes sense. What about the Galapagos? It's got to be south, right? Uh, I don't have a good sense of exactly where the Galapagos are. Or do uh, they touch? They're just off Ecuador. So that would, if they're the same as Ecuador, in north or south. south. Yeah. They're yeah. south, right, of Ecuador? No I mean, idea. of Equator? Right? No idea. I'm pretty sure it's south. I'm running south, because I don't know. That's fine. But it is close. What okay. happened to Gail? Where's Gail? She's typing. She's there. Oh, I don't see her. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so Central African Republic. Well, number two is south, yeah. south, right? Yeah. Caspian yeah. says, yeah. what about Bolivia? South. south. Caspian, three? I'm trying to think of my map. I have no idea where that is. It's it's north of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I think it is equatorial. It's very close. Sorry, okay. Central African Republic is equatorial. Number three. Yeah. Columbia. Number five, the DRC, I believe, is south. That would be my guess, but early Guyana? guess. French oh, Guiana is equatorial. Is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Guiana, no. What did we say about the Congo? Uh, south. South. Didn't they used to call it Equatorial Guiana? And then uh, they that realized it was wrong. It was very embarrassing. So you're going to say this is what? North? Uh, south. Sorry, Are Equatorial. It's Equatorial, I believe. It's actually Equatorial, huh? I think so. Kenya. 
Kenya is equatorial. Peru is south, right? E or is it Teche at the top? Uh, Isn't it? I it does it touch? Does it touch I think it's Ecuador? South of the equator? I think it's slightly south. Hawaii is north. Yeah, Hawaii is definitely north. That's the only one I knew. Tanzania. Tanzania is south. Okay, let's look at three and five and make sure we've got those right. Because the names are so... Yeah, so the equator passes through Kenya. It passes south of the whole West African section. Um, I don't believe it actually passes through Equatorial Guinea. It's very close. Uh, You know, so should, I, I think. So should we put I north think, for French Guiana? I think CAR is north and uh, DRC is equatorial. Okay, so number five number is equatorial. And number three is north. Five is the cotton belt, right? You're saying that's yes. equatorial? Yes. And three is south? Three, north three is five. north. Okay. No pressure or anything, Cass. The problem you is it's all very close to the equator, so it's hard. Well, is anybody, you know, so let's not put all the pressure on Caspian. Is there anybody else who has information to add here? Because otherwise, whatever you get right, I mean, it, you know, it's better than we could have come up with, Caspian. I have a globe right over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is, I thought Tanzania was northish of Kenya. No, Tanzania is south is southish of Kenya. Okay. Is South Southwest. Is Tanzania the one that is within another country? No. No. It used, uh, it used Tanzania to be is actually Tanzania. larger than Kenya. Tanzania used to be called Tanganyika. Oh. Yeah, it's a former German colony. Okay, are we going to, are we happy with these answers? Unless know. they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they're great. I have you no information amazing. to add, so I'm content. Okay, great. So how did you just in geography with Sagan about Africa or something? No, she's only California this year. <laughs> Next year is America. Not. It's your fault. You <laughs> been, you so in junior been. high, we measure we memorized every country in the world and now Africa I was so proud of Africa that I finally got Africa down and it was like useless 10 minutes later yeah right. it's it's all now. <laughs> yeah Sagan's only 10 so <laughs> we're well, only I, at we're at the year of California history I just keep thinking. do they teach about the missions still they do but they they don't do uh, it's falling out of fashion to make missions out of the sugar cubes and like really focus on it or whatever tell them you know someone who was raised to think that her uh her spanish father great grandfather and great grandma and and shumash great grandmother fell in love only to find mm. out when she's 50 years old that he bought her and she died mysteriously when she gave birth to the first female child what? she was working on a mission he bought her at a mission and mm. used her like a like a breed mare it's horrible. And she died? Yeah. Well, she died mysteriously after she finally had a female child. Yeah, we didn't even go visit our local mission, but I did teach Sagan that there are 4,000 Tongvas buried at that mission. Ooh. So. I, think it, I think the history is really good to know, especially for geography reasons, too. I mean, what's near and the towns were named. I mean, you know, it's all interesting and it's all important but yeah i think we should definitely cover a lot more of the truth about it than they are i mean they're we're trending definitely more progressively the way history is covered except in, in california florida. yeah <laughs> in florida and except because they want very much to reestablish what karen was yeah. talking about 
that's what this whole abortion pill thing is about. Yeah. Right? And in California, brood mares. right. And in California, there's uh, mission bells all along what, what is known as the Camino uh, Real. Uh -huh. yeah. And there are these mission bells and people think, oh, this was the path that, you know, Sarah took and the missions and everything. And, and they've been there forever. No, they've been there since the fifties when a yeah. you know white women's group put them there. And, um, and now there's this whole thing to take them down. Yeah, that I, was I, I talked to Sagan about that as well, that it's for a lot of people, it's like looking at a Confederate flag. It's a reminder mm -hmm. of the enslavement and murder of your people. The bell part? When you see those bells, yeah. Really? I, I mean, think about it. I mean, it's like, or if like lynching ropes hanging right. up. It's, follow it's this, a, it's follow a this to reminder. the gallows. Follow this yeah. to a gallow location of your ancestors. I mean, and it wasn't, they weren't put up there as they went along even they were put there by a women's group in the 50s and there's no mandate to maintain them yet they're a liability really for the state of california yeah. so if they fall down they're not repaired so people are actually trying to consciously get them removed yeah the original ones were made of brass but people kept stealing them so they've been replaced with cement ones Was but even those yeah to, people i thought they were used to call people from the fields and that's well no the ones that are along the road that like you you'll see when you're driving oh you're not talking about California. the ones in the mission you're talking no about the, the ones at the missions are they're i mean they're also on the not. camino real oh you're talking about the standalone kind oh okay. yeah yeah five, yeah, those five seconds go. good job team i think we do okay let's hope right Carol, are you gonna do the answers you mean the this score? Is, this is a good category. Or the score? Yeah. Good category, uh, Rob. Either or. We're all real close to the... Okay, you can. Okay. okay, so here we go. So I actually heard one team say, oh, most of Africa is below the equator, which is definitely <laughs> not true. Uh, so here we go. So, uh, and I have been to two of these, by the way, the Galapagos Islands and uh, to the Hawaiian Islands. So it turns out that you can barely see it on this map, but the Galapagos are right there. And in fact, they are straddling the equator. Oh, man. Yeah, they're mostly south, but there's one or two of the small ones. And our ship crossed the equator just to do it, to go there. Yeah. So that are is- Rob, Are you a showbag? reading Far Side of the World and where the, what was in the Galapagos? No, mm. um, I can't remember that off no. the top of my head. Maybe. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, the next, the I've next also one, been to the Galapagos. The next one is Bolivia, and that is uh, quite a distance off, uh, as you can see in the middle here, ten degrees <laughs> south. Hopefully, at least Paula got that. Uh, the Central <laughs> Central African <laughs> Republic. I will zoom in. Uh, unfortunately, when you do that, the equator disappears in this map. But it is here, and the equator goes wow. to the DRC. So it, it, it is. Uh, uh, yeah. Got it. It's, it's, it is. It is. Uh, the the Democratic Republic of the Congo is mostly north, but uh, so I didn't get them. Sorry, Central African yes is north. So and it, the closest it approaches is two degrees. Um, back to South America, Colombia is. is um, on it is right on the equator but mostly north but it, it does touch the equator uh, back to africa uh, as i said the democratic republic of the congo is actually the drc that's mm -hmm. equatorial uh french guiana which is where they do rocket launches for the area in space is actually uh north of it but only by six degrees Ooh. oh wow. shoot, we put on it that's north uh kenya is smack in the middle of the equator. Wow. All right. Peru, uh, also, Paula better have gotten this, uh, is uh, south of the equator. By about two miles. That yeah, is correct. We were thinking it might have. Touched. That is oh. correct. Peru is two degrees south of the equator. I've seen uh, the Southern well, Cross from Peru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two degrees is not a lot. Um, the Hawaiian Islands were a giveaway. It should have been, although I heard somebody who thought they were south of the yeah. equator. Uh, no, they're quite far north. They're they're equivalent to uh, Cuba, in fact. Um, and and then Tanzania is uh, south 
of the equator, but just by 59 arc minutes. Oh. With a population of almost 64 million, it is the most populous country located entirely south of the equator. Interesting. Wow. Oh, yeah, just, look at that. just barely. And can you please it. repeat that fact about Tanzania? Rob? Yes, it's a, got a population of 64 or so million, and it is the most populous country located entirely south of the equator. Not South Interesting. Africa, huh? Right. I would thought South Africa was bigger. Nope, even beats Australia. Oh, really? Well, Australia, and, yeah. you know, well, Australia is so much, there's so much desert there that the population is pretty small. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah true, it, it, it has only a little bit more than uh, the state of Florida, from what I recall. Australia. All right, so I'll, let me put it's, the uh, answers in the chat. The population of Australia isn't as, even as big as the population of Canada. <laughs> well, a lot of them are killed by snakes, too. So. And, and for similar reasons, there's so much of it that's just rather desolate. <laughs> wow, I hadn't realized that. That would be a good category for somebody to do. Australia mm. versus... Anywhere else. <laughs> is it bigger than a bread box <laughs> hey that is really dating yourself ron because i'm sorry i'm sorry bread box. I, what I is a that. bread bread box hey, hey. <laughs> is this okay. species found in australia trying Scores. to kill us Scores. Yeah, yeah, that's another one well that's just everything yeah. yeah. come in boxes bread is it toxic does it come from australia yes both. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. So, and God said, gather two of every pie. We have eight. That's right. Thank you, Caspian. We're going to stop right there. Caspian, oh. thank you. Oh. Who's got the, okay, next category? No, that doesn't work that way, Susan. What was that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, we're on break now? <laughs> Break. Uh, okay, five minute break, everybody. Okay, stop picture. the count. Stop the count. Oh, I call shenanigans. Uh, we're not. We're not gonna. Oh. Okay. So. All right. My, my robo she's... dog ate my AI written essay. Ten. 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 Wow. Wow. Right. wow. We argued about Peru pretty significantly. <laughs> SBB failed an hour earlier. Six. Sorry, team, for my drawing. <laughs> okay. It is forbidden to dump bodies into the river. Nine. Uh, today, green beer counts as a vegetable. Nine. Nine. Whoa. Yeah. Which one did we get wrong? We had Olivia as equatorial. We got a full house in the totals. Yeah, we do. Wow. I just don't want to be in that end. Yeah. All right. So let's take a photo. <laughs> Come on, Mike. I like how you guys always straighten yourself. You're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go, okay, we're gonna take a picture and you see everything. We gotta look good for the picture. <laughs> the millions of people who view it. Okay, ready? Yeah, for all those millions. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> You know, it's like that when people take pictures and they say, like, the women all put their heads together like this. You know, like yeah. there's a magnet in their head and they go like this, you know, <laughs> join together. I don't know hey. what, what's up with that, but you guys crack me up. It's definitely a generational thing, isn't it? We're like, trying to get no, into the where you can take the picture, you know? When I. When I get back, I'll take my phone over and, and you can see the babies. They just turned three weeks old yesterday. Aww. Oh, Aww. can't wait to see the go, babies. I need to go Aww. close up my chickens. I gotta take a break. Five minutes? Five minutes. Okay. Five I'm going to leave. I so, guess. Oh. Who's gonna tell us we're recording? Five yeah, minutes. I know. Okay. Bye. Bye, Bye, everybody. Bye. I guess I'll do my, yeah. And don't forget to put that uh, science, science Bye, Jim. in in your uh, chat. If you want to stay later afterwards, we could talk about it. I think it'd be kind of fun. Uh, oh, yeah. For anybody's interested, we could stay and talk about it. So make sure you look that over. Let me put the picture up somewhere. Since you guys are so excited about seeing. Oops, wrong. Oh, your photo. Uh 
called Troy's Got a Ghost. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a shadow person. It's a genie in a bottle coming out of the bottle. Okay, so I am going to be right back also, but I'm still recording. Oh, no, it's pollution. She has pollution outside her window. A volcano. <laughs> it's a volcano. Let's see. Okay. It's so quiet. I'm back. So I got to see six yesterday. Six what? How was six, it? Six the Broadway show. Oh. How did you like it? I haven't it I don't was, know anything about it except the topic. It was um I, I would I would grade it differently in different categories. For the singing, it was incredible. The costumes were incredible. The stage set was flashy. It was a flashy kind of show. I thought that the storyline and the way it was presented was a little bit weak because I, I think it could have been maybe funnier. It was somewhat funny. Um, was it comedic? It was a little bit comedic, yeah um there were a lot of you know off with your head jokes kind of thing um and it did instruct you know every all british children know this little ditty that they they go divorce died behead the no, divorce beheaded died divorced beheaded survived right, right. and so they taught you that <laughs> um and um i i thought the the music composition was a little bit not as original and catchy as i would like it was a little cliche but did you go to san francisco or what did it san francisco through? yeah oh you did make are they a resident there? there or were they touring through it's just there for a week or 10 days or something so did you like it or not like it i liked it i didn't absolutely adore it it's not the book of mormon huh it's not the book of mormon or hamilton. no <laughs> or or hamilton no it's not any, any big names in the show that you saw no um but Still, all those those shows always have outstanding talent and i know i know and even the understudies are outstanding talent it's incredible um, to think the talent that is out there throughout the the u.s and throughout the world when the people they choose to promote as stars are oftentimes so mediocre. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, like the Britney Spears type, you know. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and there you is know, some. You're right. I've seen some plays that the, I mean, you're much. just like drop dead. This, yeah. oh my gosh. We went yeah. and saw Grace, um, Kelly Burke, myself, and Adrian, we went and saw Grace in, um, Ford's theater and you know some of these characters are up there they're doing their thing and then when it's their turn to do the song they belt it out like oh my gosh who are you and they're you don't you don't know who they are they're just people oh is there the peeps there's the peeps but it's, you're right see the baby, I mean, see see baby there, chickens James. just amazing you want to see the baby they're just not they're not there you know what i think it is here, I know what it is because I've spent a lot of time with psychics lately and Ty, uh, uh, the Hollywood medium, uh, Tyler Henry, I have decided he is a created character that the, that the, that the uh, network found and said, you'll be our next big psychic. And then they promote the hell out of him. And I think that's what's going on with a lot of these others. They're just in the right place at the right time. And they say, well, you have no history and you, you, you know, you don't have a problem and you're, you look like a good one. To and I think they just build so them up and there's so you much think, other You think they did a, a casting call and found someone for performance skills who had no previous background as a psychic? No, he was a psychic, but he was okay. like a little psychic in a shop Nothing. somewhere. 
and they and he so he was doing it but he had no he's 19 he doesn't no even dirt drive. there's no dirt on him yeah there was nothing he was clean as a there was skin. no dirt like the other guys have all other than he's a wrong. psychic and inherently dirty no no but they yeah but they didn't have anything on him yet yeah, right. so there was nothing no romantic entanglement he did good in school he had a great personality he was willing to listen and learn. he looks like the kid from uh home alone He's like the kid next door, and I Aww. think that's what's going on with a lot of other stars. Look, Look at, at those little keepers. So I think you're right, Jane. You know, the other thing, too, I, re I remember thinking this when we used to watch American Idol all the time, is that the people who go on, they have to want that life. It, it isn't enough to just be really good at it. You have to be willing to tour and sacrifice, you know, quote, unquote, a lot of other things in order to do it, and you have to enjoy that, and it's really not everybody does and mm -hmm. also introverted versus extroverted you know there's a personality you could be an amazing actor or singer but if you can't get up on that stage to do it you know yeah, consistently too i mean you may be able to do it one day and then the next day you're like oh my god that's a good point i mean if you're if you have young children that you want to be there and raise or something you can't just say okay we're on tour now <laughs> <laughs> look at how big they are now that's more like what a chick would look like they're starting to lose a little yellow well they were never yeah. yellow were they're they? so cute well the one the one was yellow and the one was white so the yellow one still has a kind of a yellow head and they're starting to get their two feathers down their back uh -huh. their wings came out white but if you look see the color they've got like a brownish color oh so i don't know they'll what when they their first feathers will change, you know, as they grow, they'll molt those. And they need bigger feathers, so they have a couple molts as they reach their adult size. So I don't know what I I thought they would just be white because huh. both parents are white. So I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, well, this is the first time you've had uh, Max and Emma have had babies, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah she's Wait a minute to... is is the mailman the chicken mailman brown? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> the rooster is the rooster brown that delivers. So he's got to be the mailman. Who delivers, delivers the chicken. milk. So, so are you going to keep them? There's just the two. They look like they're going to survive, right? Oh yeah, yeah. They're three. Yeah, they're doing great. So you're what I want to do, I'm all right. First of all, my neighbor told me that one of his guests was over. He saw Max and he wants one. I said, well, if I get a male, I'll sell them to him. And if a, and if I get a female, what I want to do is trade her with another female that's not related to Max. Yeah. See what I mean? So I don't know. So uh, best case scenario would be one of each. Worst case scenario would be two males. So. Oh yeah. Can't you but, take the little balls off or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> they're, they're, they're internal it's called it's called a capon but it's 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 surgery you got to go inside there. what if they cough really hard <laughs> do they fall out no, no way up in there well we'll ask Jean. she probably knows all about chicken balls they're, they're right by the kidneys oh so you can't like scoop them out or anything like with a crochet no hook? you got to go in yeah it's you know what a capon is, right? I know what a crochet hook is. <laughs> no, what's no, a capon? A capon, they castrate a rooster. They go in surgically and remove the testes. And then it gets very plump and huge. Like it's like a, a steer, like making a steer from a, from a, a bullock. And why the same would you want to do that? They get huge. They, it just, they have this, you know, big production, yeah, 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 yeah. It used to be a big deal. You get a cake. What's on the it. uh, what's the survival rate from that surgery? It's pretty good. I don't know, they don't do it so much anymore, but they used it was to a do it a deal. lot, yeah, yeah. Well, Taylor Swift buy it because, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to ask before. Did anybody say I had zero songs or, or 56? I wonder if anyone, yeah, was we, did. We, said zero. we debated between zero and 56. We went <laughs> we Same a coin, those were the only two we considered. <laughs> we analyzed you up and down, and then we flipped the coin. 
Yeah, we said seven and 14, <laughs> and we went with 14. Because there was an album, you probably had the whole album. So, so I will, t I will tell you in truth. So, the thing is, country western dancing. She's a, she's a mixed oh, artist. Oh, that's right. right. You're into country western dancing. Yes, and oh, all yeah. of the songs I have, we have done line dances specifically choreographed too. So that's why they're on my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh. That's ex that's exciting. What, oh, Bob? <laughs> Your chickens are really, your chicks are really, those are really cute. Hot Janine chicks. had a question for you. Can you use a crochet hook to get the, the get the balls out of a rooster? I don't know how they do it. There is probably a video on YouTube you can look oh, up. Oh, there is now. Oh, now oh talk it's about cool. crochet hook. You ruined my office. hobby. How to cape and lace, yeah. Oh, okay. Are we ready for the next category? No, we have not done announcements. So you need to calm <laughs> yeah. yourself down. So we have announcements to do. So Kyle, I'm just trying to get you to stop talking about castrating roosters. <laughs> we can talk this about go viral. <laughs> we can well, talk this... about the coyotes that were out there uh... when I went out to close up the chickens. Ooh. My dog ran back, and there was this whole pack of coyotes out there, and they were really loud. And my dog <sighs> went running back in and i had let the chickens out really late because we were falling trees we cut down two big trees and so the poor chickens didn't get time out oh rob knows all about coyotes he knows to stare them down yeah i'm kind of being like triggered dogs. <laughs> three -legged. okay Kyle, all right yeah Kyle's turn. Turn. this week on data skeptic we have our most downloaded episode ever featuring susan gerbic it is not. Sites <laughs> on a survey design, yeah. and we developed a podcast or a, a survey about podcast listenership, and then explored the results. That was my favorite of all the data skeptics, and I've been on live. And, and despite despite them laughing about people who listen to podcasts in the shower, because that was a conversation, while they were joking about that, I was listening to the podcast in the shower. <laughs> Picture that. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is on top of well, all Well, it's better than picturing him listening to Taylor Swift in the shower. Good point. Yeah. While he's line dancing in the shower. Exactly. Really large what shower. happens in the shower stays in the shower. <laughs> well, that's funny. So and one oh, more. Zeke got a shout out on Ono, Ross, and Carrie. Oh, is that right? <gasps> what? Yeah. How? Is she on the ark? Oh, now the I have finder? to listen. Huh? Hey, uh, complimentary to you about being an informed homeschooler. Oh, yeah. Oh. They, you know, they used to shout out about Sagan all the time when she was little, but I, I'm, I stopped being a regular listener for years, but I've been trying again. I'm trying to catch up. I'm on the ARC stuff. I'm on like, yeah, yeah. Episode eight yeah. Like and they, when they, and they, they were one where they remembered um, James Randi, I think Ari Steiner got a shout out. Oh. I, yeah, I was listening to I got to get back and. They just produce so much content. True. It's so yeah. many hours. Every every adventure they do is yeah, is long. Yeah. so much. Well, Kyle's got uh got this amazing podcast. Hmm. If you guys haven't listened to it, it's called Data Skeptic. Yeah. And I had so much fun on there. I think I laughed too much though. I was listening to it and I was going, I keep laughing, but I was having such a good time. And the, it was just a fun conversation. It was indeed. We were doing it over the, you know, we could see each other. And so when you can see each other, you start laughing and you're <laughs> I don't know. I was having fun. I, I got to do a survey. I got to pretend I was a smart person and be a data, like a scientist or something, a data scientist. Exactly. It was fun. It is not your most downloaded episode, right? I I'd have to check. It seems oh, like. Oh, you just made that up. <laughs> it's too soon. I'm, I'm impressed by in, informed homeschooler. And uh, if I could have been that, I might have. But my kids have never listened to me, like at all. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Yeah, it's a common problem with homeschoolers. I don't have that in my household, though. That's amazing. That my kid I thinks, think it's like she thinks I'm amazing. It's weird. It's 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 a thing. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah. Then whenever they become, you know, mom. my daughter like you are distancing all, all herself amazing. from me is her amazing. her biggest hobby. My kids are like, you know, oh yeah, yeah. I don't think my kids ever. Well, I think I was okay, cool as a mom for a little bit when I was reading the Hobbit and stuff to him, but then something changes in there. I don't know. Caspian, are you here? I will say my daughter trusted me enough to tell me 
she's on spring break and she's currently in Las Vegas, not to be in Vegas, but to go rock climbing. But it rained and she said, oh yeah, it rained and we did mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a good alternative. Yeah. Ask me, do you have anything yeah. to say? You can't climb I rocks when it's raining. You did, you well, he's at that age where he doesn't pay attention to doesn't his mom. Listen. He doesn't listen. He doesn't listen. I was talking Kids today. I, said. I wasn't listening. See how I see how I fare. So, what? Susan, you you think that you, your cats sleep all the time? I wanted yes. to prove to Rob it wasn't a Great Pyrenees by putting up this picture. This Aww. is a picture of my, one Aww. of our Pyrenees Aww. doing what they do best. Oh, I, I only have one sleeping at the moment. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my new hat? My sister made it for me. Oh, nice. She made it for me. Oh, and she wow. Just it to me and I have, I've rarely taken it off. I've had it a day. It looks super comfortable. It is really, it's a little big, but I love this. The color is so pretty. It's, it's got a little bit of green. Anyway, I just yeah. want everybody to know that my sister made me a really That's cool. Gail, I love thing. Great Pyrenees. It's like my favorite breed of dog. They're well, just. Well, needless to say, it is mine. And. When I have a when I need an online name, my name is Pure Person. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's so I am I'm a bird watcher, and um, one of the more famous bird watchers in the world is a woman named Debbie Shearwater, who lives in Hollister, and ran the pelagic trips out of Monterey Bay for years and years and years. And um, about I think it's been five years now. I think it was about five years ago she found a Great Pyrenees out. It had been dumped. It was like a mommy, a puppy mill mother. And this dog had been dumped. And and this dog like came out of the bushes to her and glommed onto her and has been her constant companion for the last five years. Oh, wow. And has turned into the most gorgeous. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture. Our, <laughs> our national club has a, a huge rescue program. Yeah. The little dogs, usually they can find another home for, but a Pyrenees is big. <laughs> and yeah, doesn't do well in hair. hot places. That's why the only reason I don't have any anymore was I couldn't yeah. bring it into Las Vegas. I've been my told boy, my Debbie's, dog looks like he's part Pyrenees. You have to meet him. name was not originally Shearwater. She named it, named herself that because that's her favorite bird. Yes. Yeah. She changed her name legally. It's really? Deborah Deborah hmm. Love Shearwater. I can't remember. She she says often what she was. She was she's from Pennsylvania and she Came to the West Coast and went hippie. No, well, not really. <laughs> on uh, uh, announcements wise, Saturday I am giving a talk to the P H A C T fact hmm. skeptics. Pennsylvania area, whatever. Philadelphia area, Please. something. No, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Philadelphia Association for Critical Thinking. Okay, oh, Rob, yeah. if you'll put the link. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> and then on Monday, the twenty seventh. I'm going to be interviewed on the Lisa Wexler radio show in Connecticut because mm -hmm. she had uh, Thomas John on and I gave her hack and, and did a video on it and she found the video while I tagged her and then she's like, Ooh. what? He's not real? And nice. I, I showed how she was, how he went to her sister's Facebook page and pulled up the picture. I put a picture up and said, this is how he knows who you, who that was. It was a trick, and she and she saw it. And she goes, well, that was really interesting. Uh, would you like to be on the show? But she won't let me talk about any of the psychics by name. So she says you can steer everybody over to your channels or whatever you want to do, but you can't name them. She's a believe it or not, she is a probate attorney, elected position in Connecticut, and I would think she'd have more sense. Especially since I said, if you're a probate attorney, why would, if you could talk to the dead, why would you need probate attorneys? You just talk to the dead, right? Why would you need an attorney? Absolutely. And she's, so I, I can't, I don't know if I could say that. I, I told her I'm not going to be pleasant. Okay. So here's the meetup. Thank you in there. It's at 730 in the morning, my time. So it'll be. You could hours. not help but be pleasant, Susan. I don't know. These people, these grief vampires piss me off. So here's my new channel. I've had it eight days and I am trying to uh, build up my, um, trying to get to a thousand uh, <laughs> subscribers. I have 131. It's eight days. That's I'm one. Eight, I'm eight, one. Eight, one. Karen, I'll subscribe. One. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at it. I got like a 
So I hope you're listening, but I keep putting out videos. I'm changing up how I'm doing it. It's really, it's weird being a YouTuber. I've watched a bunch of other videos on how to do this stuff and it is really odd, but um, I've been putting up videos of, of psychic readings and then, <coughs> and then explaining how it is that what you're seeing. That's my, my gig. I've looked around the internet. There's a couple guys who do it, but they're all men and that's not, they're not devoted to it. It's like they do that on top of other stuff and it's always men. And, and psychics is really a, a crime against women. So it seems odd to hear these men putting them down, you know, and it's like, I think we really need a woman saying this anyway. This I'm totally devoted to doing just these videos and stuff. I put up, I think, 20 or so. I've got um, one video. Right now, Thomas John is like on TikTok. His, his seatbelt psychic shows are like over the moon. They're, he's somehow or other they've caught on virally with these young women and so what they're doing is they're coming to youtube and they're typing in seatbelt psychic full episode and they're finding mine and this has just only been happening in the last six days or so and i kind of figured out something must be going on because i put up my first uh thomas john video and it's at almost 11 000 views wow like, what the what it's it's, it's like what the heck so um, it's just called Thomas John Seatbelt Psychic the Mortician. And the others are getting, you know, 10, uh, 500 views, 300 views, stuff like that. But I've only had the channel for eight days. So I don't know if this is good or not. But um, anyway, if you guys are interested in psychics and how, how, how these readings are done, you know, and how they pull the wool over your, your eyes. So the citizen? Got a question I've had for a long time about psychic readers. Mm -hmm. Can they enjoy a whodunit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a great question because again, nobody asks these questions, but I'm getting, you know, what's really interesting is the Commodores, not the Commodores, not the yes. 1960s group, but the um, comment, people leaving comments. It's really fascinating. You get a few people who are trolls. They're like, oh, girl, you're just jealous. One said, you're just so salty. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, um, you know, there some people say that. And then some people want to tell me their story. And it's so weird that they are willing to believe this stuff because they had one reading and the reading they had is just kind of lame. It's really fascinating the comments that's what i'm really understanding the most and then i'm getting skeptics coming in and saying i had never thought about that before thank you for explaining that i never never dawned to me but anyway that's my channel it's called psychics explained and that's why my my logo has changed on my screen because i have i've been recording a bunch of videos with it anything else anybody's got i had my article published yesterday oh which one iranian schoolgirl gas attacks and havana syndrome Oh, oh can you put the link? I'm interested in this. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I actually did two interviews uh, last week. This one got hit uh, hit the gate first and got out. And there's another one I submitted, uh, which is imminently going to be published about somebody on this screen right now. Can you guess who it was? Kyle Polish. Who I interviewed. Yes, it was Kyle. So Kyle's will be up Ooh. next. Kyle, you're going to get a lot of fandom now that I did that show with you. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. And Susan, I have... I have one last very important one here. I just finished the Friday uh, New York Times crossword puzzle. And one of the questions is Kathy or Luann? No way. <laughs> really? That's the actual question in there. It's five five letter word. How could Rob, that be? Wordle. Yeah. Rob, I'd just like to say wait, stay wait, out of my Facebook be, what, feed. What would be the Kathy or, or Luann? I don't understand. What's the? Comic. Well, they are both. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, answer, oh, the answer is comic. Yeah. I thought you were going to post your score. Oh, her like people scores. like people do with Wordle. There's no score in this uh, one. Other than my I'm time. Just, Ron, I'm just so don't know what to think of this. You're night. in the New York Times now. No, I was thinking about Ruby Ann. I mean, what the heck? She's dressed up like Mona Lisa. And Karen's having a seizure. <laughs> Or Karen. Oh, that's, there that's normal for Karen. Just ignore her. She's doing it for attention. Caspian yeah, had infected my time phone. In. I'm scrolling in. Facebook and who's showing up on my feed now but Taylor Swift. 
like literally have never <laughs> seen her and then what? after the round well, she's showing up in my feed please please explain this never uses your microphone I no, it's because we're all friends on Facebook and some of us. No, have it, no. if you no. don't have your settings to where the microphone is disabled, they, that is another. No, I don't think because no, the, algorithm the, the algorithm is literally that good, Karen. Wait, wait, like, wait. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. It's, it's, it's so obviously. quick. I had a friend that was freaked out that car advertisements were popping up on her phone. And she's like, how did they know my kid was having issues with their car? Listen, and I was like, I what were you answer. Google searching? I, I had a friend. I, I had a friend. That Where worked. did your GPS show you were at? It was Google telling me he, he's driving the down the New Jersey Turnpike and the billboards, which are these new kind that can switch automatically every five, were tuned into him because they were giving him what, what was interesting to look, him. His look, whole ride guys, on the New Jersey Turnpike. Guys, minority report, man. Somehow I, have, I don't yep. buy that. There, there's the psychic billboards. No, no, he said, well, it's tied into my GPS and it, guys, it can re register my phone. So hypothetically, technologically, I guess it could be done, but I don't think they do that. The answer is you remember the hits and you forget the That's pieces. right. That's yes. what I told That's exactly the that's answer. Right. Yeah. Kyle, can you say that? Yes, I have a, to that specific one, I have a client in the digital billboard space and their shit is so low tech, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's that's just because it her concerts are now happening, and so people are posting about them. You're going to be Good seeing point. people going to right. her concerts. Yeah, so maybe. Pile, is there a bunch of dip switches it. in the back of the billboard? <laughs> yeah. If we hadn't had the category on it and had talked about it, we probably wouldn't even notice it. It's you remember the hits, you forget the misses. Hey, I'm supposed to be doing it. I'm supposed to have an interview coming out by what's his face? Um, mm -hmm. That atheist guy. What? Seth Andrews? Yeah, don't he, blame me, that Rob. should be on already. Because he made that fallacy. What did you talk about? Um, psychics. Okay, I cool. Think. Of course, what else? Very it's cool. like three. No, I have a lot of things I talk about, but I. But he made that fallacy. He said. What fallacy? He says. He says my wife and I were in the kitchen and we were and we were talking about a recipe and then next thing we know, the a commercial. Or either a commercial or something that happened on Alexa or I don't know something. Oh, confirmation bias. Okay. Yeah, yeah but it pops yeah. up on there. And he says, yeah. "I can't believe it. They're listening to everything we said." And so yeah. then I get through the interview, and then at the end, I was talking about something. He said, "It's the psychics say, you know what it is is you remember the hits and forget the misses, just like you did at the very beginning of the show when you said you I you know about the recipe and then the ingredients showing up someplace." I said. It it probably happens all the time, but you had you hadn't noticed it before because you were talking about it. That's why you noticed it. And so I wonder if he's going to keep that in the show or not. Trust the hacker community. They're looking for this stuff and they haven't found it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's just something you notice. It's like when you buy a new car, you start seeing it all over the place. Or you name your child something, and then you start hearing it all over the place. So now the curse of tonight is everyone's going to see Tay Tay songs all over the place. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Uh, okay, Thanks, Rob. you're welcome. You're you're welcome. Well, I, I How see... would that have happened otherwise? <laughs> I see the time. There's no way they could have known that. No way. No way. Okay, come on, Robert. All right, so here we go. The uh, third the third category is again very different, and this one is a uh, visual one. So. I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. Who are we? Can you see the slideshow? Yes. Is it, it obscured by it. anything? I have like tiles all over the screen. No, you can, can see, see it? it. Okay, very good. So uh, this is just name the person or persons in the photo. I, in fact, have 13 slides. Just are give me tay -tay? any 10. <laughs> just first and last name or? Yes. Or just one. last name? Well, if you know who it is, I'll take that. Nickname. Yeah, number one. Not if I could come up with her astrological sign. Ugh. He said, "If you know who it is, that's enough." Yeah, number one. All right. So, and, and this is the mystery category. So, there's connection between these people. <clears throat> it's not just random, random faces. Number two, okay. and I'm go I'm going to give you this same document. Uh, this is Taylor Swifty fans. Shh. Yeah. Can somebody <laughs> mute us? Somebody, oh, somebody, somebody mute them because I don't have control right now. I am sharing my screen. 
Number three. Why don't we just mute ourselves? I don't want to be muted. Number four. I'm going through them quickly because you will have access to it. This is just for the record of the thousands of people who will watch this video. Number five. Ooh, 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 ooh. Number six. Ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody's not muted. Number seven. Number eight. Here's number nine. Number 10. 11. And that's not a mirror image. Number 12. And lastly, lucky 13. So thank you, Rob. There we go. I'm going to let's see, let me paste in the do URL. we choose do we choose that uh, we just choose 10 answers though? That is correct. Let me make sure that you can open this. Pretty sure you can. Somebody just check it. Let me know. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. Good. I'm going to send it to your rooms. Oh, let me put Mike in this room. Mike, you are in two. one they're psychics they're all psychics. i recognize one who's yeah. an astrologer okay i know yeah. i i think i know most of them that's oh, great cool uh, I, only, I got three <laughs> okay let me see well no i know some of them hold on wait wait let me look at them again okay number Am six you oh, got the picture so five. you don't need me to do that right oh there yeah, we right. go okay so number five is the fox sisters Five is just one person. Okay. Five is you one person. No, no, we no, haven't you no, I'm sorry. No, you're right. We haven't got oh, there. Fox. Sorry. The Fox you were sharing your screen, okay. so I cannot share mine, right? I wouldn't share your screen. We can already see. Because we all okay, have so five. No, we don't all have them. I like it, Gail. Thank you. Okay. All right. If she Do you yeah. mind going in number order? I think I'm the one sharing. Okay. Okay. Well, if you're sharing, I can't. So somebody else is going to have to keep. Do you see number one? Yes. Um, Karen, I do. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do is as you're giving the answers and looking at it, I will just make the, I'll put the answers and then I'll put it up later so you can all see what I did. Okay. I yeah. have a feeling this is Sylvia Brown, but a very, I'm not I sure. wouldn't, I wouldn't use it as one of our 13. It looks too different. No, I don't, I don't think that's Sylvia Brown. I don't think uh, so. Okay. Okay. This, this one. Is uh, she's the one of, I, I don't know if I know her name, but she's the one from Gwyneth Paltrow, right? Her, oh, she endorses her. I don't remember her name. Okay. I am. God, he looks like a narcissist or something like a psychopath, doesn't he? Yeah. He's peering into your eyes and I can't. Okay. No one's got that. Number four. Looks like Carrie Poppy. Um, <laughs> I not I don't know. Okay, so you have five. Okay, five is the Fox Sisters. Fox Sisters. This Six is Tater Tot Tyler Henry. <laughs> Tyler Henry. The Tater Tot. Okay. And this is Jean Dixon. Jean Dixon. Yeah, that's her. Oh name. yeah. I remember her in the yeah, early seventies. Right. She was in the paper all the time. Yeah. This is Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo. And Cassidy, Cleo. we were just talking about it. She's got, there's a uh, uh, HBO Max show on this. Somebody just recommended it today. George, I should know this person. I've you seen know, this. Yeah, she looks familiar. Sorry about George. I can't move. Was this Nancy Reagan's um, psychic? Or did she have Jean Dixon? I'm trying to remember. I think Jean Dixon might have been Nancy Reagan's. So this woman reminds me of somebody from the Reagan era. That that time. Uh, she might not have been. I don't know what her name was. I can't remember. Okay, this guy. Just so weird looking. He looks very familiar. But he's from the past. 
these ladies this, this is the psychic twins the psychic twins yeah and do they have any other name that they know they yeah. call themselves the psychic twins they call themselves the, they're awful uh yeah, i just are. watched a video on them today and i use them in my class okay, that's edward casey yeah casey casey <laughs> And then Yuri Geller is the last one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the freak Geller. Yeah. So twelve. We have seven. Five, six. I see seven. Yeah. We need you better than this. I, one. I, I'll count. So so Nancy Reagan's was local, pretty local. She's from the Bay Area. She was an astrologer. It wasn't. Yes. It wasn't a. G, it wasn't Jean Dixon. No. Jean Dixon was an astrologer. No, but it wasn't, it wasn't Jean Dixon. So it you think it was this one? That one. Yeah. But she, she was from the Bay Area. She yeah. What was her name? Oh. oh, yeah. You're allowed to ask anyone in your household. Okay. Mom, we, have seven, we have seven. We need three more. Oh, for sure. Ask Mark. Jeez. <laughs> what is she thinking? <laughs> and She's this one, no one can, I, I've seen that woman. She's a new I, one. She's like, um. Could you please come here? We we have a category on psychics and and we have to identify which ones they are. And I, there's a few I don't know. Could you please come look? Okay, just give me a minute. I'm watching the end of this music piece. I'll be right. Aww. Here. I love him. looking at the end of a music piece. So give him a minute. He says, "All right, <laughs> this is um." I don't remember her name. Okay, go to the top, would you please? Okay, this is, yeah, you're right. It is definitely not Sylvia Brown. Yeah, she has a more of a bulbous nose. Is any of them um, Patty Starr? I don't remember. Okay, so the category is, Rob's just given us pictures of famous psychics can, without names. Can you remember who some of these are? I don't know. Um, look. We've well, got seven. Look. We need three more. Okay, there's right. that one. She doesn't look familiar. There's no names to go with any of these? No, we have to come up with them. That's our job. Yeah. That one is two. This is three. Go go a little slower. Four. We got this one. That's a Fox Sisters. Fox Sisters, yeah. We got Tyler. Tyler. Tyler Henry. Got that that's, one. That's the one that was Reagan's. Jean the, Dixon. Yeah. Okay. See, see, he said Reagan too. Okay. And this is Miss Cleo. Yeah. Who is this? That's Rosemary Altia. Oh, is that her? Yeah. Oh my God. Mark Mark debunked well her. Done, Mark. How could I forget that face? Okay, it's Rosemary Altea. A L T E. Here's a face you don't forget. Uh, it's like Tony Randall to me, but I don't know who it is. <laughs> you know who it is? No. No. Uh-uh. We got them. On my time. This one I was watching the video on today. This is the Psychic, Psychic Twins. Twins. Yeah. Yeah. Linda. This one we got. Edward Gacy. And, and we got that one. Oh, wait, wait. Go back. That's not Edward. Who did you say? Edward Gacy. Gacy. No, isn't that uh, Ford? Mm. No, maybe you're right. Yeah, that that's you're right. Go back up to number one. See if uh, uh, no, go forward to the next one. That was it. It was Geller, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the last one's Geller. But go back to number one. Here's one. Okay, for her, put um, uh, Nancy Reagan's astrologer, because he said as long as we know who they are. I said first name, last name. So for number one, put. put Nancy Reagan's astrologer. Okay. I, don't, I don't know who that is. Are any of those like Patty Starr? Who is Patty Starr? I don't know. Oh, she's a she's one of those psychics. She ran um oh it was some sort of paranormal convention in Kentucky. Mm. Would that be number five, maybe? This too, I think it's Gwyneth Paltrow's person. And this one, God, she yeah. looks so much like Carrie Poppy. Okay, so Let's put Gwyneth Paltrow's person and see if we, we, we need That's to do that. Need that. So two is Gwyneth Paltrow's psychic. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. So this man looks so scary. 
that's not Chris DeFreeze, right? The man? That guy? Uh, could that be um, Sylvia Brown's son, Chris DeFreeze? Could be. I haven't looked at him in so long, I don't know. If we if we have a blank, that might be Chris DeFreeze. Right we now have, we have we three have exactly blanks. 10 names now. What we have now is one, Nancy Reagan's astrologer, two, Gwyneth Paltrow's psychic, five, the Fox sisters, six, Tyler Henry, seven, Jean Dixon, eight, Miss Cleo, nine, Rosemary Althea, 11, Psychic Twins, 12, Edward Gacy, and 13, Uri Geller. That's yeah, nine. and blanks for three, four, and 10. Right. You know, this might not be Christopher Reese because I think he's covered in tattoos. So this guy's not got a bunch of tattoos. Who could he be? So, oh, you know who it could be? Uh, 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 the, uh, the guy who killed everybody. Um, oh, no, the one that in the fire, um, the Waco oh, the, guy, the branch, yeah. branch Davidians. No, the Waco guy. Oh, Waco. Could that um, be it doesn't fit the category. Well, he thought he was psychic. I don't think that's him. He thought, okay. was, he thought it was God. His name was David something. Oh, Koresh. Koresh, yeah. Yeah, I and mean, yeah, I think he was better eyes. looking than that. Okay, so it's a matter of which ones we're sure of and which ones. Well, yeah. right now we have 10. That's well, it. We have sure 10 right seven. now. We're sure of eight. We're sure of eight. Yeah, we got eight. Yeah. So, um, how unless many three, the, red, the pink. Yeah. The uh, number slide number eleven. PC Unless three, four, four or guy. ten pops into your head, we're good where we are. Who is this guy? He looks so familiar to me. I can't stand it. What else? Okay. Oh, with that, that finger thing, that finger thing looks like something I've seen. I think that was typical of him. Can you think of a man who's a male from the seventies who said he was psychic? It could be a young version of the man too. Like that picture of Rosemary Altea. She was young. Mark knew mm -hmm. her when she was older. Oh, tell tell us the story. Of who? Rosemary, oh, Rosemary Altea. Mark took her on uh, um, Bullshit, the first episode of Bullshit. That was the psychic they put up against Mark. Oh. And he, he showed how she was. Well, he told him to turn on the cameras. But, but turn off the light on the cameras for recording. Keep the cameras recording the whole time. And pretend you're fussing on the cameras. And she goes out into the audience and she's like, hi, I'm Rosemary. Who is it you want to hear from today? And so they recorded all that. And then mm -hmm. whenever she goes on, she acts like she hadn't talked to him before. <laughs> and so the cameras were rolling the whole time. So when they pulled out the footage, they were able to say, look, and Mark was in the background. You could see him standing in the background. And then Mar Mark comes out and he does his thing. So he busted her and it was one of the first big bustings. She, she went nowhere after that because she was exposed on this show, uh, Bullshit, Pin and Teller Bullshit. So that's why you don't know her name anymore is because she was the one who was, because they busted her. She also right, got yeah. busted for uh, her uh, assistant took like $200,000 from her. <laughs> and and I did see that show. Um, yeah, that's her. Time ago. That's so that's why I recognized God. her. Who in the heck? This lady looks familiar. So Susan can never again say I didn't do one right in her wheel. You sure did. Boy. I swear this guy is a sociopath. I don't think it's Christopher Freeze because I think he's got tattoos all over his body. Does that look like We don't have him at all. We aren't using that one. It's okay. Yeah, good job, if, Rob. If we're okay without names. Then we have ten, but I'm not positive of the ones that she, the the two we have yeah. that are. Right. Yeah, I sure. Would like to come up with a name. That one right there. Golly. Yeah, we're taking you literally, Rob. When you said that we could have who they were, not what their name is. Well, right. some of them have nicknames, sort of. Um. Yeah, but she looks like the 80s. or they're or they're collectively known as you know, kind of a, a phrase as opposed to the their yeah, actual. We name. have what they're famous for. Mm, yeah. No, that's not good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the, he's not going to take. Who they are. No, he's not going to take one or two. He's saying like he'll take eleven, even though it's not their names. Right. Yeah. So he's yeah. not going to take yeah. what we have here. 
I think I think put put this put that guy down as. Do you think he's as, David Koresh? No, no, no. Uh, um, DeFreeze. Chris DeFreeze. Yeah, because Chris DeFreeze for which one? Yeah, three, three. three. Because I cannot think of who that might be, but he's so familiar. And, and so, are we crossing Koresh. off? Our answer for number one or number two in exchange for him doesn't matter. They're going to both be wrong with from what we yeah. know. So cross off number eight. one. We've got eight. Rob, solid. He left. So do you want you want? No, I, I'm here. Oh, like like oh, okay. what, I, what, I, what I meant by the, the phrase, like if someone's you know if someone's title was greatest medium in the Western Hemisphere, that's good enough if you don't know their name. You know, right. some of them some of them might have a title like that. Yeah, we know. Okay, but it's not um, it's not Nancy. Reagan's, uh, Reagan's astrologer. <laughs> no. Yeah. See, we're yeah. gonna get that as wrong. Okay. Go to go to a couple more. Let me stare at them a second because I sh I swear we should know these. Okay. We don't know her yet. Gwyneth Paltrow's goop person. I uh, yeah, goop psychic. And this one, it's I think Carrie that Poppy. name you're gonna go dope. It's Carrie Poppy. Is that is that a serious? Oh, oh my god, no. she does look like Carrie. I told you, <laughs> she looks just funny. like Carrie Poppy. This is um, could that be? You know, there's there's another one called Rosen. Her name is uh, Rebecca Rosen. I wonder if that could be one of these. She, she looks like she could be a Rebecca Rosen. I wonder if it could be her. I thought she had dark hair. I'm gonna look That's over. obviously bleached. Yeah, she's not a natural blonde. Uh, we right now have nine, we, having taken off the two that were, wouldn't okay. count. If, if all else fails, we'll, we'll put Rebecca her down as Rebecca, Rebecca, Rebecca Rosen. R -O -S -E -N. Let's see who else are we missing. So you want four is Rebecca Rosen. You know what? I have the screen right here in front of me. I can actually pull these up and stare at them myself. Ten is... That's so the old. guy. Oh. Psychic. He looks like he had a show in the 90s. I'm thinking even before that, like on yeah. Phil Donahue. I think I saw him on this Phil This is Donahue. probably why I recognize him, because that was my era for watching things like that. I yeah. think his hair looks like 90s. Early 90s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I think that's 90s. And a geometric background too. And the suit's kind of well fitting. I don't know. Who could have been on like Phil Donahue or something? Like a you came know, on the, the, the Sally Jesse John reference. Edward, a young John Edward. No. We have ten right now with Rebecca listed as number yeah, four. We're confident. Could this be John Edward? You really don't think so? I don't think so, but I don't know. On Edward McGee. Like 50 pounds lighter? Very young. I mean, he's been around 40 years. Mm. 50 years. Look at that. Look at his just his eyes and his nose. Yeah. And the chin, the divot in his chin. Does uh, he have a divot in his chin? I don't remember. He, he does. I remember that. Yeah. So you, you want to put him Edward? instead of Rebecca? Well, you know, put put him for John Edward. You're crossing off number two because we don't have a name for one or two. No, okay. we already have ten because we just oh. put Rebecca Rosen for number four. I think this is John Edward. Okay, so we'll take Rebecca out. Yeah. Oh my God, okay. I hate this. But because you know that Rob would put an old picture because yeah, that's what he would do because he'd know that we would know who it was. <laughs> I'm surprised he put Tyler Henry on there. He basically. Usually puts like one or two easy ones. Well, like, if you put Tyler me. Henry as a when he got started, it would be like an embryo. <laughs> Can't get much younger than that. So we're we have answers for all but one, two, and four then. Right, but we can only right. give the first ten. Anyway, we only can give right. Them. That's why we say we we cannot yeah. use one, two, and yes, four. We have ten names with by with with that without one, two, and four. I like using that as John Edward because. He looks very familiar to me, and I can't place him. And that so, would be about right. He's been around. It would be about long. right. And I certainly saw John Edwards several times. And and Rob would definitely put a, a picture like this. 
a very old picture of him to throw us off. I could see him doing that. It's the, the ex it's less the way he looks than the expression and the hand gesture that is just so yeah. familiar. It's driving me crazy. We have to think of the psychology of the person writing the category, remember? So we have Chris DeVries, the Fox sisters, Tyler Henry, Jean Dixon, Miss Cleo, Rosemary Altea, John Edward, Psychic Twins, Edward Gacy, and Uri Geller. Yes. Is That's it Casey, Edward Casey or Gacy? It's Casey, right? It's Casey? Casey, I think. I think it was a G. I wrote G. I, I think we're good enough it's either way. I thought it was Casey, but. I thought it was Casey as well. Okay, yeah. we'll change it to a C. Um, I don't know much about him, but I think it is a C. He was a sleeping psychic in Florida. He had all these predictions. Oh. Yeah. So when's that? Like the 20s? That was in... No, he's more recent than that. God, that number one. Who in the heck is that? He had a television program in the early days of television that my father used to watch. Yeah, so in the this... 50s, he was still what? He was still reading minds on television. Yeah, 40s or 50s, I think. Yep. I wonder how everybody else is going to do. And it's Jean, Jean Dixon, right? Not Jean. Jean. Jean, Jean. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure my mom had called Miss Cleo. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my mom is, I don't understand how I came out such a skeptic. My mom, like, she does all the MLM schemes. She's, like, oh, been like bankrupt. Or something? Uh, she, like, just is gullible. She gets bankrupted multiple times in her life already because of these schemes she calls for. There's nothing we can do. We've tried interventions. Like, it's well, terrible. Maybe that's why you are the way you are. And yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's why. Because you well, I think if George out. Harrison and his son said, you know, if you're a son of a beetle, how do you re how do you rebel? So he went to military school. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty I funny. I just heard uh, Stein. Oh, here comes Alan. Um, what is his name? Um, Steven Spielberg's son mm. he was on a conspiracy theory. He's he's loopy. His mm. son is out there and they were talking about how well educated he is and everything and he's like ufos and QAnon and and world order and and like and peace and love i mean he is just way out there and i thought god steven spielberg's son oh he's peace and love attached to that i love peace and love well no but i mean he's into like uh flowers talking to you or something you know he's just it's just not just peace and love it's like like if you have like every, the world is going to talk to you and tell you things i guess rocks talk. okay that rocks. that's much more clear than peace yeah, and love yeah. <laughs> they use the same words but they have very different yes it's down with, down with peace and love. four seconds four okay, seconds good job team thank you for being here with me an offer to no, I can be. I offer to be of no help to some team. Uh, <laughs> We're going to be on the losing team score here. That was a fun category, but my God, I had to call in Mark. What? Uh, you, what, what, for you. what number? Are you, oh, what God. number are you at? Is this was what category is this? Uh, three. Ooh, I guess. We just finished three. Yeah, no, that was not as easy as you would think. And I think Rob is trying to trick us with a couple young pitchers. Um, Maybe. Oh, that's okay, what I so, thought too. So uh, hello go. and hello, little brother. Hello, Alan. He told us we were going to get you on our team. Yeah, yeah. And he might. All right. It's in the mail, Alan. Yes, thank you. All right, Rob. Ooh, I'm dying ooh. to know. Okay, here we go. D does anybody think they got ten? No. No. Mm, okay. Definitely not. No. Nah. Right or wrong. Okay. I would know so, if we had ten. So every every one of these, I believe, was touched by uh, a Gorilla Skeptics editor at some point. I'm pretty <gasps> sure about no! that. No. Except Martha. except the one who does not have a Wikipedia. Well, page. they they should all sue for sexual harassment if they've all been touched. Ooh. By. <laughs> oh. By a GSOW. All right. This is Esther Hicks. <laughs> Too bad. Adrian. Oh shit. Right. Don't ever hurt me. I mean, uh, Adrian. 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 I yeah. didn't recognize her. She just wrote a big old freaking article on her. Yeah, she did. 
<laughs> well, yep. I'm glad because I didn't recognize her. I yep. I had She's no clue. Into the secret, you had the law of attraction, and you know, it's a it's all horrible story. I heard all the details from Adrian reading the story on Wikipedia. Uh, all right, number two. The only person I believe in here that does not have a Wikipedia article, this is Gwyneth Paltrow's private medium, who she gave a whole half hour to on her episode, Are You Into It, on uh, her show on Netflix. Yeah, that's... Yeah. We knew who and, she And this was. is not from Wikipedia. This is the description, of course, from Goop, one we of the greatest living Gwyneth, mediums. We knew she was Gwyneth Paltrow's... Very medium. aptly no, named. Would you have accepted Gwyneth Paltrow's psychic? No. In fairness, it does say arguably. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's true. Number three, I am shocked that this, I don't think anybody got this person. This is the <laughs> medical medium. This is <gasps> Anthony Williams. Oh my God, that's Anthony Williams. Also promoted all the, over the place by Gwyneth Paltrow. And I Google. knew he was a sociopath. <laughs> what? what? Oh. I thought it was David Koresh. And then I said it's Chris DeFries, but then I didn't think it was Chris DeFries because he didn't have enough ta any tattoos you could see. No, no, this guy's wonderful. Anthony he goes around, Williams. you know, God giving medical it. advice, and I don't understand how this is legal. I can't believe country. we didn't get that. Uh, this one, I don't think anybody Harry got this Poppy. one. That's Carrie Poppy. <laughs> Does look like her. She should do her for Halloween. Uh, this is Sally Morgan, quite yeah, famous. We, we got that one. Oh, I didn't Sally. recognize her. She got, that, got that one. one. Very good. Yeah. She, she's healthy looking there. Yeah. Oh. She's not healthy looking now. No. I didn't recognize her. Wow. Number five, uh, I, I, I didn't realize because of my poor eyesight that it actually says fox all over the bottom. So I hope nobody missed that. Oh. Yeah. The fox sisters. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. Apparently not everybody saw that. Well, I, we all knew it. Fox <laughs> sisters. Yeah. yeah, so these are the people who, you know, single-handedly or triple-handedly started the whole uh, movement of spiritualism. Yep. Those who didn't see it, time for new glasses. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a test to see how your vision is. So please this tell me Tater you got Todd. this, Susan. This Tater yes, Todd, Tyler, Tyler Henry. Henry. Yay. You didn't include Tater Tot in this. You got a point. <laughs> how come you put him in there? He's so obvious. Well, I had to give, you know, people who don't know this category a few oh, points. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, he's a child. Oh, my God. Oh. All right. Did anybody get this person? Yeah. Yes. Dixon. Yes. Yes. Oh. Best known American psychics and astrologers. You know, you know to the canon and all that. So, yep. Uh, a little hint there with the gazing into the crystal ball, you know, even if you didn't know what this whole category yeah, was about. I don't about. know if I'd recognize her. And she was she was also on Golden Girls. Really? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Really? She was on. A, she was in a Rose Dream sequence. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. I love the Golden Girls. I love that. Same. Show. All right. Anybody get this person? Oh, Miss Cleo. Cleo. Yes. Cleo. Miss Cleo. She's um. There. Um. J D. Max. Um. J D. Sword just told me today that there's a there's a Netflix document. Uh, no. H B O Max. Um. Uh, show on her it's called call me miss cleo he says it's great it's on the hbo oh. max all right number nine. Oh, and by the way if I, it wasn't clear to one group uh, this is kind of like the way we do the bonus rounds right there are 13 but you had to pick 10 of which you're going into this with i hope everybody did that thank you kevin for subscribing to my channel right now thank you just let yep. me know and what I you see with, when you uh, subscribe facebook page Number Mark nine, got this one. Mark, got very good. Altia, mm -hmm. you don't know her anymore. You don't know of this woman because Mark busted her on, yeah, on Penn and Teller's uh bullshit, the first that's episode, where I saw. and that's why she oh, I saw that out. episode. I didn't know this was the woman, I didn't recognize her. We were going, God, she looks familiar. And then Mark comes in, and he says, Oh, that's Rosemary Altia, yeah. So, as you noticed, Mark, Mark Edward name right there in the middle, yeah. Uh, number 10. Anybody get this? They think it's Edwards? on Edward. No, Colin Fry. Oh, oh my god, Brit a British, famous British psychic. No, is he in a band from Australia? <laughs> no, so he did a comedy group, a bit of Fry and I don't Lord. know if anybody got this, but like, uh, psychic I worked twins. double men twins. People worked extensively on, from Gorilla Skeptics on their Wikipedia article. These oh, are the, the Psychic Twins. So close, some people were getting. Rob, I just watched Well, if we nice said the Psychic one, Twins, were we okay? Because that's what I said. 
yeah, psychic twins. The two I watched them. Um, I just watched yep. big old video on them. Two videos on them yesterday and today. I just watched a holy Kool Aid video on it. Wow. Fabulous job debunking, talk, tearing these people. Cool. I have to watch oh, them they're again. Awful. Number they're twelve. Born. Anybody get this? Yeah, this old course. timer. Edward Gacy. Yes. Oh. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I had a friend who claimed he was proof that there were psychic powers. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. If your eyes are closed. And and finally, everybody had to get Yuri. Yuri. All right. I tried to pick one where he didn't look exactly like he typically does in photos, but yeah, I would have missed this one on my own. Ah, interesting. Wow. Oh, that was fun. What a walk in the park. I. I'm not fun for you, Susan. I'm not an expert <laughs> in this stuff, you guys. These are a lot of the people I didn't know. I had to have help. I didn't know. That's not like she wrote the book on it or anything. Not yet. <laughs> no, I have written the book on some psychics, not all of them. I'll okay. see you next week, guys. Oh, we're oh you, Carolyn. Bye. All right, you take care. Okay. All right. So I'm going to paste the names into the chat for Susan, especially. All right, so let's see what Team Allen's going to be on. Uh, SPSBB <coughs> failed an hour earlier. Six. That's a good score. <clears throat> and God said, gather two of every pie and have them travel across the universe uh, to the world and swim the little water. And we had eight. Wow. Good job. Well, it is it forbidden is. to dump bot it is forbidden to dump bodies into the river, you know. Mm -hmm. It is Time's up. To that's dump a zero. Bottle. How many? Uh four. Whoa. <laughs> my robo dog ate my AI written essay. I've got seven. That's what I got. Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. Today, green beer counts as a vegetable. Five. That's more like it. Four, wow, five, six, really seven, big. and eight. Wow. How did you guys do so good, Ron, Brandy, Kevin, Jim, Romero, and Faye? Well, I had three of four of them. Yay, I Susan. I think that I think I don't think we got four. I think we got three. Um, we got oh, yeah. Fox, oh. Tyler Henry, Miss Cleo, and Yuri Geller. I thought we missed Miss Cleo. Oh, I might oh. have written it in the wrong place. No. Then no, we we got that. Oh, okay. No. Finally, finally, we we got a little farther. Oh, shit. well done, Susan. Oh, now how, are you, said, uh, how are you deciding who's getting the extra person? Oh, is it is it going to be is it going to be the, the, the first well, team? Vincent's not they on have, that team uh, anymore. Oh, so that's they're true. Play down. Okay, they are down. Okay, I was one. I thought they had more more, more people. Kevin okay. gets the Kevin, not Kevin. It's uh, Alan. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the wrong team. Oh, it is the right team. I mean, we're one. we're down a person too, but it goes to the low. The that's a tiebreaker. Yeah. Less less. Furthest from the first score. The lowest downer. Furthest uh, from the first score. Worst. I need to put this in my thing. All right. Okay. Father. Okay. I did that, Susan, just so you never say that I never do a category you should know. So don't ever oh, say that. Yeah, that all right. I was going to show yeah. all the faces of people and we didn't start the fire. <laughs> that would be good. All right. <laughs> that was that was good. Thank you. Thank you for doing Category that. four is I have done this twice before this is the third time i'm going through this because there are so many of them even more conspiracy theories and once again uh, richard saunders is not here okay who's muting people yeah. you, you, nobody we can be trusted uh, i don't know about yeah that. i i disagree <laughs> <laughs> all right I, I muted everybody okay Okay, here we go. It's going to be 10 questions. Um, you know, just answer the questions. Number one. In late 2021, 
members of this group, led by Peter Mekendo, protested outside the headquarters of a social media organization to demand they change the company logo to reflect their stated beliefs about reality. Name the group. Number two. This conspiracy theory alleges that the water vapor seen behind high altitude aircraft sometimes consists of contaminants being released by, for secret nefarious reasons, including population sterilization and mind control. An estimated 17% of people globally believe the theory to be true or partially true. Paula, better get this one. Number three. Due to her name, Patricia Steer, a proponent of the Flat Earth Conspiracy Theory and creator of the podcast Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, is suspected by some flurfers of being a disinformation agent of what government agency? Do we have to know what flurfers is? Flat earthers, sorry. It's a derogatory term for flat earthers. Oh, I didn't know that. See, yeah. I'm not that kind of person. Question number four. This conspiracy theory about a fictitious NASA project dates back to 94, when Serge Monast, a Canadian investigative journalist, poet, and essayist, created and promoted it. It claims that NASA, with the help of the UN, Paula, was going to implement a new age religion with the Antichrist as its head via a technologically simulated second coming of Christ. That would be so cool. The project was supposed to be implemented in 95, then 96, then 2000, and hasn't happened yet. Conspiracy theorists have noted the similarity of this to the plots of Gene Roddenberry's unreleased 1975 Star Trek movie treatment, The God Thing, and the 91 Star Trek The Next Generation episode, Devils Do. Perhaps they are examples of predictive programming. So, Paul, you might, have they, have you they, might remember was the answer to one on of the this ones yet, or you still haven't gotten far enough into the cabal. <laughs> Number five. Multiple conspiracy theories pertain to an oil rig accident in 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico, alleging sabotage by those seeking to promote environmentalism or a strike by enemy submarines. Name the oil rig. Six. This is the name given to events claimed by conspiratorialists to actually be covert operations designed to appear as if they're being carried out by other parties. Events described this way include the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, the Oklahoma City bombing, the 2004 Madrid train bombing, the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, and the January 6th, 2020 assault on the U.S. Capitol, which according to Tucker Carlson, never happened. Number seven, this U.S. agency is a subject of many theories, including the allegation that the organization has been engaged in the building of concentration camps on U.S. soil in advance of the imposition of martial law and genocide. Number eight, in the in ancient times, widespread conspiracy theories were circulating pertinent to the death of a Roman emperor who committed suicide in 68 AD. Some of these theories claimed that he faked his death and was secretly still alive, but in hiding, plotting to return and reestablish his reign. In most of these stories, he was said to have fled to the East, where he was still loved and admired. Other stories held that he really was dead, but they would return from the dead to retake his throne. The book of Revelation alludes to the conspiracy theory surrounding his alleged return in its description of the slaughtered head returned to life. At least that's what they said in the description. I've never heard that before. Number nine. This conspiracy theory states that a group of international elites controls governments, industry, and media organizations with the goal of establishing global, global hegemony. They have been implicated in many things, including manipulation of national economies and causing most of the major wars of the last two centuries. And rounding out at number 10 is 
Conspiracy theorists have long posited a plot by organizations such as NASA to conceal the existence of a large planet in the solar system for some unknown reason, which will pass close enough to the Earth to destroy it. Predictions for the date of the destruction have included 2003, 12, 17, name the mysterious planet. And that's all she wrote. Any questions? Okay, go to your rooms. Good luck. Yeah, I know what these are, but I don't know the names of the groups, so I'm hoping you folks do. Well, maybe it'll help. Okay, so does anybody know any? I know I know a couple, two, three. Do you want you want to go to the ones we don't you know, or do you want to go through them numerically? Well, other people probably know more. I mean, like number two, the chemtrails. Yeah, that's chemtrails. Is it chemtrails? Yeah. Is that is that the name that that's what they call them? Yes. Is that that's the thing? Is that what he I wants? I suspect to number one is birds aren't real. Oh, again? oh, and they try. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what God, is it? Right. Birds aren't real. Birds oh, my gosh. Aren't real. I would not have thought of that. That's your. Yeah, exactly that they're thought. little, they're little uh, ob observation things. And so the company that they were outside was Twitter. Yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. Oh, that makes total sense. I thought the guys that started that whole thing weren't really conspiracy theorists, though. No, it's, no, it's, it's satire. Yeah, yeah they're right. satirizing Mark, a conspiracy theory. Did you want to know theory. who those were? What? Did you want to know who those psychics were that you didn't know? Yeah, who was the first one? Here, the birds aren't real. Okay. Okay, so you think sun trails is okay mm -hmm. for, for two? That's what they call the trail, but I didn't know what they call the theory. Oh. I don't know if it has a name even. They say that they're chemtrails, though. Keep it. Is three NASA because of all the pictures? Well, it's due to her name, Steer. Yeah, I don't get what, unless we're talking about. It's what government agency is what it's saying. Yeah, but it's right. due to her name. Yes. So it's something to, something that has to do with her name. Who is this? Which one are we on? Three. Three. That just could be that she's trying to steer oh, the narrative. Oh, I think it's, uh, uh, it's the CIA. It's um, it's based on her. Um, I I don't I don't I think when no, he comes, we have to ask him. Because the... I thought they were looking. He was looking for the name of the government agency. Yeah, we yeah, are, they are. Agency. Yeah. Okay, That's wait, I know question. this. It's from the movie uh Beyond the Curve. And she's the she's one of the podcasters in in there. She's a really big part of the thing. Her last name, uh something to do with like CIA or uh um one of those agencies. It was not FBI, is it? Let me think. I would guess FBI. Well, if it's flat earth about flat earth the one they're always pointing to is nasa because we've seen the answer is always what about all the pictures we've seen right because nasa has faked them all but it had to do with her last name because right I, I, the people had had read into her name and it's like backwards or something and i can't remember what it is they said see your name is in the middle or something it's uh, oh cia is at the end of patricia Ah, there you go. Right. That's it. CIA. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. It's not her last name. It's her first name. You're right. Due to her okay. name. Okay. Probably it. That was what it was. Sounds stupid enough to be true. Yeah, that is <laughs> exactly, exactly right. what it was. They were accusing her of being part of the CIA. See, because your name's even there. <laughs> oh my God. They're just that bad. Okay. Can Suri theory just ask one?
sometimes the ones where he gives way too much information confuse the heck out of me. Well, what is he looking for? Well, that's the Project. problem. Oh, so this conspiracy, though, so the name of the theory is what he's looking for. No, a year. Yeah. No. No, so he's got the year conspiracy there. theory. Oh. I think he's just like making fun at the end that it's like, oh, oh like, never like they were happen. always wrong. Yeah. Um, but may I make my boring suggestion that we go through and, and figure out the ones we believe we know, and then we know how many we have time to ponder about? Okay. Yeah. Number five's got to be Deepwater Horizon. Agree. Horizon? Deepwater Deep water Horizon. Water. Well, I'm glad you're on the team because I've never heard of either of these. I think I was living in Florida at the time, so it was local. That's a news. false flag. False flag yeah, operation. False yeah. flag. Absolutely. So six? Yeah. 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 Um, Number seven has to be FEMA. Oh, oh, yeah. Remember that? Oh, oh my the gosh. Death, uh, the body bags. FEMA the death camps. Yeah, FEMA right. death camps. What about the ancient uh, Roman here? I yeah, think that's Nero. Okay. God, Nero's alive? He survived? Jeez. Well, if Jesus can be alive, why can't Nero? Well, JFK is going to run for office again. And he's gonna, his running mate's going to be JFK. But he isn't alive again. He just didn't die. And then oh. nine? Is nine the Illuminati or the Rothschilds? Yeah, that's what I was confused about because they could fit. I yeah. think the last child is about the Illuminati. So, so I I'd go with Illuminati. Yeah. And the ones that I knew here were because of my friend that. Oh, yeah, your friend? That went to the QAnon sense. Oh. Does anyone this... know 10 other than just Planet X? No, no. It's Nibiru? like called Kausera Cal Cal or something like that. It's not Nibiru? I oh, maybe it, was, it is. I thought it, it started with an N. N. Okay, mm. go for it. Yeah. No, I was just assuming that something that my friend, who I'm not saying because this is being recorded, uh, had mentioned. Yeah, it's a it's a N word. Okay. Nibiru sounds right to me. Now, not be wrong. Why? I'm glad why Caspian would... said it because I wouldn't have been able to. Why remember. would people hide a planet? It's a conspiracy. For what purpose? We don't have to know the answer. So all the wealthy. So when this planet is not livable, all the wealthy people can go live there. Something like that. No, so because people... they, it will pass close enough to Earth to destroy it. So they're keeping that secret. You don't want people and to know. Like, no, and nobody's listening to them because they're smarter than us. Okay, so we're left with one, right? Do, do we have four? The one we don't have is four. Yeah, we, we only have one every meeting. Fictitious right. mass project. See if Tom's heard of it. I'll send him that one. Yeah, he might know. Tell him he owes this one because he didn't get those Taylor Swift ones. He's not, I don't want to call from the other side of the house, so I'm just texting him. I hope that's okay in the rules. Yeah, yeah, we know he's uh, good. Okay. But he has to come. He can't tell you the answers via text. Oh, is that <laughs> a rule? He's send it to you telepathically. He's technically in the house. He yeah, he is. <laughs> But that, you know what I mean? I mean, I don't know, Susan. It's Susan's Could rules. It no, no, it's fine. We know it's just, the same as be. calling him to the room. Is Monstat, Mon, Monstat, is that a clue? What? Monstat? No. No. The mon no. It's underlined because it's not a word in the dictionary. And no, I I know I wasn't, my, uh, the screen I'm looking at, it's not, it doesn't have an underline, but I was, I, uh, I don't know, but I want to say Deus Ex Machina. Why? Oh, yeah. A technologically simulated second coming of Christ. Would that not be, by definition, God out of the machine? Yes. I love it. I've never heard of it being a conspiracy theory. It's not. Well, I, I can imagine a conspiracy theory having such a name. I don't know the answer. I'm just guessing. 
No, but it makes a lot of sense. It fits. It fits and it's better than nothing in there. God thing. I like was it. There a, was there something to do with um, Star Trek? He Did says I no idea. I got nothing from Tom. Tom said nothing. I, mean, uh, I don't even right remember that episode, to be honest. Has it in the 1991 Star Trek Next Generation? Predictive programming. Well, Carl's team's going to have all of these. I'm going to I'm going to bop him one with a rubber band. I'm going to mail him a rubber band in a spring-loaded box. So when he opens the box, it's going to go boom. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll take out an eye. Oh, he's got glasses on. And the cats will have a good time with the rubber band. <coughs> well, we did way good. I'm I'm impressed, you guys. Yeah, me too. I when I heard them, I thought... I have done that by myself, that's for sure. Not even half. The birds aren't real thing. Totally blows me away. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. And it's Amazing that people that bought into it and it was all a joke. It's all a joke. Nobody believes it. Well, there's probably... Well, I think Flat Earth started it as a joke too and that's the thing it yeah it started as a joke and a parody but people bought yeah. into it oh i thought it was i i didn't think it ever started as a joke i thought it, it was, was a group that has always believed it, it was a religious thing they believed it yeah well, you, but you, you yeah. investigate them the, the thing they don't like about the round earth you say to them look up in the sky all those things around yes but we're the center of the universe we're uh, the creation of god we're the important one so we'd be different. Yeah, it used to be a really religious thing. So yeah, no, I'm talking about, I was talking about the birds. The Bible says something about the oh, the birds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I um, I think I've told this before, but that uh, when I I used to sit with someone different in the lunchroom when I worked at the Hyatt Regency Hotel, and uh, fascinating people and <laughs> like these careers they had had overseas and come here came here to the United States so their kids could be here. They're working as housekeepers and doormen and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I was speaking with this gentleman and we started talking about his religion and he taught, was telling me about this flying monkey that went to this island and got an herb, brought the whole island to help some goddess, you know, heal or whatever. And I listened to the whole thing and I said, oh my gosh, what a beautiful uh, myth myth or something I mean, he was telling me this story and he looked at me like i was made of mashed potatoes and said oh but that's true i don't remember you telling the story and this was a guy who was a doctor he was you know medical doctor in his country and he said oh but that's true that really happened a long time ago and i said oh my apology my and i la kind of laughed too I was like 28 years old. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, please forgive me. Forgive me. I'm so sorry that you're an idiot. I just, well, uh, no, I just I don't know. He was just a, a work colleague. And we're having lunch. And, you know, well, I, I know just, you wouldn't have said that. You're I was embarrassed that I'd made fun of it. And I just thought, oh, my gosh, it's so weird that he can believe that. And he's a man mm. of alleged science. I didn't say that. But, you know, I was only 28 years old. But. Oh my gosh, I always remember that. He said, Oh, but that's real. And he wasn't kidding. And I kind of laughed a little bit. I was researching about different different medical procedures to teach my class. And I've got pictures of places in India where they're still doing bloodletting for disease. Well, it sort of makes sense. I mean, we know we have blood. And we have too much of it, so we have to take it away. <coughs> I mean, besides, that makes sense. besides, they explained. Women have periods and live longer than men, and that's because they keep shedding their blood on like men. That's brilliant. I never heard that before. Yeah, that's apparently one of the bases for the balance. You I have to balance the humors, you know? Don't be too phlegmatic. Uh, okay. Does anybody think they got a 10? No. No, but it was fun. Nobody's optimistic that on was that. Interesting. Yeah, that was interesting.
Yeah, so there's one of these I just recently heard about a month ago on a podcast, and uh, it was uh, number four. I, I had never heard of that one, the one connected to Star Trek. Um, yeah. So, number one. Um, I, again, I'll, I'll go through these, and then I'll put the answers in the chat all at once at the end. So I have, a, I have a very good quote from somebody. I won't say who and what team. I was there when they said it, and I wrote it down. Uh, well, it can't, it can't be about Twitter because nobody cares about a stupid little bluebird. And yes, it was about Twitter. And the group is birds are not real. Yes. Oh, oh. oh. you got that one. Remember that. We, <laughs> is birds <laughs> aren't real acceptable? Yeah, it, it actually is birds aren't real. Yes. Oh, right. okay, good. Yep. Yeah. And, and for, for some, so when I, when I brought this up, some people didn't know this, this was not a real conspiracy theory. This is a brilliant Poe conspiracy to make fun of other stupid conspiracies by it's being crap. more outlandish. I, than I gotta the other give me some shirts. Oh yeah. There's, there's a 60 minutes uh, thing that was on somewhere in the last year. You can Google it 60 minutes and birds aren't real. You'll find yeah, it. It's, Wikipedia it's page now because of all the coverage they got. Yeah. 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 Well, then how could there be birds? I see them all the time. Oh, those are little robots that are created by the, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the second one, I hope people knew those were chemtrails. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Also, if you knew it as SLAP, which is secret large scale atmospheric program. I never heard that. Oh, before. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. the groups I saw did not get number three. And I put the clue in there due to her name. People were going off in all different directions. If you'll notice the last three names of her, the last three uh, letters of her first name. Patricia. Zeke, Zeke picked up on Patricia. that. Yeah. It's CIA. That's from uh, from yeah. Beyond oh. the Curve, right? Yeah. We got CIA. That is yeah. correct. It's from well, yeah. I didn't, I didn't, of course, when people like to do this, you know, when the agencies like to run conspiracy, they like to also throw out clues so people can figure it out. So they named her with a fake name, Patricia. When she was a child, they named yeah. her uh, Patricia. No, that's a whole fake name. Uh, she's a clone, actually. <laughs> <laughs> number number four is the one I had not heard of before. Uh, this is conspiracy theory, fictitious NASA project. Um, Going to implement a new age religion by simulating the second coming of Christ. Wow. Uh, Project Blue Beam. Yes. Hey. Oh, oh, somebody got that. Very good. Oh, that, that's said, thanks to Bill. Cass said, yeah. Uh, yeah, Bill. Did you say Caspian? Yes, X Machina. Okay. Number five. Added machine. This was the give yeah. me. I hope everybody remembers from the news Deepwater Horizon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, our team did. Number six, also not too difficult, uh, just generally false flag or false flag operations. And uh, this is currently in the news because in Iran, in the supposed mass poisonings of up to 7,000 schoolgirls, the sides are pointing fingers at one another. Uh, the population says it's the government poisoning women, girls to, you know, wreak havoc on them in revenge for their protests against the, their rules about the hijab. But then the government says, oh, no, it's a conspiratorialist poisoning their own children to make it look like we're the bad guys. Mm -hmm. So a false flag operation. Yep. Wow. Really sad. Yeah. Terrible. Uh, number seven is uh, the U.S. agency, uh, you know, wanting to create concentration camps for some kind of imposition of genocide martial law in the U.S., that is the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Agency, known as FEMA. Uh, FEMA. So FEMA. it is your daughter's, Alan. <laughs> oh, explain that. She's explain involved. that. I've never, I've never trusted her. <laughs> this is being recorded. Hi, Sarah. By the way, Ron Number... didn't want to trust us. <laughs> yeah. Number eight. Uh, I had not heard this before. This is the Emperor Nero. Yeah, got that. So number nine, um, I saw people put Illuminati, but that is a secret society. It is not the name of the conspiracy theory. The conspiracy theory is New World Order. Um, well, we were confused. We had that just in the wrong question. <laughs> and finally, the famous planet that is going to destroy the Earth at some point being kept a secret is goes by two names i'm familiar with either nibiru or planet x yay we actually got both when you think about it we just thought about <laughs> it really different ones. cool good job right, team. let me put the answers in the chat 
I'm on a smart team. Just saying. Okay. Scores. All right. Let's go over to the scores. And <laughs> here we go to save the day. All right. Team number one, S. VB failed an hour earlier. Seven. That's a nice score. All right. So it won't it's laugh. to dump bodies into the river. Eight. Eight. Mm. Okay. And God said, gather two of every pie. Eight. And go aboard the ark. Ooh. Today, green beer counts as a vegetable. Seven. <gasps> Three way tie. Oh. <laughs> My robo dog ate my AI written essay. Seven. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Can we catch up, you guys? So close and, and still anybody's game, actually. So be before we do round four, Susan, do you need to fill in for next week? Or are you oh, pull yeah. That's, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing Wait, that was that. round four. Was, am I counting wrong? Before we go bonus. Yeah. 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 So I guess that's saying that Carl wants the category. Uh, I can do a bonus. Oh, okay. I can do a category, Susan. Face of it. Okay, cool. Yes. I have <laughs> Carolyn, Gail, Faith, and who's the other? I'll go one. Kevin. I got one. Kevin. Okay, got it. That's for the twenty third. Very good. Okay. So, Susan, bonus. where? Where is it? I didn't take a picture or anything. Where Where is your team in the standing? How far are you out? Are you winning? Oh, it's, <laughs> we're one of the ties. I'm tied for. I'm tied for second, second place. How many points behind? Two. Ooh, well, this may you give it to make you. This, you this better may make give this it to bonus. you. It better not be no. Everybody ends up getting ten category. So this is the bonus round. Is board games is risk. It is a board game. In fact, it is one of the most popular board games. That is correct. So here, here's the scoop. Here's what we're going to do. The world currently has 195 nations, give or take, but the classic world map in the game of risk has the world divided into six continents with just 42, magic number, <laughs> territories. <laughs> What's Caspian yes, doing? Man, he just got the I don't see you. <laughs> what did I miss? He won't play me anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those who, who, who don't know too much about this, I'll give you some information here. The six, six risk continents have territories as follows. North America has nine, South America four, Europe seven, Africa six, Asia 12, and Australia four. There are no other populated places on the planet. Uh, for this game, what you're going to do is name 10 of the 42 territories, and we're going to use a modified mono mm. rules. You get a point only if no more than one other team has the same answer. So two can have it, and you'll get it, but not if three do. Okay. And I, I'm going to allow a bonus point here, but you still can have only a maximum of 10. Oh, bonus... everybody's going to get 10, Rob. I don't think so. Bonus point. Name the only risk territory named after a country, but that does not actually encompass the actual country for which it is named. I thought no bonus points were allowed. Shush up. I <laughs> <laughs> thought no bonus thing. points were allowed. <laughs> 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 Did that say country or county? It says county, but I'm sure he means country. I hope right. he means country. Uh, country. <laughs> it's the yeah, bonus okay. category. So. All right. Oh so my is that, God. Is, okay. is, all this, is this clear what we're doing with the rules and no, everything? I will have to reread this in a minute. I don't got it. I, I, I thought you were going to let me get the points, tell you what the value of each continent was. <laughs> My brothers used to. I never played the game. We never did. Okay, let's go. Hurry before I forget what I'm doing. Too late. On the classic world map, and the has six continents, just having 42 territories. So, could somebody yeah. tell me what it is? <laughs> I'm just going to bed because I know nothing about this game. And no, 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 no. So 
So I'm going to leave. just name 10 territories that like we Penny? think people won't name. Good luck, Good luck team. team. Good night. Good night, Peggy. New Guinea. Uh, what are those ones in Australia, Mark Caspian? There's four of them. There's Western Australia, Eastern Australia, New Guinea, and Indonesia. But those four, because nobody's in I, I am going to suggest that if anybody does Australia, they'll probably do all four of them. Probably, yeah. So Nobody's probably we should me. not do all four of them so that we can at least get two if we can have copies. Okay, right? okay. but I really doubt anybody's going to get those. Okay, Western uh, Australia yeah. and... Eastern Australia. Yeah, because these are really Eastern. specific names that unless you are a, a big-time player, you're not going to know these. All right. Um, yeah. Indonesia. I played it, but I don't remember that. Okay, so right up... How about the Russian territories? There's... Uh, Kural, Kural, K U R L, and there's the what? right. Wait, what? In the Russian what? area, right, right at the yes. Western Australia. I mean, the Australia continent. There's okay. There's China. There's that's Asia. Well, up there, up there, right across from Alaska. It's you mean it's, you mean Kamchatka. Yeah, how do you spell that? Kamchatka. Okay, Kam put that down. And right next to it is another mm -hmm. one of yes. those countries. Yeah. What is that right next to it? See, Cass has got the memory for this. Irkutsk. Okay, how do you spell that? Here. India, uh, Romeo, Kilo, uh, Uniform. Tango, Sierra, uh, Kilo. Okay, and then you can type it into our chat as well. As she can see. Oh, so I've got it on there now. Over, and and if we go over a little bit further, it's um, isn't there one that's called Ural? There, there is Ural. U R A L, right? Uh, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's not spelled right if we know it's Ural. Right. Uh, there's Yakutsk. Oh, that's good. Yak, Uts, like that. Uh, Sierra Kilo instead of a uh, zebra. Wait a minute. Say that again. Take out uh, the Z. Take like out this? the Z. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, there's Northern Europe, Southern Europe, and Western Europe. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's another place like, like the Australia that some people are going to get it. So, not having too I many. I kind of think that people are more likely to remember like the weird Russian ones. Oh, I don't think anybody's going to get these weird Russian ones. Uh, I think everybody's going to get. That's what I remember. Them. I haven't played since I was probably twenty, and I remembered Irkuts and Kamchatka. But you it, have a Irkuts, memory, Karen. Irkuts, Yakuts, and, and Kamchatka are the ones that I yeah, remember. Everyone's going to remember them because they had a lot of fun trying to pronounce them. What about Siberia? That maybe people won't do that. Take out I, one. Take take out Kamchatka, Irkutsk, or Yakutsk. Think, was there a Siberia? Yeah, there's a Siberia. That's good. If, if Susan's asking if it's there, that's a good one to put. Yeah. Uh, you want to take out Kamkuka? Well, we have we, we have, have time right now. Yeah. I would take out Northern Europe. Well, we don't have 10 yet. Oh. I think people are less likely to get the bland ones. Like Middle East? We don't have anything in Africa yet. Yeah, Middle East is a good one. Middle East just by the stand? Yeah, just, just Middle East. Yeah. That, uh, Do you want to put one from Africa? 
How about There's Southern a, Africa? Don't we have, is it Madagascar in there? And, Madagascar, but I think people are likely to remember that. And Irkutsk has a, a K instead of a C, and it's a T, it's a TZ thing at the end, T-S-K. Yeah. No P. Irkutsk. I-R-K. U I R K I R K. Sorry. Um, if you backspace to the beginning of the word, it's I R K. Mm -hmm. And then K I R K U T Z. Irkuts. I think you should take the bonus point out. Because S K. So remove the Z and put an S and a K, please. Because if they name the bonus yeah. point, then they only have to have nine of these others. Right? I thought it wasn't allowed, but you heard. I was shushed. I, I, I think it's amusing that the person who's the biggest stickler for following the rules is saying, let's not follow the rules. And well, what, was my I, what was my response to being shushed? I repeated myself. Yeah, but I had to think about what it was he's asking. and I believe the answer is Russia for the bonus point. Is there a country called Russia in the game? Yes, but it does not cover the entirety of I'm Russia. bringing Rob in here so we can let him have a piece of our, our minds. No, he's <laughs> having such a good night. No, I'm going to tell him because I don't want a bonus category. I don't think we should have a point. Not with modern rules. All right, you're getting a piece of our mind, Rob. We don't want the bonus point. What was the comment? I missed it with you and between you and Caspian regarding risk. He hates it. <laughs> Why? He'll only play me because I'm too competitive. He'll uh, only play me maybe once every seven years because then he'll have forgotten uh, how competitive I am. So the, uh, you should play my cousin uh, Richard. When I the last time I ever played him, and I, he did this twice. The first time he he did it, I let him get away with it. I said, if you ever do it again, we're never playing this game. <laughs> And then the second time he did it, and we never played again. He flipped the board because oh was no there. no no I won't do that. Oh I'm yeah, my committed. brother may 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 he rest in peace. I I've never said that. I've never repeated this, but he did that. He flipped the friggin' board. Yeah, the no, board. I would the never. Yeah, yeah, I after playing for win. like two hours. No, he, I will. He, I will just annihilate you very quietly and just uh, just. Uh, it feels like playing Monopoly against with somebody. It's really cruel. But the point is, we don't think that the bonus point makes sense whenever we have uh, modern rules of sorts. It's going to be too hard to figure this out. So I don't know why you put a bonus point in there, especially since it's against the rules. No one's oh. going to get it. No one's going to get it anyway. Caspian got it. Did he? That's it. Well, all right. Don't tell me because I don't want to react. But Well, it's sitting up on our screen. Ah, uh, mm. oh. so, so you think that's it, huh? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that you should, I think we shouldn't have it because how are you going to score these if you've got nine? Because we have to pick nine. No one's going to get it. It, it. So however, no, what do you mean you have nine? You pick so if we ten. put the bonus in there. Pick ten. That's an extra thing. You guys go through the, the mono things. And if, you, if, if you're lucky and you get ten, which you're not going to. Right, then the bonus doesn't matter. But if you got three, then and you got the bonus right, then you get four points. So that's not hard. I think it's not hard to score it. It's just it's just, why is it hard to score? We were told it was against the rules. Yeah, and we were told it's against the rules. Yeah. And you're the stickler on rules. What if we refuse to take the extra point, even if we get it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> to to stick yeah, by especially the, since we're three points strict by the and we can win with it. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely. Okay, go that. away, Rob. We All wanna, right. We want to. We want to strategize. We're done. Are other people. Wait, wait. I want to know this. Are you going through the rooms and you're finding that people played risk? In, in many cases, not at all. They were doing wild guesses. That's yeah, you not. you were wrong about everyone's going to get a ten on this. I'll tell you that. No, I didn't say anybody. Right, I well, no, I said that. they better not be a category that everybody gets a ten on. That's uh, what okay. I said. Uh, okay. All right. So I'm, going I, to I'm not someone who can contribute to answers to this. I know absolutely zero. But I'm wondering for you guys who know more of these options, is it uh, because of mono rules more strategic if you pick one or two answers that come from Africa or South America as well? That's of course the whole question with mono rules. I yeah. think I think going with the odd 
names yeah. because they're just i don't think people like you said i think they're just going to guess stuff like well the people who are who have never played risk they're not going to get any of them that's right because they're, they're going to guess a... countries or they're going to guess large regions that just aren't on the map and i've just who... never played i've played risk but i haven't played it for 30 years and i remembered vaguely what it was about i would have guessed names of countries Right. The people who are who have played it are going to get, guess the memorable names like Kamchatka and Irkutsk because those stand out. They're not going to guess Northern Europe and Southern Europe because those are bland, boring names that they may have forgotten and thought that it was actually, I don't know, Italy or something. No, if I, if I, like, I don't know risk at all. And if I had to say, okay, they're not, the names aren't countries because there's only 42 for the whole world. So Europe is too big. I might say Northern Europe makes sense because that's a region I've heard referenced before. Right. I've never heard Southern Africa, obviously South Africa. So I mm -hmm. never would guess Southern Africa. How about Middle I East? I definitely wouldn't come up with New Guinea. How about New Middle East? Middle East, I might come up with. Yeah, that's because it is a small region that's not a continent. I think we should put Madagascar because I doubt anybody's going to remember Madagascar. I like that idea because that's not Middle East is something you'd figure out if you don't know if you're guessing. What do you think, Zeke? Would somebody come up with? Well, I I would come up with Middle East. I could come up with Madagascar. Middle East. <laughs> Madagascar. I don't know that I would guess it because I wouldn't think of naming a country. If I think I have to divide the whole world into 42 sections. Is and Madagascar, Madagascar is sufficiently them? weird for a country that if you don't know it. I don't um, think people remember it. It's a very... That's fair. You don't use it a lot. Madagascar is not a very strategic place. Wait, in, wait, in which one did you get? Oh, instead of Middle East. Okay. So Was should, there anything Middle else? Is a good guess. Anything else in South, um, South America or... Well, the Hell, southernmost in South America is Argentina. It's just called it's Argentina. Argentina, Brazil, Peru. Well, and... I don't want to do South America because Paula's playing and she's from Argentina. Yes. But, but, you know, if they know the game, they're going to know the northern, southern parts of continents. If they don't, they're more likely <laughs> to be guessing names of actual countries. And that's right. what I would have done. If I didn't have all so, the names and I was guessing, I'd be naming countries. How about Peru instead of Irkutsk? I think that's less likely to get selected. I don't um, know. How about taking out Northern Europe? Yeah, um, those are. If you're going to do Europe, sounding. I think Northern Europe makes. Okay. So you, what do you want instead? Oh God, this is horrible. If we could just Peru. leave again, we'd be fine. You want Peru? Yeah. Okay. I think yeah, I hate one of the things psychology. we did well was have a variety of different category like this. choices. So yeah. if somebody concentrated on one of the choices, someone else wouldn't. And we can have one duplicate and still get it by, right? You know, usually with mono rules, it's either the really obscure that a few people might get, and all you have to have is one other one who thinks it's also obscure, or the really popular one which you think everybody's going to have so nobody does. Okay, we're about to go, you guys. So we're we're married to these? Yeah, I think so. And um, yeah, good job, you guys. This is just hard. I took a picture. Oh, there are too many choices. That was really hard. Uh, any chance we could get another minute? No. <laughs> <laughs> That does not happen on bonuses. That was really hard, Rob. The psychology, kind of especially he, since we know that a lot of people don't play the game. This is just really he, like he just joined the team. That, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't. I did extended mana rules, so I, I think it's, it's really hard. I think it's unlikely. All right, so I guess we'll go, Susan. You call the team name okay, out. I'll call and, the teams. And, I want yeah. one representative from each team. Okay, so I want. I'm going to call on a team. And you're going to read out your things and then one, how does the rules work that only one other team? Now, normally in mono like, rules, if one other team has it, you don't get the point. But in this case, you do unless two teams have it. 
Okay. Two other teams. So. The so, one and only one. Right. So That's I'm right. going to call out other team. Right. I'm going to call on the team. And one representative is going to read them off slowly. And then if you are another team that has that one, say so. Yeah. For, first, I'll tell you if it's if it's actual real or not. And then and so we don't want multiple people on one team saying anything. I just want one person on each team saying anything so we can get through this. OK, so the first team that's going to go is uh, SVB failed an hour earlier. Who's your representative? Me, Troy. Okay, Troy. And do me a favor. Tell me what uh, what continent you think it's in, because I have them listed by continent in alphabetical order. Okay, we go have far, North, North America, Greenland, Wait, and go Quebec. Slower, go slower. North America. North Ameri in North America, we have Greenland. That's there. Are you uh, Greenland, Greenland, Greenland is correct. Okay. We have we have Greenland. We also have Greenland. Nobody okay. gets a point for Greenland. It's out. And Quebec is correct also. Team two okay. also has Quebec. Anybody but else? Um, ah. ah, two teams get a point for Quebec. Point. Okay, cool. Uh, South America, we have Argentina. Yes. We have that. Anybody else? Mm, got points for Argentina. Yay. Okay. Um, Europe, we have Argentina. Norway. No, Norway is not listed separately. Okay. Africa, we have Egypt. Yes. Point. No one else. Good. Libya. Wait. Is he is can you get a point if nobody else has it? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I think they get a point. L Libya is not listed. Okay. Uh Asia, Kamchatka. Yes. We have that. Anybody else? Yeah, both got points. Come check it. Sweet. Okay. Mongolia? Yes. Sounds like a point. Ukraine? Uh, Ukraine is listed in Europe, but yes, Ukraine is there. We, we have, have that. Wait, wait, wait. Is your, it is in there? Okay. It's actually your Ukraine Europe. is good. Okay, we have Ukraine. Ben, were you in our were you in our room, Ben? How many have how many have Ukraine? We have it. And we have it. So, so that's so it. So both both got points. Good. Okay, cool. And our last one, Afghanistan. Afghanistan is yes listed. Anybody? Nope. Got a point. Okay. Oh, this Ooh. is hard. How many points did you get? Looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not ah, bad. Well, this is gonna not be... bad. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So we're gonna go with team. It is forbidden to dump bodies into the river. Okay. In North America, Western US. Yes. Anyone? Water. Nobody else has Western US, okay? Oh, yeah. Eastern US? Did somebody say something there at the last minute? No? Okay, Western US is good. Eastern US is a territory. Central America? Central America. Uh, yes. Alaska? Alaska, yes. We have Alaska. Anybody else? Nope. Both got points for Alaska. Eastern Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. And we yeah. have it. Just one other team. Don't we have it also? Yeah, we have it also. Okay. Yeah. No. No, no points for Eastern Australia. Okay. Western Australia. Yes. Yeah, I think we have it. Yes. We have that too. Yes, no, so nobody gets it. One team there also. Okay. Uh, Back to North America. Ontario? Yes. Anyone? Damn it. Ten silent. Okay. Alberta? Alberta is also correct. And uh, that's it for my list. Okay. But just, uh, well, no, I'll like to see if anyone else says it. I well, want to ask if someone has a question. What'd you get? What'd you get? 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Okay, let's go to today. Green beer counts as a vegetable. We had a four-way tie. <laughs> Almost. Uh, let's see. Um, in Asia, right? I think these were Asia. Um, we have Yakuts. We have yes. that. We yeah, have that. We did too. Wait, wait, you guys um, have to, <laughs> one three. person on your team. It sounded like four teams said nice. they have it. Oh, we had it. I think for our and, team. We, and we have it. Okay. We, we also point, have. No point, Yakutsk. No we have Irkuts, which we have. Yes, that is correct. Gail, we have it too, don't we? Yes, but we had, I thought that was the last one. So, so no, Yakuts and, and Irkuts. Irkuts. We, we had both, both of those, yes. Yeah. And so how many have, people have each one though? So we, we have, have we have both of them also. <laughs> so that's two different teams. Yep. And uh, so the, both of those don't count then. Yep. Wow. Oh well. <laughs> um <laughs> we thought we were doing well with those. Uh has Siberia been read off yet? No, I don't think so, but it is yeah. it is one of the territories. And we had it. Anyone Anybody else? else? No, oh, two points. Okay. Um, New Guinea, Australia. Yep, we have yeah. New Guinea. Yes, that is there. Anyone else? It's a point. All right. Uh, you're all. Yes, we have it. Euro. Where the hell is Euro? That's Asia. Yes, it is a territory. No one else. Yep. Euro Mountains. You're all taking too long. Uh, that's a uh, good, good point, sounds like. And then our last one would be Venezuela. Venezuela is there, yes. Anybody else? That's a point. I want to know if Paula put uh, Argentina. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how many points is that for? Uh, seven. Really? And aren't there only two teams left to report? Yes. So we don't have to say if we got it or not. All right. So this is going to be my team. And God said, gather two of every pie. Yeah. OK. Well, the ones that we haven't yet named are Madagascar. Madagascar. Um, that's in Africa. Yes, that is there. Peru. Peru is there. And Southern Africa. South Africa is there. No, yeah, Southern Africa. One, two, three, four. We have five. What? I'm sorry, wait a minute. Six. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have. Yeah, six. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 ah, Susan finally has. Skin I am in not going to flip over the board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my robo dog ate my AI I, Western. I admire your constraint. We had all ten, but they we that we lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a team left? Yeah, my robo dog. I guess that's me. Okay, we have Japan. Yes. Uh, I'm not so sure about the next one. Scandinavia. Yes. Oh, all right. Uh, Yukon. Mm, Yukon for North America. No, no, no there's no Yukon. Northwest Territories, isn't it? And then we have Northwest so, Territories. Northwest Territory is there, yes. Okay, for five. Okay, and lastly, the bonus point, which I'm pretty sure nobody got, and no, it's not Russia, is Afghanistan. Uh, uh, well, if only we had flipped heads. Did we have to pick what it or could it be it? one of our 10 choices? No, you had a no because they said, sorry. what's the territory that does not match a country? It's not. So nobody had mm. that. I didn't think anyone. We had it down to That was our heads option, Russia but the coin, coin. came up tails. Uh, Russia, Russia is not on the map of the world. There's yeah. no USSR and there's no Russia. <laughs> right. Huh. So can we see the scores? Okay. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my Damn goodness. It. Wow. <laughs> Got a three way tie. I don't remember Good that job, ever happening. Bro. That is amazing. And we oh, win because wow. we were the only team that got a category for 10 of 10. So <laughs> there, uh-huh. there we go. <laughs> well, Rob, right. you did such a great job. It was very well balanced, obviously. This <laughs> might be the tightest scoring game ever. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we can. But yeah, I'm, we not can I'm not happy. I'm not happy. We should have at least tied. <laughs> Sorry, okay, Susan. Need third. Yay. Sorry, Susan. Psychics and risk I gave you, and you didn't win. What can I say? <laughs> well, so we would have been fine is- on risk if you'd asked us categories about risk and stuff, but that was mono kind of rules, yeah. and that that's anybody's game when you yeah, hire. All ten of our answers were were real were correct answers, but they were duplicated. Yeah. So, according to the risk map, most of Western Russia has been conquered by Ukraine. <laughs> that's right. I love that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is really the reason that Putin invaded because he can't stand the wrist board. He doesn't like that game. Now, <laughs> speaking of Putin, I uh, came across something today that really uh, I found somewhat amusing. Is okay. Our Canadians know of the dish poutine, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Poutine. Yeah. There are yeah. several restaurants in Canada that have been. Uh, protested against because they have Putin on the menu. Oh, no. <laughs> People are so stupid. Oh, they must hate that song, Putin on the Wrist. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damn. So, so look at the freaking size of Ukraine there. That's quite amazing. That is huge. I never really and, uh, thought about it before. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and fairly is Greenland yeah. smaller yeah. than it should be. Yeah, and, and, and poor, poor New Zealand doesn't exist in the world. Uh, Madagascar is awfully big. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to remember, this was originally, now a lot of people play it on the computer with it's just got numbers on it, but you had to actually put physical little tokens on it. So they that's couldn't... the only way I play. I can't, I, no, I've got a board yeah. that I've had since the 1970s. And there's no surprise that there's an Alberta there because uh, they're basically the Canadian <laughs> Texas. <laughs> but, where, but where's, but where's Texas? Look I'm surprised there isn't a Texas. Iceland. Yeah. Texas is not like a whole other country. Texas is west. Split between east and west. Yeah. Even eastern U.S., it seems like we conquered something. <laughs> I think we Must conquered Texas. Yeah, it's massive. Look at that. Must have. Yeah, Texas. Yeah, east, uh, eastern U.S. appears to have conquered Prince Edward Island and part of Nova Scotia. <laughs> As it should. <laughs> Oh, the game was on the other hand, though, by Canada the... appears to have con- Ontario has conquered um, Michigan and part of Ohio. Maybe part of Wisconsin or something. That's a fair yeah. trade, maybe. Yeah. And, New- yeah. and Newfoundland's not there. Well, the game was invented by the French. Yeah, so the... Is it? And Argentina's captured some other country there. I'm not sure and which, but... Yeah. Quebec to Play. Cape Cod. I think Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile, Uruguay. Yeah. Well, Quebec, <laughs> Quebec, should, <laughs> Quebec should have been separated from the rest of the continent. Well, that's according to them, yeah. Actually, in Argentina, the game Cape is... Cod is in Quebec. That's kind of interesting. Argentina what? The game is slightly different. It has the same map, but different rules. On the bright side, look how the Middle East got united. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They subsumed uh, Israel. Um, well... Yeah, they worked out that whole conflict. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. That's amazing. Well, that's okay. They're, they're, they're working on imploding right now anyway, so... Yeah, and then Siam. Whoever talks about Siam anymore? Oh, it's Siam. That's us. I am. All those ties do. I, guess. Oh, I exactly. forgot about Siam being right right below China. Yeah, yeah. I, I forgot that. about that because that's where you. That's the strategies you take over Siam. There's a there's a Dr. Seuss book about that, isn't it? Uh, uh, Siam, I Siam, am. I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well yeah. done, Rob. You did a really good job. Except I'm that glad, you, glad you liked it. Except that you didn't win. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you all. Bye, Paula. Okay. Bye. Thanks Bye. for joining. Okay. Ta- glad I could be of no help, guys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you for coming anyway. <laughs> so if anybody wants to hang around, I wanted to talk about the uh, uh, science clash thing, because I think that's really Yeah, what, what is I, Yeah, so let's do it. it. I didn't know what that is. Okay. What is, okay. What is, Good night. 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 Good
Bye, bye. So what this is, is they're having this, um, I guess it's going to happen over several weeks. But what they're doing, here's the thing again. It's it's the idea to have discussions with people about what are what are the real benefits to science. Okay, so they they get, got these two categories. One is more is on the right, one is on the left. And so you're supposed to go through and vote. And so the you want to share a screen? Because I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have no oh. idea what you're talking about either. Okay, I just put it in chat. The link I can share the screen. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So this is a science class. Let me make it larger. Oh, this I see. It's, it's small. March Madness. Okay, I get it. What is what is this March Madness? Yeah, it's a sports. <laughs> Never mind, Rob. You don't care. Thing, Rob. I, I said the same darn thing. Oops, that's not the button. I learned about this recently when a podcast I listened to tried to find the best madness song in March Madness. <laughs> <laughs> How do I make that go away? What did I just hit? I hit Alt. You're doing a screenshot. I don't want that. How do I make it go away? Escape. Escape. Okay, so I want to make this. Escape always get you out. How could it's not getting bigger? Some Command science plus, maybe. is Trey. And what is Trey? I'm supposed mean? to hit. I don't even know what that means. Some is science is Trey. T R E Y. Command plus. Rafe. What does Trey what does Trey mean? Oh, control then. Some science is slam dunk, some science is Trey. What is that it's term? It's not making bigger. Why is it not going bigger? Look it up in uh, an online dictionary. Uh, I, I don't guess because I'm either. on a shared screen, why wouldn't it go bigger? Uh, control plus or command plus. I don't know. Yeah, that's what makes sense. Okay, you just want the image itself? Yeah, I wanted to be bigger. I could just screen share it like this. Screen no, screen it's a to... basketball word. It's a basketball word. Oh my god! Yeah. Shot <laughs> scoring three points. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it this way. It's the March Madness. Okay. Save it and then and share zoom in. I'm gonna what unshare are you share. doing? Just calm down. Oh my god, it's like talking to somebody that I talk to all the time that drives me nuts. <laughs> the name like that. that I will not be saying. A husband, right? Uh, something of the sort, yeah. That just will be like, what are you doing? Are don't you doing? talk to don't talk about Caspian, he can hear you. Okay. Is this also something we're supposed to go in and vote for? Okay, here we go. Now I can share and you guys will understand. Yeah, you can vote well, on that. Why don't someone bracket. just go in and do it? And we can I all watch did it. Mine. Do it. Okay, so here's well, the I can do it then. So this is where I wanted to go is like talk about this. So this is already yeah. decided. So if somebody will go to so could somebody check on click on uh, round two because they can tell us which one won. So it was between vaccination and navigation. Wait, 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 wait. What does this mean win? In what context is win? I don't well, understand. so people vote. In the first okay. round, people voted. And if you like navigation or if you like vaccination and navigation, that vaccination was the most important scientific. Important. Oh. Scientific. Okay. And then they said between fire and construction, they picked fire. Between electricity and surgery, they picked electricity. Between printing press and optical wow. lenses, they weird, printing weird press. Weird selection. Yeah. How are these? Um, I, I agree. Well, With semiconductor and satellites, they pick semiconductor. Hmm. Paper and mathematics, they pick math. the heart of a vacuum tube satellite. Sanitation and engineering, they pick sanitation. Well, <laughs> apparently, apparently, the uh, Iridians are able to do it, right, Carl? Yeah. The radio to astronomy is radio. And then on this side, it was television versus internal combustion. They picked internal combustion. What is that? The wheel versus genetic modification. They picked the wheel. Internet to artificial intelligence. They picked the internet. Antibiotics to telephone. They picked antibiotics. Uh, irrigation to photography. They picked irrigation. Well, that's just wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, to say, I just did this survey a little while ago during the break and i didn't get all of these options i got no, you're on round two now yeah. yeah so these are already taken out so mass production oh. versus pasteurization is just pasteurization flight versus national rational drug design rational flight 
and then computers to chemistry is chemistry. So now Wrong. you can vote in round two, <laughs> and your choices are vaccination versus fire. And that's where I wanted to discuss. I've already what done does mine. What that mean? Did okay. you guys How, say, so, which is, which is the better, better invention? Which discovery is better? Or invention? Which is the most important part of science? Which is fire? Well, it's not fire? just science. Now we're talking about a history and the evolution of our species. It probably wouldn't You're have had us if you didn't have your fire. It's going to explode, Rob. Well, it, it so, would because so faith uh, just said fire and i agree that's what i put uh, i still fire. am wondering how are how are these seeded in the first yeah, place if you yeah. seed them differently you're going to get completely different answers I true agree. yeah and it, it seems kind of haphazard and um yeah in an actual tournament they'd be based on ranking mm, i don't prior know ranking this is not my yeah so so what they're saying is vaccination is number one seed and navigation is the number 16 seed. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Well, that's so how they work. Electricity over printing press. That's because vaccination had a soft schedule, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I a late start. Okay, so based on what's here is all we have is what is here. So, so I how do we get to this? A link from the well, original the, thing. You yeah. click on the 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 round two and you can vote. No, no, no. Where do, where's the original link? I don't know I where put it in the it, chat. She put it in the chat. Well, it's in can the I go to FanDuel and bet on this? I just put it a couple minutes ago too. Can I bet oh, on this in FanDuel and make no. money? You and me can make a side <laughs> bet though. So, so electricity versus printing press. What do you guys think? I already put, I put uh, printing press. That's what I put. And then Semiconductor versus matter. What about an electric? No, no, I, because electricity is a fundamental property of nature, which we discovered, and basically all of modern society is based on. The print and printing press is a specific press is device, but, and you can print things in other ways without it being a printing press. Well, but electricity, there's other ways to do things than you electricity. You can run a Xerox machine without yeah, a printing press. Without electricity. <laughs> you yeah, but you wouldn't. But you wouldn't have like. Freedom of speech trumps your yeah. electricity. Right. Because no, 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 no. the printing press is just a particular device, a way to oh, make a copy of something. There it's are other, other ways. ways. To make a copy of but we're talking yeah. about the actual history of our mankind, of our society, and whether the printing press in our history or electricity in our history was much Well, different. then fire has to win this whole thing. because Yeah, it seems like this is going to be biased to the older thing. This is ridiculous. We don't know. Yeah, the thing on which all other we things well, is fire. Well, I think, I think we know who created this rule. and we can go talk to him. Like, I can go show up at his house. Like, who, who did? Who did? Why do you assume it's a him? No, because <laughs> so, well, it's bought by Science Saves and we know one of the big... Uh, uh -huh. The guy who donated the money for Science I say math yes. and science, math we're and chemistry friends with the finals, people. Well, I know where he lives. I can show up at his house and ask him why we're pitting vaccination against fire. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you know, yes, please. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like, would you rather chop off your arm or gouge out your eye? I'm not sure which one. To I will choose. gouge out my eye to keep my arm. Which arm? Because I can. Oh, it's easier what if to you only have one eye left? than it is to not have a pendable phone. Faith, what if you had Faith, one eye and one arm? Faith, your homework is to find out how they pick these because that is kind of weird. Yeah. So next week, it could be just random. What's that dartboard? Just... Could be. A, it could be. Okay. So but well, they could have done this while they were drinking beer. And <laughs> yeah, it was a drinking game. Out of a that's how it that's probably what happened. happened. Knowing Todd, uh -huh. that's probably look, what look, happened. look, look, look. The thing is, this is what we have. So this is what we're yeah. discussing. It's not why. Well, what, what's going to be the outcome with this? I mean, what's the we point at the end? Fire. It's supposed to be for discussion. We lose and... all other technologies that. <laughs> that yeah, we're you have to out. live six months without the ones that lost. <laughs> well, I think I'll keep the sanitation. I may have picked antibiotics <laughs> over the internet. <laughs> I did. I picked, okay, semiconductor for mathematics. How come porn's math. not an option? <laughs> that would definitely win. Sanitation That's internet. It is. It was under computers. What about domesticated animals and? It pets? was under computers and photography. They had it there twice. <laughs> ah, no, don't make me give up my dog. Okay, and what about Karen. alcohol? <laughs> That's under chemistry. chemistry. That's under Actually, chemistry. what are living through chemistry. antibiotics and chemistry? Okay. But at okay, the same says, time, is not electricity developed, derived through chemistry? Hmm. The history of the discovery and hmm. that's the problem I had with internal combustion in the wheel. It's like with 
and semiconductors and math. Yeah, what's the you what, can't have that. You, you have together. an internal combustion engine, but no wheels on the car. Right. Right. So but so you, you everybody's don't need going wheels. in a boat. Yeah, but you can have boats. A, we can I yeah, yeah, both. You could have a steam engine, you could have a turbine yeah. engine. You don't need internal That's combustion. right. But but the thing that spins is kind of like rotary engine. Doesn't have to be. Don't terrible. need you could so have. If Todd has a problem with this, Faith, you can have him watch this segment to see. How <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be on yeah. the. When he says, "Oh, nobody's being like that," you say, "Here's a video. I'll prove they are." I, guess, <laughs> I, can, I, can, I will buy you a beer, and we can talk about why we're. Putting... I, I think we need to explain the concept in the very beginning a little better because mm. it's kind of stupid if you don't know what the hell mm. you know what I mean. I, Take I that, agree. Todd. I agree. Okay, we so, need like a set of rules like what what did they guys first vote on why did right. they pick television or internal combustion over well, television the greatest thinking about just, it too hard what's just the, because uh, it's voted as better doesn't mean you don't have the others right it, it's voted as the best or the more uh, important invention or the best Thing to be discovered you could, you could shuffle, you like better you could what shuffle the all the first things around mm. and match them up differently and you'd end up with a totally yeah, different that's what right. said, yeah. I, yeah, I said that they probably just put the words in a hat and drew them out yeah. Yeah. oh no no this is structured like i but think then what was the but how did they come up with which things were going to meet the yeah. bracket yeah well, it did ask. like why do we just have mathematics why can't it just be algebra yeah you know well, or the development of numbers set. Is agriculture on here in a separate thing, by the way? Well, there I was mean, something, there was irrigation, I think. Uh, oh, something like that. Kyle, this yep. sounds like when we were trying to come up with a pat podcast title. Yeah, Indeed. We like forgot a, a whole bunch. What about like germ we theory? We were so clever. Right. <laughs> we, <didn't find laughs> out. we forgot law. No, sanitation is a little. Sanitation. Bit. Or like plumbing, you know. Or antibiotics. How'd you get oh, the Unleaded gasoline. <laughs> we figured that should be nuclear power. <laughs> I don't yeah. think oil's on here, is it? Um, internal combustion. Chemistry. And, yeah. you know, like lenses and stuff. Microscope. Versus chemistry. So there's only one I actually don't even understand, I think, is a rational drug design. Or am I reading <laughs> that wrong? I was yeah. unfamiliar with that phrase, but oh, right. I am, yeah, I am pl oh, like, it was assume, voted out. Yeah, probably because no one knows what that means. What is it? What was the words? It's supposed to be rational drug design. As opposed to just like here, take irrational, this. Irrational, irrational drug design. Irra oh, yeah. Irrational. So you don't give design. people pie for medication? <laughs> <laughs> Ir irrational is when you just dump some chemicals into a mixture yeah, you and you just it. No, you try you know, here. Yeah. See what, what this does to you. Does. It's what that psychic guy does. Yeah. Oh, it's he's he's guy. the irrational. Uh, Drug, drug, drug designer. I mean, it comes down to it. It's going to be probably fire versus the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I Let's mean, try to make that chemistry. happen. I, I <laughs> pick, well, I did pick fire and I did pick wheel. So I don't mm -hmm. know if you guys. What about I picked internal combustion. Is, are, is, is clothing on there? No, clothing's not. No, everybody should just, everybody just write in the chat what the final two are going to be. One I from each side. I think it's and then see, come back later fire. and look I at. I can't the really answers. read what the ones are now. Oh, Which one do you oh. want to see? Oh, yeah, Karen says the same. Karen, and I picked the same thing. Why would you yeah. pick internal combustion? Not yeah. me. I would go with math. Wheel, math because on the, the wheel left is like. And chemistry on the right. That's me. Math and have, chemistry. Uh, I would go sanitation and chemistry. But you could have had you you could have had transportation without it, like horses. Everything you still else. have the horses, horses, the elephants, the the machine with our wheels. And, and, and how are you going to get the average person? No, those are circles. The... Gears are not hey, wheels. Hey, they built the pyramids without wheels. Those are circles. But they're essentially they're circles. Circles. no wheels with no logs. Logs. Good one, okay. Karen. Language. Ooh. That's a good one. Wait, is language on there? But it's not up it there. It should be. Oh, He's saying says... things that should be on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of things that should be on here. And gears have two. one added for zero. What's oh for the for the the oh, concept is zero. Oh, that's mm. good. What is the um the one on the right third from the bottom? It's a long word. It looks like it starts with a P. Pasteurization. Um, Pasteurization. 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 Third, third from the bottom is the rational yeah. drug design. 
No, yeah, that's already been voted out. Pasteurization, she's talking yeah. about. Next call. I, I, I thought I could call. believe it. It goes too slow. I made it as Believe it or I not, people are drinking raw milk again, and it's yeah, ugh. and giving it to their babies. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow selling it on Goop. No, it's religious fundies, some of them from California. Oh my God. I grew up on raw why, milk. Why religious Except fundies? Except that we didn't feed it to it's, the babies till they were two years old. They, they're they getting into the whole, like, we're Never trying to be holistic and healthy and the world is awful. What if oh, we work on a dairy farm? What if Paltrow was doing um, ozone gas? Rectal or, ozone therapy. Rectal, yeah. She's oh. also giving herself That's nutrients. Blowing hot air up your <laughs> So what do we guys think the end result will be, or what are you guys going to put? Because I'm, I put fire and wheel, or, fire and wheel, math and chem in the finals. I'm, I'm with them, math, math, math and chemistry. <laughs> I math think that the are going to beat out fire. I take chemistry over the wheel. Um, you can use fire to sterilize things. Well, the wheel was so important, you guys. They built the entire pyramids without the wheel. They do roll. Though. You don't need the you wheel to build the pyramid. Yeah, with chemistry. With chemistry, you can cure diseases and things. You can figure things out. With math, you can figure things out. With but the wheel, the roll down the of chemistry. We the well, wheel, if, roll if down the aliens help. wouldn't have helped with their tractor beams to build the pyramid, they would have had to use the wheel. Oh, they, they picked paper over mathematics. <laughs> rock covers, um, paper covers rock. <laughs> yes. Scissors break rock. Or rock, rock, break rock paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. <laughs> yes. I still don't understand why Fire is now the question. That just seems so, so strange. Crazy. All right. It's Shut time up. to go to bed. Thanks for yeah. fun. All well, right. Bye, that's Deborah. interesting. Why, why is the wheel the greatest discovery? I don't know. Because it allowed I, people to, to be able to move beyond their own. Uh, you could have had horses. Horses, no, horses were wheels. expensive. An yeah. uh, average surf did not. But have still, a, a wheel doesn't legs, do anything you want. except roll. The civilization they got pretty far along before oh, the wheel did. No, things. they had to be able Harry, to. Wouldn't have existed Harry. without fire. You needed the wheel to be able to get your goods to be able to go to trade. The to the There's no economy without the wheel. Because you, you have Carl, to, I think we need to show the. Uh, the metallica Actually, thing the, fire bad no, no, what, <laughs> what about no why are tools on here because without tools you could not have no fire wire you not have your wheel you would you would have nothing no, fire is a tool. no wire hangers no All i'm talking things, about like tools no to wire hangers ever <laughs> i still think like the wheel is very important to, you need tools it's to very important fire. yeah not the most you need important tools thing. to make your not wheel, a prerequisite. Fire fire is is wheel. engineering engineering is the best thing what about brain we already got rid of engineering. But what good is engineering? Yeah, that was a mistake. A like engineering, because if you can't, you can't. That have wins all. You You're right. Fire. Where was where was engineering? engineering? I didn't see that. Sorry, guys, we're dead because we can't think or plan yeah, anything. Out, really. We need engineering shelter and clothes. And we can sanitation. Be we cook shit. Freaking seriously, how do you <laughs> think you got sanitation <laughs> without some kind of engineering? For real. <laughs> Okay, so we were already screwed. We got rid of fire. But a, a guy who's a sanitation and engineer. They're the basis. Now he's screwed. Why is it science on here without? <laughs> You can talk to what about the garbage guy who calls himself a sanitation? We can't engineer. get anywhere if we don't have shelter. He's so split right now. But we didn't have. You know, just let's talk about shelter. Okay, yeah. We had well, shelter, we had we shelter before we had well, fire. Lots of animals live without shelter. Yeah, but you could sleep underneath the printing yeah. press. Like there's elephants. You know? Right, Alan. <laughs> Elephant, no, elephants find shelter. Did you not did you no, but, not watch the thing well, documentary do the I did where they had the poo camera? The basic so thing, thing that you can they had the camera that looked like a pile of elephant poo and they would not be able to cook food. And yes. we need fire, that, fire we as a subset of chemistry our diets to sustain without. ourselves. No, we got we survived off berries and then we got fire and then we it developed where we could get more nutrients from things. What about the big wheel keeps on turning? fire in one song fire protect well, i just know we didn't start the fire <laughs> that's always right burning, it's always the world's been turning okay? therefore it's not important because it always existed oh and that's fire, right and it was going to happen anyway warm and right, lightning would make fire if you don't make the one. fire almost 130 here we wouldn't <laughs> discover work, fire because lightning would happen and we so would next find we pull the eject handle rob Thank you for doing it, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Good job. Thanks, Rob. Was good. Excellent categories. Right. Nice three-way tie for first. A lot of happy yeah. trophy winners tonight. Not, I'm not happy. <laughs>
We're all sharing the prize. The and Man, you everybody. get a trophy. And See you get a trophy. <laughs> Good night, Brandy. And Susan, Susan didn't. And Susan, Susan doesn't didn't get a trophy. Everyone get look under your seat. Trophy. Everyone look under your seat. Everyone look under your seat. So good to get seat but you know what? You have to pay taxes on those damn cars, and it ain't cheap. Mm. So it's part of your, part of your taxes. So people don't talking about your electric taxes car? weren't on the list. Oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are awful. Okay, so when does this judge? When does the second one? When did we start the third? Does somebody see it? Will it be here next week? Does What's your kitty cat's name, Carl? Uh, this one is Ursula. Ursula, Ursula. little bear. And right here is her sister, Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe. Oh, breaking uh, aren't news. Aren't they named after breaking the, news. Um, New data links pandemic's origins to raccoon dogs at Wuhan market. Phoebe Buffet and her sister, kidding. Ursula. From Wait, Fred. really? Right. The data Where'd you see that, about. Susan? Because this has been a big discussion lately. It just yeah. showed up on my, like, did you did you read the two articles in Science in July 2022? Among virologists and scientists, there's not much controversy. Oh, what is what is what is the consensus? well? I mean, they swabbed it. They swabbed it off the wall at a particular stall where they had the raccoon dogs and other things. They don't know the particular animal, but but. They went they back the and place. actually have the swabs off the wall at the market. And they also found out who are the people who had the earliest cases of it. And they're all around that one. Yeah, they're all the located market. right around that yeah. stall. There's yeah. a lot of evidence for it being animals brought into the market. And they said now, what, from animals where from those animals were farmed because you weren't supposed to be farming those animals, but they were probably, and they weren't supposed to be in the market, but they were, um, and there's photographic evidence for that. The July 2022 science has two articles, and I don't know, it has, that issue has the web space telescope on the front of it, and I can't find my issue of it. I think it's in the car. Trask is sitting. But they it. have two articles that are pretty definitive. There's new information coming in, I think, but right. So the but daily, those are pretty settled. The New York Times, the Daily. I just was listening to. It's a podcast, and it came out. I think it was yesterday's, but I was listening to it today. They think that it's pretty likely it's these these raccoon dogs. They said that part of the reason why. China was like, absolutely, we're not giving you any information on this. It's because they knew damn well they weren't supposed to be having these animals. They, they the weren't market. supposed to be there. Because and China's animals really cars, uh, in 2003, I think. And so yeah. they think that that's why China is like, oh, shit, no, we don't know anything about it. It's caused by, and then they're blaming other people. They're blaming uh uh, frozen foods brought in by America or something. It was well, that's because we pointed our finger at China. Well, so they just fun, kind of point yeah. it back. But I think for the people at the market, you know, China's extremely punitive. And supposedly that wild animal trade had been shut down. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as this started, they they got rid of all those wild animals and they cleaned up their market. So they themselves would not get in trouble, both local authorities and people at the market. And so the federal uh, Chinese, by the time they came in, the evidence wasn't there. And then when, you know, the U.S. started calling it the Wuhan flu and, you know, turning it political, they just kind of turned it around and did the same shit to us. I mean, it, it makes total makes sense, sense when you see it that way, yeah. that these people were not supposed to have this here. They know they're going to no. get in serious trouble. And so we may never know exactly, but I think that it's going to come down to, oh, come on. Well, it is there. China just shipped some assault weapons and body armor to Russia via the UAE and Turkey. Really? Mm -hmm. that makes me so angry me too 
Mm-hmm. I'm so Very. angry about. I'm I'm right. just worried about World World War Three coming. Well, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about. <laughs> I am too. Coming. No, I I'm not worried about it at all. I, uh, are we still recording? <laughs> are we still recording? <laughs> yeah. Why? You got something to say? Can you pause it for a second? Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Good Record thing. again. I tell you, that was amazing. Uh, you know, people need to know what we're talking about when we go. Yeah, you're about right, Kevin. That is a guaranteed way to become a millionaire. Absolutely <laughs> right. I know. They can't. Don't Kevin, tell anybody my secret, that, Kevin. That was. Don't tell anybody we're going to keep it all pyramid. We, we pushed <laughs> pause. At the the million the dollar question secret for reason about making a million dollars. <laughs> well, I had a good idea once, and it didn't work. So, but this other one you had is. I think it's still do it. Well, remember dub, what the fuck? It's only a buck. I did. I didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, you didn't I didn't do, do anything. anything. I couldn't get it. To, I couldn't get it to work. It was too. I spent a lot of money trying to get it going, and it just didn't work. You should write a course and get some passive income that way. Well, I was trying to do an online dollar store, so you pay a dollar to download something. Why and wouldn't just, that work? Because I can't get it to transaction. Cost seventy nine cents. <laughs> so it's oh. like. What the fuck? I, it's only a buck and 79 cents if it goes to the bank that's doing but the transaction. But the dollar store did. They raised the prices a quarter. No, but I'm trying to just make a dollar store. Like Your when you post is, What the hell? It's only worth what, 11 cents. What, what credit card gateway are you using? Yeah, what the fuck? What it's only that? a buck. Was, was the, what the fuck? Only, it's only a buck is what it's called. Yeah, just, well, Trader Joe's. Good night, everybody. I'm going to bed. Stuff. And yeah. I, the idea was like, Sue's going to post a picture of a photo she took. And then anybody could download it for $1. And she would get as much of that dollar as possible. But it turns out the transaction that the banks were charging were at least 79 cents per transaction. You just need, you just need three times as many people to do it then. So what it about with be... Stripe? Stripe's only charging me like 3%. Or you need really crappy stuff with a high markup. Well, it's, I was trying to just it do a dollar. It would be a high markup and, if it was like something. Dollar. Everything was going to be a dollar. Right. It's a dollar to post an ad. And it stays there for a few months or something. And it's a dollar for anybody who wants to buy what you're selling, whether and it's cookie you recipe. You sell an actual item like it was. No, it's a, tra- a downloadable thing. Like a downloadable thing. Yes, you're not, you no one's say, nothing, like, nothing physical. Here's you would like download a, a photo, a recipe, a PDF file, sure. or something poem, like that. Something but I can't get it. And, and you would op- you would have to upload something and pay me a buck because I run the page. And then every time someone buys from you, they pay you a buck. And I would make like a penny or a nickel or a dime off every transaction. A pyramid. That's right. That was the idea, but I couldn't get it to do without. How about? Did how you about look into Stripe? You just move it up to three dollars. Well, then it's not a buck. What the fuck? It's only a buck. That's what the idea was. It's call it what? It's the online. You can call online what the fuck? Digital. It's a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Because I already registered WTFIAOB. I, I was just thinking like the Dollar Tree, but now all shocks already. it's only five bucks. Oh, but, shocks it's only five. Yeah, see, that's what it would happen. You would could get that margin yeah, down. Have, we use Stripe. It's easy to integrate with, and it's like 3% I pay. But would it be. You know, someone who writes these, who knows dollar, how to write pages on, 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 on. Any developer, it's super easy. Yeah. See, Kevin, see? He see, I need to pair up with you then, Kyle. Well, shoot me an email. I'll try and help as much as I can. Oh, cool. Three cents out of a dollar. Yeah, well, that, what I was trying to do is like... one of my son's friends was a is a is a programmer, and he was telling me he could maybe do it, but then it was in he would he he didn't have the time, you know. That's always the challenge oh, yeah, with Karen, developer ask people. Ask everybody for a dollar. Yeah. That'll work. So we got to just ask time. everybody to send me a dollar. Yeah. I think you play as a goat. I don't know. Everybody's got to subscribe to my channel, and then you need. Yeah, to I did already. I, I shared it, I shared it on my Facebook each, page because I wanted. And, to... and one of the. One of your opponents or your competitors is a, a, a magician guy who does this already. Who? Um, he does a lot of puzzles. I can't remember his name. Chris, I think his name is. He does a lot of puzzles and solves puzzles. And now he's talking about psychics. <coughs> oh, fraud psychics. Well, I think I'm the only one that does just psychics. No, you know, he does a lot of stuff. He's a very popular yeah. YouTube guy. He Other does a lot of magic videos. tricks and puzzle boxes. And- I'm the only female. Right, I, I think you're right, and and he does a couple of videos that are very very popular on uh, the tricks of the psychics. Psychics, explain. well, I know I know Holy Kool Aid does a lot of psychic stuff. Yes, he yes, also he's does good. a lot of other stuff too. Like he does a lot of religious movies. stuff. So yeah, a lot. Have of Have you stuff. looked into pet psychics or pet communicators at all? I haven't done that yet, but it just seems. I like wanted to go I to your talk. 
faith, but I had to take eggs to the food bank at that time. Yeah, it was, I got into some crazy rabbit holes. Wait, you didn't revolve. talk me? On, on veterinary science, veterinary medicine. I hadn't heard this. Oh, this was so recorded. This is for our, lo- yeah, there's a recording of it. So mm-hmm. we can go back and see yeah, it. Yeah, you can go back and it's on oh, our. good. Put the link. On our, is it already out? Oh, yeah. Um, you want to Put the link in. in. Yeah, I really Susan. wanted to, I really wanted to go, but. Same. Robin I had to. I had to go over to the food bank at that time. Robin. Many years ago, the Chicago skeptics had an event and somebody presented on like skepticism of pet foods and it was really popular and good. Mm. Yeah. We this, have a member of our skeptics group who had acupuncture for her dog. <laughs> and I didn't get into acupuncture, but what I what I really relied heavily on was um, SkepVet. I don't know if you've heard of him. He's got oh, oh, yes. he really, really good blog and them. he needs to be sucked into like Skepticon and everything else. Oh, skip that. This is the conversation yeah, I'm with surprised them. to learn that some of the things that I thought were evidence-based um, actually weren't and that it's almost really next to impossible to get a veterinarian that doesn't practice some level of and I wouldn't even say not pseudoscience, but just has some not scientifically of, supported practices. Yes, and and some of them were not even really like gabapentin using for pain treatment in pets. There's actually no research studies to show it does what it does, um, and it's that kind of made me upset because I was like, well, my doctor gave it to me, and I thought it was helping my cat, but they don't think there's they're not really certain it'll work because of some of the studies. Um, Placebo by proxy is a huge, huge hurdle in them getting um, any good studies done. And I thought- I I would say that's true for humans too. I'm But but you've got to (laughs) convince the pet owner when it's that narrow. There was a couple studies he did with, looked at that did acupuncture where they just brought the dog or the cat into the room and let them stay there for 30 minutes. And yeah, he's a pretty good musician. And there was no magician. You couldn't really tell the cats, the the, the dogs that did get acupuncture compared to the ones that were in the control, there was no benefit. So, but it's the problem with those things is that you, end up you know they warn you about you may have needles in your dog and your dog may eat one of them later and like I there's a vet hospital near us that offers it and they're going to charge you $80 for your first session and then almost $300 for a series of four and the problem with this is you've got actual veterinarians like there's there was one I found in Asheville near us that she went to the vet school here and you know near us and she's doing kinesiology as a diagnostic to diagnose your pet with pain treatments. And it's like, this is, this is somebody with a, with an actual degree and that's more dangerous. Yeah. And it's like, I get it. My vet has certain products on their shelves that don't work. They've also recommended some herbal medicines to me that I haven't really researched that, yeah, there's a reason you're recommending that because there's no actual medication to give my cat if she's bleeding. This is the best thing that you have. And so I, and then you have the the whole issue with pet cancer and lymphoma in dogs and the research I was doing on that. It's just, I can see how if you're faced with paying tens of thousands of dollars to try to treat your dog, and then you've got there was there was a scandal I found where the guy actually was just convicted in court for this two right. months ago that he was charging about a thousand dollars for just some compounded chemicals together like he was a biology microbiologist so he knew what he was doing wasn't going to kill the dogs but they were going to die anyway from their cancer not being treated but he was giving them these medications and like uh, and that's like a thousand dollars compared to i'm going to send my dog for chemo treatments and so it's yeah just cruel Kevin, yeah. the guy, that guy's a magician so he's yeah like, he's he so yeah like i said there's people who are do a video or so on psychics but no channels devoted to psychics 
Well, no, I, I guess you're right. He he only does a few videos, right? I, I he's a mostly that. musician he even have a puzzles. He's hiking. he's a personality on YouTube. He has a big following. Yeah, a million, seven. That's seven what I mean. Million? So when they diversified, he does puzzles. He has a following now because I follow him for his puzzles, and I know he's a, mag a magician. And the magician stuff doesn't, you know, it's just gimmicks and stuff he's showing. Once in a while, he'll do Ooh. a cool card trick, but I mostly the puzzles he has are pretty cool. He'll 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 buy a new puzzle, or someone will send him a very expensive puzzle and he'll solve it, you know, and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Do his yeah. psychic abilities cool. help him solve the puzzle fast? No, no, he's not a psychic. He's just, oh. he's a magician. He likes to do tricks and puzzles. So he solves, like he has puzzles that he, he, he puts them on a scale. Like this is a level 10 puzzle. It's really hard. You know, and then he'll say, let's see if I can solve it. And then he'll put a clock on and fast forward. And it said, took me 45 minutes to solve this one, you know, or, and Where some of them are mom? really elaborate. He just does these cool. And things. something Name's called "Mommy Needs Vodka." Yeah, it's, this is the wrong link. Hold on a second. Chris uh, Ramsey, the magician, and he, he likes I, to go to like magic shops and show the different card tricks and I don't know why that's like coming that. out that way. He's entertaining. He's a magician, but that, I really like this puzzle. Yeah, yeah, it is the Ouija thing. It's not gonna work because you have to turn. Well, yeah. Well, if you like turn. Oh, the here's card. the link. Link. Oh, oh, okay, he gave me two links. I gave you the wrong one. Here's the other one. Oh, I sent you the Ouija board one to everybody. Smart system. Here, here it is. This is the one for this guy, Chris Ramsey, with the beautiful blue eyes, which is why he has all the, the followers. Oh, I think I've seen 7 million before. subscribers. My God, I'm at 129, 135. I'm sorry. I need that extra six. He's got 7 million. He's also got tattoos and the beard. and. You could get tattoos, but I don't know about the beard. I don't. I, I I could put one on. I can use Zoom and put a beard on. But yeah, so I'm trying to break out and do just psychic stuff. So explain psychics. I I, I won't be a personality. I'm not that kind of. There's. Person. Have you heard of Anne Reardon out of Australia? She does a lot of debunking of cooking videos. Yeah, you mentioned how to her before. That. I'm talking about just psychic. What does that mean? Debunking of cooking. Um, so oh, you know how sometimes you'll be on TikTok talk. or Instagram and you'll see these really cool short videos and they'll sometimes appear on YouTube where they'll yeah. show you that, oh, you can make yeah. um, dulce de leche in the microwave. And she actually tells you why you can't do this, why what they're showing you is fake. Um, like the whole thing where you melt Skittles down and you can put popcorn in there and it'll coat everything. She's <laughs> ruined microwaves. Her poor husband has had to taste test some of the stuff that she's made um but like if you saw the video where they were taking hot sugar and putting it on mixers to make sponge sugar and oh. she was actually showing you why you shouldn't do that um there was also another one where people were taking they were creating like these electric arches to create um plasma pla not plasma but this was wood they were basically creating these high voltage Device. Oh, electricity like a, like a lightning bolt pattern. Yeah, yeah, lightning bolt pattern to make it in the wood. And she um, had created a video to basically explain, do not do this unless you have a really good insurance policy. Because if you touch this, like if you accidentally bump into anything, you're going to send like 10,000 volts of electricity through your body and kill yourself. And YouTube actually took the video down and she was upset about it because this was, I'm not telling people to do this harmful behavior i'm actually making a psa to tell you not to do this because you will die if you do it you're basically creating this this huge electrical current without any protection and people and it's making these cool patterns and people are telling you how to do it on the internet and one one lady um like her husband died because he just turned tripped over something tried to steady himself on the table and didn't realize it had electrified and his heart stopped mm -hmm. so and it's and people don't and they're not realizing how dangerous this is and people are creating tutorials to show you how to make these conductors and they're not safe and and that's what she tries to do is to tell you that you should not do these things like the one with the sponge sugar, because if you put it on your little electric beaters and you're trying to make stringy, like to do the crook, um, crook and bush type it's thing. It's like lava, it splatters so on you. You're basically giving yourself third degree burns. If this goes anywhere, it gets in your eyes. Um, you know, none of this works. You're going to destroy your pan. This is not, 
like these mug cups that they're showing you how to do. There's no leavening agent in it. It's not going to pop it's up. It's a little like Mythbusters. They've been looking for the explosion mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And, yeah. And I just love her content. I love it. The, the, the crazy Russian hacker does some of that stuff too. He puts on safety glasses and he says, safety first. And he does all these crazy experiments. Oh, this guy with his puzzles. Yeah, Chris Ramsey's pretty good. Yeah, there's also the locksmith guy that will show you how to how Pick we can lock. Oh, lock. I've heard of him. I'm not calling hardly anything. I just so one of the him. one of the biggest guys on there is a guy who does a, a test guns. He has the biggest following on YouTube. Speaking he of which, I've just put out the next uh, um, Facebook. Uh, how long have you been on YouTube, did, Susan? Did anybody hear Radio Lab with Paul Offen? No, what does he got to they say? They did. They did. Uh, he Hillman. The from Paul Offit's book Vaccine, oh. the person who made all of the vaccines, right, right, was right, on right. the on mm. the last Radio Lab. It was oh. really have good. They, oh. Speaking of that, have they come out with new guidelines on when you should get COVID boosters? Every four months is what I'm doing. Four or five months. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's new ones. Once I'll a year. And tell, they tell me I can't get it anymore. I don't care. There's no side effects really anymore, at least. Oh, I have terrible side effects. I, I actually stopped because of that. Did I you get really? sick, deathly sick for two days. Yeah. To which brand, which ones did you get? Um, Pfizer, Moderna. Yeah, I think Pfizer. I think I might have had Moderna once, but I, lo I lose three days every time I get boosted. Really? So, it, yeah. And if you like do just the calculus on it, like the amount of work days I lose, Versus my actual risk, I'm not getting boosted anymore. Yeah, well, you've been, you've and there's been not really a need to, yeah, because um, your T cells and stuff. If you've had three, you've I've pretty had much had the series. Oh, you've had yeah. five, five, yeah. and I'm done. Five I'm shots. out. Yeah, you've had five boosters or five shots. Five shots total. Five shots. Yeah, yeah. that's what I. You, you know, I lost maybe fifteen days easy of work. Yeah. You may down the road start, they may start discovering you lose some immunity, but I doubt it. I don't think there's any reason to think, you know, Paul Offit's going three and you're done. But I thought oh, that that's interesting. get them at least once a year. At least. Well, they're just kind of doing that because people will understand it because oh, it's I, I like they're familiar with the flu kind of thing and well, you don't I'm have to get teach boosted. many clubs. They're going to update the vaccines. Well, the, the only the like worry I have is the evolution of the virus. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I'm and there's nothing at this point that shows that the bivalent is not that much better than than the other. So, you know, and you're relying, when you get the vaccine, you get high antibodies. So you may have a little bit more protection against infection, but for severe disease, you, you're looking at your T cells and stuff like that, not the antibodies. And so you have that good long-term broad protection against severe disease. Good to know. Yeah, hmm. at this point. I, I was thinking that they were going to update it yearly like a flu shot. You go get your flu shot. You also get but your... I thought. Your, that seems your, logical, uh, yeah. They that they're doing, the stuff that, they're doing that just so they don't have to teach you biology. <laughs> well, it's not It's not really anything really scientific. Okay, then I will it's probably put on... I would, I would be getting it the early summer if I was to doing every five or six months i think i got it at christmas so let's just see what happens maybe i yeah, mean it December, could change say, forget it don't worry about it we don't need it just, i mean i don't know if i'd get the get the two get the flu and the booster at the same time that makes sense because i always get my flu now. well it took me out for like 24 hours I, yeah, I've, I've had, had i've had just slight but what i think it is is i've always had that reaction with the flu shot like i'll get it and then it's I feel like I've been hit by a truck in, for yep. about 24 hours, but this time I had a pretty bad fever and huh. had to take, why, yeah. Kyle, why do you think you have such a problem with it? Do you have problems? With I don't know. I he guess has a the, nice reactive immune system. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I would have liked shot. a little more indication that my my immune system was kicking in. Well, but with the Moderna, the I shot, took a nap the next day. So, uh, so there could be multiple factors. Like I had had COVID three months before. And then I also heard because I had gone through the rapid weight loss that that also could have affected how my body responded to it. So I was just like, this is great. There's too many variables to know yeah. what this is. Just, I'm not going to die. <laughs> yeah. that's all that matters yeah so i've had five also but i've yeah i just just seeing what has happened to people in my line of work that have gotten covid and have had to be put on ventilators Ugh. and like just the the lung injuries and the oxygen yeah and then oh but, yeah, but they've been not vaccinated promoting it from anything yeah it's well, just it's videos crazy. Oh, it's like videos i'll see i have seen like some people that have gotten it and they're going through chemotherapy treatments for cancer. And even like a child that had cystic fibrosis had contracted COVID. And I was just like, oh my God, this is awful, but they were fine. Wow. So it's, it's, you know, they still aren't really sure why some people are getting extremely sick with it compared to others. And yeah, there does seem to be some work being done on genetic markers for some of the immunoglobulin, uh, immunoglobulins, go, goblins, I -G 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 -G, what I call them. So particular interfer interferons um, that correlates with some things. But well, this yeah, M or something M so M M R M R what is it called? mRNA, mRNA. mRNA is so exciting. Who was yes. it? Just did a talk on it. Was it um, the guy at Lintz, Nate Nathan Lintz? Nathan Lintz. Yeah, at Cyclone. I just rewatched the video recently. Oh my gosh, he talked about how there's so many new that they're going to be able to use this stuff for some really exciting things. Uh, I think sickle cell uh, cancer, cancer treatment, some sort of. What they were they were working the work previous. I subscribed, Kevin. Was for cancer. And they just turned it around really fast for for the need here. And having a lot of cases allowed them to advance through uh, phase three of the trials. You've got, when you set up a trial, you've got to have so many people become infected. Well, if the disease isn't very prevalent, it takes a long time. But if the disease is all over the place, you can do that yeah, and then you have really fast. That. Then you have sure. some cancers that it's like breast cancer, the genetic markers, and it's it's Are very interesting. different. Yeah. If you don't have the right drug to treat it, even though, yeah, and that's been the thing I've seen in my line of work is lately there's just been a, it's amazing to me, like how they'll start a protocol, they'll be in remission. And then not even three months later, it's actually metastasized to a different part of the body. Right. And it's, and the margins were negative when they did the surgery. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear it's, that. I've had breast cancer. <laughs> well, if you're this, but you're that far out, like this. Oh, I'm 10 years. Yeah. And this, this person was not even a year out and yeah, they, didn't they responded it. to the first protocol. And then it's now in the liver and it hadn't gone anywhere. It's like, I did a lung cancer case where the person they were in remission and then they showed up sick with pneumonia and it had metastasized to another area and had grown back so quickly. And because of the illness with the pneumonia and with where the cancer was, the person was intubated and they couldn't treat the cancer and they couldn't treat the pneumonia and the family had to make a very Gee, difficult Gee, babe, decision. you're just making our day. Thank you. I would. Right it's, before I go to bed, that I'm going to have. Yeah. Thanks for the reason me. I didn't do medicine. Uh, yeah. No way. <laughs> the yeah. point is, is that there are some really exciting things that are coming out. It, yeah. it, it is yeah. exciting. Some of the stuff that is just like when I heard that talk by Nathan Lentz, I was like, oh, I feel so much better. Not like hearing Faith talk, but. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the, but that's Thanks, the thing is seeing how far they've been able to come. And well, knowing yeah, that and, and with this with this technology, you're going to be able to target treatments. I really would recommend this lecture because you do. You yeah. feel good. Um, 
if we can get people to take our vaccines and not, I mean, we, somebody was telling me, oh, somebody, somebody around here who's not here right now was telling me that I had a, you know, I, I overthought one of the, the, the videos I did on the psychics and said, well, you said this and actually it's this. And, and people are going to say that they're going to, they're going to argue with you and they're going to say it's wrong. And, and then they're going to say everything that you're saying is wrong because this little thing is wrong. I said, I am trying to explain that you cannot communicate with the dead. The people are telling me the stuff that is just beyond out there. They're not going to care about this little technical thing that I said wrong. Or I, I didn't even say it wrong. I just kind of, I just made a general statement about something I knew was true. And, and in the video, I kind of just made it like, this is this is what happens throughout. Good night, Robin. This is what happens without throughout when it only it, I only knew factually it, it pertained to one thing, and I'm like nobody's gonna care. The stuff these people are telling me is just so out there that they haven't even got the basics down. Oh, I can't tell you these people are. It's sad. One woman was writing to, to in the comments about my husband died six months ago. And she's still using his YouTube account. So she's writing to me under his name. So, I mean, it, it, he, she's, she's like, he died six months ago and I'm trying to find a psychic. Can you tell me one that is real? I'm like, <laughs> so, the know, clock's ticking. My I mother was, joined my, my Facebook page, which is, you know, the anti-psychic. Oh page. yeah, there you go. That'll give me another one. So they, they, it's just, it's so sad because she's, I said, you're grieving don't seek out a psychic and she's and she goes well i know but i miss him so much and i said well and i'm trying to explain to her but trying to be very basic and i said there are people who are going to know that and they're going to con you they're going to they're going to take your money she says i've already seen a couple psychics and and now i can't get rid of them they're all i i get messages all the time from them she says how do you know if they're really a psychic and I said, if they're saying they're a psychic, they're not. <laughs> I mean, but see, you have the common you. sense so you're that a grieving widow, so they're out to get you. You've already given them somebody. Kevin, they're they're in an emotionally vulnerable state. They, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. You have the common sense to know, but they're in they're they're emotional. They're in grief. Many many of them are religious fanatics that really believe in life after death and things like that. So well, let me they think that not, someone can cross that. Not necessarily. It's a think. It's but there are a lot of them that, that fall in that category. Most of religious. Any of us. My, my mother told me that there are people that know things. There are people that know things. And she was on my page. And I, and I had an admin that she kept telling me, who are you to tell these people it isn't real? I says, they joined my page. You're missing the point. Right. They joined my page because I was talking about how people are tricking people and how it, it the whole thing's a con game. And what I did, how I started doing this, even how I met Rob and Susan was because I have a Facebook page to sell tickets mm -hmm. to Teresa Caputo. That's what it was called, Teresa Caputo ticket That's page. We found you. So they would join thinking they're buying tickets, say, sorry, this is a truth page. And <laughs> I tricked you to get you here, but it's, you, why waste your money on that? Because she's just conning you. And I explained how it does. And I got more arguments with people. And then Rob and Susan joined in. And that's how I found out about trivia and stuff like that. So, but my Facebook page grew like Have crazy in the beginning. And every once in a while, it'll grow. I'll get a bunch of new people from my hometown. <laughs> then my mother kept coming in. Stop telling these people what to do. I'm like, what? What are you? What's? What are you missing? So okay, my, here, my, my mother. I just got a comment. I haven't even read it. Here's a comment on one of my videos. Just popped up because I'm trying to really comment on the videos because they say if you do that, it helps bring up. Okay, somebody named Victoria. I've never met her. I don't have no idea who she is. I have wondered, she's commenting on my, one of my John Edward ones. I have wondered about this so much. I've seen so many of them and quite a few, if not most, give me red flags inside, although I wish they were true. Thank you for being here with us now. And I'm watching many of your videos and subscribed. What you do is important. Exclamation point. So nice. that kind of things makes me want to keep doing these. And then yeah. it's really like nice. saying and other things. You're poised like, to be a big YouTuber because if it's going to, it's going to blow up. You know not what I mean? Not necessarily if, true. No, not necessarily, but I think I'll still because remember you guys when I have a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> that's nothing. Thousand. You're going to get that quick. 
I think you're going to get it right away because people really are going to start so. sending people. I think it could get big. I don't know. I don't yeah, have. All I don't the know. The truth isn't that popular. I, I watch some yeah. of your. It, it also depends on how you present the information to people. And I am just making it up, trying. And I haven't watched things. any of your videos yet, but I will watch and maybe give some pointers. Well, or just whatever. I had. I was been watching different videos of these other people, and I am nothing like them. They have gimmicks and things thrown at the screen and things we all the stuff and one guy he's like his face would morph and they're also doing is talking to the camera about stuff they're not experts on anything and it's i'm not talking just about psychics i'm talking about they're just there to get you keep you like i'm are you still there are you still there <laughs> well one <laughs> of the most something. popular are you still there <laughs> one of the most like, popular things i'm not doing they... any of that stuff and they're just slicing and stuff and Things yeah, they all blow wish. up too. They they have like um, you know, half naked women on there, and then they get, they get tons of hits. I'm not watching any of those. I'm just saying that's what happens though on YouTube. All these people who are famous, they're scantily clad women half the time. And on why YouTube, do you go to YouTube talk, for half naked women when you get full yeah. naked women at other sites? I don't. Know I'm just saying like yeah, TikTok and stuff. stuff. <laughs> all those things no, that all these not, people are popular. He hasn't learned where to go yet. It's not half naked people. It's the people that are getting the hits. The, it's the type of content and engagement. It's, it's like Mr. Beast. Um, they're Mr. Beast is giving away a lot of money. But Mr. Beast is doing crazy, outrageous. Oh things. yeah, yeah, I watch him. I see, I know yeah. who he is. He lives like a couple of hours from us, and I just like the whole Orbeez in his backyard. I, I question whether he's really he's giving away that much money because his friends are always Wonka's involved. Chocolate Factory into the challenge, and I actually watched that one all the way through because it was intriguing. He does some crazy stuff and gives away a lot of money. It makes me wonder how many shirts can he sell? You know, how much can he sell to, to generate? Part of it His is friends are involved. His friends always win channel. houses from him. And they have each, each one has like sort of their own little gimmick of the things that they do. Like we watch um, like binging with Babish. He doesn't show his face. It's all cooking with his hands and the way he talks and does certain stuff. And um, yeah, it's, they have certain things that they do and then if they get called out on something it can quickly fall like that's that's what's been happening like the big rage on tiktok right now is jasper the doll and i need for all of you to go get on jasper the doll tiktok and it's just some girl that has this deep rat voice and has created a doll and making fun videos with it Oh, I've heard about that. Yes, and I, I ended up on the side of Jasper the Doll TikTok, and it's just like, I have to, he doesn't understand it. Have you seen the guy who just points at the obvious and goes like this? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. TikTok's amazing for people who- He's got a huge following. All oh, he yeah, does I'm is I'm on the side, like, there is a huge science-based TikTok, too. Like, the, I follow a lot of dietitians that do, um, that debunk the food debunkers, like Flav City, who will tell you not to eat seed oils because they're inflammatory and toxic and bad to your body. And they're like, seed oils are not. Eat the damn Kit Kat. If you're hungry, eat the food. Do not be like Gwyneth Paltrow, where you're putting an IV into your body and talking about sticking stuff up your rectum and drinking bone broth. She's like, eat the damn food. And I'm like, yes. Yeah, she was on the other day talking about some weird stuff she put. It's like Mark loves the TikTok. Well, no, that's the whole. That yeah, do, that's uh, what that she have was I didn't hear about the rectal ozone. How I heard about that's the that one I saw was where she was talking about how she fasts for twelve hours a day. She drinks bone broth and eats vegetables for lunch, and then gets phyto. I forget what the actual nutrient is. She gets those and IVs when she can find them. And then this dietitian I follow, Andy, does healthy. She's like, you know, you can get that from eggs. You you could just <laughs> you could just eat eggs and fish and chicken instead of searching for the uh, you know, expensive IV you can't find that you're just gonna sit there and have put in your arm. Like, like, and she's being everybody's referring to her as the ultra almond mom right now. Huh. Yeah, they, they got a new fast, commercial. Yeah, she she's fast just twelve fast hours like 12 a day. Hours. I feel like yeah, she I won't do that. Hold. She'll yeah, fast I, for 12 hours. She yeah. won't eat till noon, but she'll have a cup of coffee and then she'll have bone broth. And it's like, oh no. 
There's, like, where, no, where, there's more to life than, than chronicling this kind of crap. It's like I, Tess Holiday even made a video calling you out. And I don't watch Tess's stuff because some of it's a little problematic for me. But I'm agreeing with her. Like, stop promoting this eating disorder. Like, seriously, talk, stop talking about it. Like that. And she looks like crap now, too. She looks very unhealthy. She's not eating. She's not eating. And it's, it's, she just it's like here, like, and I'm sitting here watching this while I'm eating my Caesar chicken Caesar salad because it's like ah. Caesar is so good and Caesar salad. Mm. Yeah, like there's some time like I crave the chicken Caesar salad today. The people who are watching my videos are mostly under 25, and they're oh, all that's good. entirely female. So I think they're pulling You're finding your demographic. Good demographic. That's a very positive. Yeah, good. They say that uh, what it's saying is they're coming from YouTube searches. So I think what's going on, because Tyler uh, Thomas John is really blowing up TikTok right now. I think they're just going to TikTok and saying, they see these episodes and they're like, they're short format. And they say, oh, I want to see the full format. And they're going to YouTube and typing in Thomas John full episodes. And they're starting to find mine. I've got one video right. that's at 10,000 something. And it's it looks like it's getting fifty views an hour. How do you that's know that's big? It's on the analytics. There's an analytics side. And like if they're have, like if like they have filled that in on their Google. Uh, yeah, well, it's on your YouTube channel, I think, or right? There's you, YouTube analytics. They have it. Yeah, but how like I only have one video channel? that has ten thousand hits. Only one. I got like a hundred and something videos on my YouTube page. Only one of those ten thousand. So it's telling me that people are okay. Sixty one percent are female. That's it was 80% for a while. And the majority are 18 to 24. Oh no, no, I take that wrong. 25 to 34. How and long have you been doing this, Susan? Eight days. Okay, see, <laughs> this is very early. The data doesn't mean much, does it, Kyle? Well, I've got it's gonna I've all got, change. I've got a lot of views on what no, 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 no. I'm just saying it's gonna get it's gonna get bigger and better. It's gonna get, the data doesn't mean much now, it's too early. Oh, is that oh, well, why your handle is changed here? So people yeah, will yeah. there? Yeah, Psychics Explained. Oh, so yeah, the, the majority, here, let me show you. I can show you what, what it looks like. This is, it's just interesting. I like, I like statistics. I really do. Oh, um, they actually show you the countries that come from too. Yeah. So here's the biggest, um, 25 to 34, but it's very close to the 18 to 24. And that was the biggest one yeah. for a while. So it's really close. It's younger people finding the seatbelt psychic stuff, I think. And then female, that was up to 80. Most people are not subscribed. And then it says, um, I know I know Kyle's paying full attention to this right now. Indeed. Content, what does it say? What does this tell me? Um, average how view is two minutes. Things? So that means a lot of people are going on and going off. Do we know how long you have to watch a video before it counts as being viewed? That I don't know, but you can find out with a little Googling. I think it's what supposed hours to be more than half, right? What no, I think it's small, like 30 yeah. seconds. So Susan, oh. if you've noticed, like if you notice that the videos that you've published, you're getting a lot of views on older content and stuff that you kind of wait a day for instead of just spamming a whole bunch. And I wouldn't say spamming just, but if you upload a lot of videos at one time, that could probably hurt Sure. your views. How? possibly i just mm -hmm. had a lot of time to be able to do it so i just did it so that i could have several and a lot of what a lot of people do is they'll make them and then hold them to release them out on a schedule i was thinking of doing that faith but yeah. what was going on with um the tiktok stuff that was going on with the thomas john stuff i felt like i have to respond now because they're out looking for content right now so if so i kind of thought i should do that where was it wait let me see there's a way of doing it here your impression click through rate is really good. Where's yeah, that? and I would probably twelve point nine percent, which should have yeah. been. It's normal. And I would the, maybe shorten your videos. Oh God, I'm trying because yeah. well, because if you notice that your your videos Attention that are getting a minutes. lot of hits, like that one that was five hundred and sixty views, that was because it was two and a half minutes long, and. Yeah, your Thomas really hard. Is, one that you've had 10k views for is probably because he's being searched. Well, but yeah, like it, it says somewhere. So what is this impressions click through rate means what? That's a good number. That means that it's the number of people who saw it compared to those that clicked on it. And click through rates are usually very low. 
like email newsletters, you get a single digit percentage, usually around like 3% uh, ads. Like when you see ads on Google, those all have generally under 3%, usually oh. under 1% click through rate. So, so they're people, seeing it and clicking. Yeah. More, more than one in 10 people who see it, click it. That's good. What does this impressions mean? That's the number of people who saw like, see how the thing at the like bottom where it says five seatbelt psychics and there's just a small thing, like it showed up in a search like that and someone clicked on that. Oh, so this is, these two together make a hundred. Um, so ah. uh, views divided by impressions should be impression click through oh. rate. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Like your second video, can you highlight over that one just to see? Which one is how, that? Yeah, Thomas John, seatbelt psychic. The mortician? That's your one with 10,000 views, just yeah. about. So most people are only watching for about two minutes. Huh. It's funny because that one's 33 minutes, and I thought they must Well, be it's the people. average, though. So it means some people who watch for five seconds get counted as yeah. well as people who watch to the end. The, that yeah. average is always low. Okay, so why is it, say, 9,400 views when it's actually 10,000-something views? Why do you say it's 10,000 something? It's, it says what, this period, Susan, this period. Oh, oh, oh okay. So yeah. because it's probably only going for a week. Is there a way of changing that? Yeah, upper right, there's like a drop down thing. Yeah. 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 So, Last 365 should do it for you. Yeah. But the last 28 actually did the same thing. And it might be that one. Oh. what we're seeing. But like, if you look at your Tyler Henry video that you posted, that people stayed engaged with that one much longer. Good this point. About, and it's time. probably because some of those videos are much shorter. Yeah, that type. Well, that well, that one's about twenty eight minutes. You know what's so, interesting is that the the Tyler Henry ones I can't show the screen as I'm videoing. Like I'm not showing the show because I got I tried that with this Matt Lauer one and I got a copyright thing on it and they and i had to delete it so i had to go back are you showing all of the show you're doing little bits of it i was trying to do little bits of it one of the things i've seen some youtubers do is they'll alter the audio so they'll either like make the voices more higher pitched so that they get around that even though they're you like they're using it for uh educational purposes sometimes educational purposes or um, fair use face that's what I was looking for. But sometimes well, I tried fair use. I tried that argument and they and they looked but, into it and they said no. So what I've been doing with the Tyler Henry ones is I'm 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 playing this the audio just normal and then I'm stopping and I'm talking about it and then playing the audio. So they're the people are just looking at me. Do you have your, are you in the frame with it? When it when I'm playing the audio, it is just me uh -huh. and you can hear the audio. But with the okay. um, other ones, and that's how I was getting around the Tyler Henry ones, which are not getting a lot of views. But these, these seatbelt psychic ones, it's I'm showing the show and then stopping and then talking to the camera and then showing the, the so you see the film. One other thing you can do to get around that is I've seen some YouTubers where they will have them, they'll do a split screen where they have the video on one side and them on the other. I don't know how to do that on Zoom. Yeah. You can't do it on Zoom. You uh, you might need something other than Zoom. Um, OBS is the most oh. popular one. It's a little technical, but you could probably learn it. You're scaring me. Or they'll yeah. put a video. What else would I want to video? look at on here? Let's see. Isn't there a way of seeing how they're coming to me? It's under audience. Is it see more? Aha. Uh, traffic source. This is what I find interesting right here. Mm. YouTube search. Look at this. See? Yeah. So they're looking. That's why I think that's why I think they're looking at the um, here. Let's 360 days. Let's say last 28 days. So it's only been eight days. So they're finding me from just going and 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 typing in like seatbelt psychic and they're look at that impressions rate is 19 then for just very that. good. Yeah. When you post your videos, do you put the keywords in there? Yes, tag. Yeah, so you put keywords like, you know, tag, all the psychic names. And yeah. I've been doing stuff like, I've been ty typing in partial sentences. It says, do psychics, can psychics, 
will psychics just like just the first couple of words and then yeah you could put like real psychics and people who are looking for real psychics will find you oh that's you, a good you're one you're tricking them yeah they said to use all of the keywords every field yeah what they used to do in. early on people would put like britney spears even though it has nothing i know to but I, just, I don't want to be that you don't want to do that because it's it's going to get people, false hits yeah people on tiktok will use like i will be watching something and it'll say something like bermuda shorts or something like that, because that's a pretty popular advertisement that's going around at that time. So they're trying to get it on people's For You page. And it annoys me when I see that. What do you think browse yeah. features mean versus YouTube search? So uh -huh. browsing may be that, um, so sometimes you'll have categories, like I'll have like food, athletics, skepticism, and then we'll just have certain, certain videos will pop up that fit, fit into that category that YouTube's kind of curated for us. You mean like a, a like whenever I click on my premium and it just gives me a whole suggestion of stuff? No? Yeah, it'll wow. give, but it gives you suggestions based on topics that you've looked at before. Is that suggested videos? That's totally different. Okay. Like you've watched this, so I'm suggesting the same right. to you. Click on browse features. There's the question mark. There you go, good idea. Yeah. So what does that mean? So, so this popped up on their home page. It was a recommendation. And then you've had 31 views based off of people that have actually subscribed to you. Um, others that it's based on their watch history. Others like watch later but, or they've made personalized. But look at this, Faithy. Let's see. Look over here. I'm going to go back one screen. And not let me go back one there's second. a question mark there this is interesting seeing the back side of youtube stalking um features. traffic source okay see look it says here's playlist playlist page, yeah how about playlist, highlight over the question mark but if it says it says but highlight over the question mark yeah, which one it'll explain Wait. what it is yeah, yeah. Traffic from any playlist that included your video it can be my You own. have playlists, and I've clicked yeah, on you your videos through your playlist primarily. Work. Okay, but this one's not giving me a little. There's no. This one has a question mark. Because oh. I guess playlist page is your own page, maybe. Seems right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Notifications is like whenever you're subscribing, you get a notification. Yep. So only eight. That's, That's pretty typical. Our our traffic on because we put the podcast on YouTube, it's like two percent of people come to it from notifications. And I subscribe to people, but I don't want notifications. I don't yeah. want. To yeah, I don't like notifications either. So, <clears throat> the search terms is the majority of the things I'm getting. That's Browns good. Features means traffic from the home page. Okay. Look on geography. Yeah. Okay, which External countries they come is from? traffic from websites and apps that embedded your videos. Oh. I don't know who that would be. Channel pages, suggested videos. Okay, you other YouTube traffic from within you to the design. Huh. Well, I posted your page to my page, my Facebook page. Uh huh. So, so that, that might be a count in there somewhere. You also posted from your Facebook page, and that's how I one of my views is probably. But there is a there is one that shows Facebook. Where is it? Um, it yeah, this me, it gave here. me all of them, and it said Facebook. Hmm. Click so, on browse features, or no? Click on um, go back and click on maybe external. Ex yeah, external. Click on external. There we are. Yeah, there it we should is. probably not be recording this. <laughs> <laughs> This is really 